out there on YouTube, it's the Mill Time Gamer coming at you. Thanks for coming out, everybody. Welcome to Notification Squad. I know you guys will be here any second, I'm sure. Uh, just let me start up the stream. Thank you guys for coming out, I appreciate it. Welcome. Uh, if you want to Twin Mirror, I bought this game a minute ago uh, with the intention of streaming it, but I never really got the chance to. And I kind of wanted to get into it now. There really wasn't anything else that I wanted to uh, really get into at the moment. So I was going to try this out. I've heard some, you know, uh, good things, bad things. I want to kind of see for myself what was up. So. Uh, what's up, Caden? Thanks for coming out, Caden Freebird. Alright, so I'll get into this thing here. I heard it. Was, you know, see what's up. License. Yep, yep, yep. They can tell I've never played it before. Thanks for coming out. If you guys are out there, I appreciate it. GG's to everybody, man. Happy Taco Tuesday. <sighs> you agree? Yes, I agree. Just the brightness until the M is barely visible. What, what M? Oh, okay, I see it. The bottom one, I was like, what the frick? Alright, new game. Yeah. Lost on arrival, save one. I'm definitely gonna turn down the music a little bit. The music is woof or deep, man. Not the voice, you know. I like music in the background, but just not like this like crazy music, man. Freaking just bombs you. Alright. I think that sounds pretty good. Not too crazy. Hey, what's up, Quest? Uh, what's up, Harry? My name is Tommy. Hey, thanks for coming out, Tommy. Appreciate you, sir. What up? Let's go, man. Happy Taco Tuesday. Let's go. All right. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what's going on, but we're going to find out. All right. Yes, sir. Man, thanks for coming out, Quest, Harry, Caden. Appreciate you guys. Welcome to the stream, guys. Oh. The skies are finally a light rain fell most of the afternoon. The weather's approaching 49 degrees, so we've got a brisk West Virginia evening ahead of us. Wrap up tight and settle in, folks. This is 104.3 WBCK, the Basswood Sound. I'm your host, Carrie Hammond. Coming up after a short break, mental health expert Dr. Wood. So what I, from what I could tell this is like your friend dies and like you go you go back home to his funeral you're like a, a psychological journalist or something I think mean, I don't know if you have special powers or not I'm not 100% sure I guess I'll find that out well I guess he goes back to his hometown and sees everything's different I think he tries to solve a murder. I'm not sure. We'll see what's up. Stop staying. Gotta go back to work. Alright, sir. Have a good one. Uh, you're gonna be at the wake, right? Yeah. I guess this takes you on a journey, man. So I'm, I'm excited to go on this journey. I've been waiting to play this game for a long time. Well, I mean, not long, but I mean, it's been a minute. Uh, what's up? Hey, what's up, Jay? What up? Hey, what's up, Reed Kitchens? What's up, Solo Salad? How's it going, guys? Yeah, it's called Twin Mirror. And it's uh, kind of like a... It's by the same people that made Life is Strange. Uh, that kind of stuff. It's supposed to be kind of like a kind of like a psychological murder mystery where I think like your friend dies in a car crash or something back home and you go back home after a long time of not being there and uh, you got I don't know you gotta solve the murder I think 
So, but I'm not 100 percent sure. I'm just you know, time to I'm kill new. before the funeral. Might as well spend it here. Yeah, so I think this is where his buddy ran off the road. So I think he's trying to investigate his buddy's death. So we'll see what's up. Let me see what buttons do here. Uh, or maybe the funeral this is... isn't for a while, and I'm not gonna walk into town. <coughs> All right. So am I just at a roadside rest stop, or what? This place was always one for decisions. Somewhere for things to fall apart. Yeah, I'm at the... Basswood State Forest. I think I'm up in, like, Minnesota, or something like that, maybe? Welcome back to Basswood, Sam. Alright, so I guess I'm Sam. And I'm coming back after a long time, maybe. Uh, your sister. Uh, I can't wait for my sister to have her baby. Oh, cool. One of the all-time great Oops. views. Oh, dude. It makes a small town look big. It's all here, nothing. No littering. Littering in, littering in. Smoking the reefer. Oh. A danger. Fall hazard. You'd think the massive cliff face would be a giveaway. Yeah, you'd think. Beautiful view, though. Nice sunset. Beautiful. Right, I guess it'd be... Uh, I don't know what time the wake is. Probably, I don't know if it's in the morning or in the evening. Probably sunset. Mercy phone. I need I help. The feeling it's still see help some me, use, please. Given how bad the coverage is up here. Uh, let's go. Yo, what up, man? Hey, what's up, successive? Oh. How's it going, sir? Uh, yeah, I'm playing a new game today. Checking things out. A lot of people were upset when it closed, but not upset enough to fix it. I left a sandwich in it for a whole week once. Dad never let me forget it. <laughs> you left a sandwich in a freaking beer pit? Um, Alright. I used to love looking at basswood from up here. Help gave me perspective. Until that day. Till that day. Till that mother effing day. Ah, uh, yo, what up? What up, Joker? What up, Crazy? Yeah, it's called uh, Twin Mirror, man. It's kind of like a psychological murder mystery, I'm thinking. I've heard some things. Why can't the real world be as clear and peaceful as my own mind? Yeah, so it's like, I don't know if he has, like, psychological powers. Like, he can, like, see things, or... I guess. I guess that's what it is. And, like, he's trying... I don't know, I think if he's gonna try and solve his friend's murder, or what? Even if it does mean nothing stays hidden in here. Not even me. I'm like he can control things with his mind or something. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just on this journey, man. I'm going with it. I know you're supposed to be able to make choices that affect your affect your game. I uh, I've been meaning to ask you. Something. Don't freak out. Would you be my little girl's godfather? I, I wouldn't trust anyone else with this. Well, I guess that's yeah, your friend that died. Calls. He even called once the day before he died. We'll never know what he wanted to talk to me about. This is Anna. She works freelance. Uh, does a lot of the human interest pieces. What can I say? I'm interested in humans and their pieces. <laughs> and their pieces. <laughs> what do you like to write? I gotta run to a review with Walt. You two feel free to chit chat. And Sam, be nice. I had never I'm met someone nice. so interested in others, even in me. Well, I guess I'm walking down memory lane. Is that the perfect 
You know I think that. It's just... People around here have short tempers and long memories. Be careful. Sam, are you even listening to me? Thanks, Adam. Appreciate you stopping out, sir. I heard you, Anna. But no. I wasn't listening. I wasn't listening. I do a whole bag. Yeah, I'm just basically just, uh, you know, playing a new game today. You know, just having fun. Doing some chill stuff. I appreciate you, Adam. Thanks, Joker. Yeah, someone's trying to be me, man. What's up, gaming? What tell? Thanks for coming out and sitting in school watching you. Way more interesting play. <laughs> yes, sir. Something's blocking it. Oh, dang. Sam, what are you doing? I'm trying to be romantic. What? Wait. Please don't tell me you're proposing. I'm down on one knee. A ring. What else would I be doing? She's like, hell no. Hell no. To the no. You look no. like I just ran over your grandma. Okay, the silence is really starting to scare me now. Anna, please say something. Sam, put that away. Come on. I don't want a ring. I don't need a ring. You should know that. We've discussed it before. Dang, shut him down. Uh, what's this game about? Uh, it's just, I don't know. I, I'm not 100% sure, Death Man. I know, I guess one of your friends died from back where you were from a she long time ago. That you haven't been to in a minute. <clears throat> and then, you, and then you, I guess you decide to investigate how he died. I don't know, you suspect foul play or something. You know, and then I guess you just go down the rabbit hole from there and see what's up. You know, see how far down the rabbit hole you want to go. Uh, press. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I just started too, man. I think I'm just going through maybe the tutorial. Return to your car. You've wasted enough time. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. So I mean, I guess he's returning for a buddy's funeral. I'm guessing he's going to meet a lot of people he hasn't seen in a long time. I missed the funeral. Maybe it's for the best. On the bright no, side, okay, so he missed the funeral. Let him down again. He's going to the wake, I guess. Uh, Mel, I miss you so freaking. Oh, Let's go. Oh, stick around. Giving up already? Just a quick, depressing jaunt down memory lane and then you're gone? I know you think that the only thing waiting for you down there is hurt. Lots of hurt. And you might Lots be right. Of hurt. But it's been two years. Oh, two years, okay. It's time to face the world. Time to adult. The good news, though, at least you don't have to do it alone. At least you don't have to do it alone. Oh, no. I'll be right there beside you. Cause I got split personalities. Oh, there you go, twin mirror. There's the introduction, prologue, what have you? Yeah, it looks clean. Yeah, it's beautiful on the PS5, man. Absolutely. Hey, what's up, Victorious? Nice time to do stream. Yeah, absolutely. Are you still coming? I really hope you can make the wave. Uh, it'll be at the Haven. Uh, what should I say? Nick won't care. I'm almost there. Uh, I'll just say I'm almost there. Got stuck in traffic. Yeah. Lost the signal. Something never oh. changed. Lost the signal. What? 
They have cell phones. <laughs> oh, jeez. Fucking nuts, man. <clears throat> Alright, thanks for coming out. Victorious, Frankie, Reed Kitchens, Joker. Alright. So I guess this is where the wake's at? At the bar? Do this, man. I'm being so scared, man. If he was scared, mother sucker put in work. Mixed daughter can't imagine what she's going to. Oh crap. That's crazy. Yuli, you actually came. It's been a while. You've gotten taller. Can we talk? We're talking right now. We're talking right now. It's cold. <laughs> yeah, please, man. I'm, I'm about to ban Reed Kitchens myself, man. Should just ban so, him. You left. Can't be respectful. Joan, that's not fair. You left. I was gonna say I'm sorry. Look, Joan. Women are always stop. right, man. I just gotta say you I'm sorry. You said you wouldn't leave. You said. You said. I don't remember exactly, but you pinky swore. I didn't pinky mean swore, to lie. Man. I just screwed up. After Anna broke up with me, I'm. I'm sorry. I wish words meant anything. I wish this didn't make it hard. Oh, yeah, definitely overloaded. You could have at least called something, especially after, you know, after my dad. Well, I don't know what to say to that. You're right. I don't know what to say to that, man. I wasn't in a state where I could reach out to anyone. Well, yeah, I mean, when you're going through that, man. I'm still not. If Nick hadn't died, I never would have come back. Thanks for being honest. You're right. always at least honest. Right, I'm always honest, you know. If, even if the truth hurts, I'm honest about it. Yeah. Listen, I, uh... I wanted to talk to you about what happened to Dad. It doesn't make sense. He wouldn't have just crashed. He drove like a grandma, you know that. It's... He drove like a grandma. I don't buy it. Oh. I'm just in town for the funeral, Joan. I'm not a PI or a cop. You're the closest thing I can talk to. Will you just look into it, Muley? Please? She wants her father's death to mean something. But where does that lead? What if it leads to the truth? That could change everything. An hour ago, you wanted to run away. Now you want to start another investigation? Oh, A few crap. questions won't hurt anyone. Yeah, see, this is Just where it turns. To reassure her, and myself, this is a wake. If you poke around, people may end up poking back. Okay, whatever you do, at least leave the kid out of it. It would be cruel to lead her on. Friends don't lie to each other. Even if it means disappointing her again. It's your call. Keep her out of it. Promise to look into it. Oh, dang it, man. I feel like this is going to be like one of those big things that are going to change the whole story or something. Um, uh, what should I do, chat? Uh, what's up, White Monkey Gaming? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Rejected his proposal. That's why he moved away for two years and didn't want to come back. And then now he's back. Uh, I'm still, I don't know. I don't know what I should choose. Are you promised to look into it? Yeah. What's up, Warp Drive Gaming? How's it going, sir? Uh, do you play Minecraft story mode? No, I do not, man. No, I do not. Ah, uh, crap. I don't know what I should do. Hey, right, I'm gonna promise to look into it. Okay. I'll see what yeah. I can see and all that. Gumshoe it up. No, oh, you're alright, white monkey. You make some good points. It doesn't fit. I hate when things don't fit. Yeah. yeah me too. I might just be, I don't know, crazy or something, but... You I just think it'll just sure. reassure her. I get it. I, mean, I want her to make her feel good. Thanks, Mealy. I, um... I should go in before my mom misses me. You better get in there, too. Can't hide in your car all night. Who says I'm hiding out here? I do. See you inside. See you inside. We want some pizza. Pizza in the morning, pizza in the evening, pizza at supper time. Pizza's on a bagel, you can have pizza anytime. She's right, get up in there, man. Let's do some investigating. Man, you're popping pills already, dude? Damn, dude. Popping some zannies and shit. Calm it down, man. Oh, I play with some. We'll be later. Okay, Joker, heck yeah, man. Oh, jeez. <clears throat> Alright, let's get this investigation going. Might as well talk to Walter. I'll have to. Whoever said you can judge someone by their car never met Tara. Okay, so she had the truck. Trying to yes. pick up hands. The cat food is under the sink. Yes, yes it is, mother. Trust me. <laughs> oh, Samuel is here. I'll call you back. Well, it's weird Samuel, because Samuel's my, name, my son's name, Has too. It really been over two years? Regardless, I'm so glad you finally made it. It's good to see you. What kept you? A trip down memory lane. I missed the funeral, but I made it to Nick's wake. You have to bring it in for a hug. <laughs> it's a basswood back in town requirement. So good to see you. Even if I wish the circumstances were different. In times like these, we need the comforting touch of others. At least I do. Well, I'm a hug, I guess. Get a hug, you know. Everybody needs a hug at a funeral, you know. <clears throat> well, I want to be, I want to try to be a nice guy. Have you, you know, spoken to Anna lately? A little bit. No way. See what's up. Um, no I don't reason. want to go full psycho. If you get the chance, we should catch up. We should really catch up. I'll see you inside. I'll see you inside. Let me get a cheeseburger, man. Side order fries. Oh. Alright, what do we got here? Newspaper. Take one of these bad boys. I haven't read an issue of this paper since I left. I wonder how they've been doing without me. Yeah, so yeah, I guess he was a journalist at the newspaper. Alright, it says... Alright, uh, earlier this week, our dear colleague Nick passed away in a tragic car accident. He will be set to rest tomorrow at Heaven's Day Cemetery before his family, friends, and co-workers share a drink at Coal Miners Heaven. Haven uh, to honor the memory of a daily departed friend. Longtime readers will no doubt recognize his name as there have been days when it was a byline over half the articles littering this plucky paper. Nick was loved by his family and colleagues. He is survived by his daughter Joan and his ex-wife Kathy. Alright. 
must have been a hard issue to write. All right, I gotta go trying to get my head around some animation software. All right, all right, Overloaded. Have a good one, sir. Thanks for stopping out. I appreciate your support, man. Thank you, Overloaded. Hopefully you have a good one, man. Ugh, I'm not ready for this. Not ready for this. Here we go. I uh, just got this game. We won't be playing GTA today. No, probably not. If I do, it'll be, be way later. Yeah. Hell yeah, well, congratulations on getting the GTA car over overdrive. Hell yeah, man. Let's get it popping. Yeah, thank you for putting that out there, Joker. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Trying to solve a murder mystery. That's anything I love is a good mystery, man. Mr. Samuel Higgs, big shot investigative reporter. Didn't think you'd ever be back in here. I'd gladly slash your tires. Well, that mean you couldn't leave town. And you are leaving town right after this, right? Right. Well, Nick's right. memory only goes so far. Yeah, I'm gonna let it slide. <clears throat> That's what I thought. I'm gonna let it slide. For right now, anyway. Come on, it ain't worth it. Uh, I never seen this game before, yes. Mill. Yeah, it's really good, man. Declan, so it's been a good. while. Hey, careful. I'd rather not be working tonight. And you always seem to angry up everyone's blood. It's supposed to be the same people. I'm only here to pay my respects to Nick. Nothing more. Uh, yeah. It's, yeah. Shame it's supposed that. to be from the you same people who made Life is Strange. A couple other, like, uh, kind of like, uh, I don't know, adventure type games. You know, I think story it's time based. I go put up a photo at the memorial board. That's what people do, right? Journal updated. You always did know how to start a ruckus. Can't say I missed that. You always didn't know how to start a ruckus. Alright, so where's the board at? Oh, it's up here. There's Tara. Sammy! Oh, it's been ages. Tara? Oh, me? I've had this stomach thing lately, always churning. Uh... And this thing with Nick? <laughs> His car went up like a Sunday ham. He burned alive, you know. Have you met What's Hugh? Okay. He took over the old pharmacy just after I <clears throat> left. Um, no. Liam's but I need a Miller 5, yeah. I've read that article you wrote on the mine. You must have put in a lot of legwork on that. Oh, uh, you read it. What do you think? What he thought, you know, of the writing? <clears throat> Fine. Anything to get people talking? Of the reporting. Something that needed to be done. Many medicines are a bitter brew, but you still need to take them. That's what the hell? nice of you to say. Well, well, don't hesitate to drop by the pharmacy sometime. Oh, and Sam, you... But for now, I have a feeling you're not here for us. Oh, oh, right. Don't be a stranger, Sam. Don't be a stranger. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, yeah, I need a Miller 5 too, man. Kathy, uh... Liz is, uh, his ex-wife. Sam, you actually came. I know you two haven't been together for a long time, but I'm still sorry. We hadn't been close in years, but he was my daughter's father. He was my baby daddy, so I miss, I miss him. him. Joan I miss him forever. Really hurt when you left town. Aww. Nick and I were never close after the breakup, and... Jones never had a lot of friends. Yeah. Um, Maybe don't break her heart this time when you leave town. All right? All right. Hey, I don't know if I should tell her that, bro. Hey. Hard to make promises. I don't do well with those in Joan. I've noticed. 
Uh, getting a hot tub. Damn. Okay. Mystery game I played was, oh, Noir. Yeah, I played Alley Noir too. That was a good game, man. Yeah, I think I played that, what, back for the PS3? Or, man, that was a long time ago. Was it on the PS4? I don't know if it was on the PS3 or PS4. That was a long time. All right. All right, photo, empty slot, there you go. Well, yeah, DG on the hot tub, Death Matter. I had a hot tub for a long time when I was, uh, you know, a littler. It was a lot of fun, man. I love hot tubs. My mom and dad even took me and my brother to a hot tub for Christmas one year. It was a lot of fun. Wow. You're a lot like Pac-Man, Sam. The yeah, Alley Noir was awesome, baby. I love that every game. last bite. The mind posing wasn't your fault. Your investigation just hurried things up. You probably saved some lives, you know. Hi, Dad. Hi, Muley. You piece of language. Is that a wedding ring? I didn't know you were thinking about marriage. Oh, it's just... It feels like the right thing to do. Dad, what's the point of getting married? Well, it's just one of those things people do, Bug. Here. You can play. Someone has to show you grown-ups. Video games are the realm of the young. Have you talked to Anna about this? That's kind of the point. I'll talk to her about it when I show her the ring. They're snowing. No. So. Nice and hot, baby. Just remember I'm oh, here. Yeah. If you need anything. <laughs> anything but my arcade secrets. Those I'll take to the grave. <laughs> I'll take to the grave. Uh, yeah, I have one brother, Frankie. Yeah, I have a little brother. Well, I guess you can call him Little Place, you know. Sorry we lost touch. Sorry I lost touch. Rest up, big guy. Well, I'll miss you, man. I'll miss you. You fall hard, man. This photo always looked weird. Nick could never keep a straight face. Yeah, it almost looked like he was smiling. He was more her best friend than a dad. Where you look? I was over looking some more. Those two were a great team. Good old Walter. Bug was so small back then. Alright, let Nick and John. Happier times. Uh, I think that's it. Alright, uh, yeah, how Samuel. much? How much? I think this game, yes, I, I think it was like bet. 30, bet. I think 30 or 40, something like yeah, that. Yeah, that bet you'd never come back to Basswood? Not after you went careening out of town. It's like been a minute out of hell to since I bought it. Broke bad. Uh, that's not my left. I won my bet. Well, Dennis? I won the bet I had with myself that you'd be an asshole right off the bat. <laughs> that was a safe bet. Yeah, that was a safe bet. What are you even doing uh, here, yeah. You and Nick become friends <clears throat> or something? Nope. Let's try PUBG. I oh, I will, man. Which Absolutely. I am. And I thought he was a hack. Longest stream was. ever, 15 hours, This maybe? coming from the IT guy. Didn't know resetting passwords could give you a journalism degree. It can but it does give me less patience for people who sling mud my way. Oh, shoot. Relax. I'm just playing. Uh, <laughs> At least tell me how you've been. Really good. I'm thinking of going back to school. Go for another master's. So you don't have a clue what to do with yourself. Uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah, yeah. I think it was, yeah, it was a minute ago, it was at least a couple months like ago us, since I bought the game. Actually liked. Or maybe December. Speaking so I guess a couple ways. months. So. Oh crap. Alright. Oh, okay. That is X Flame. 
Damn. As time draws near, my dearest dear, when you and I must part, how little you know of the grief and Hey, what's up, Stephen Z? How's it going, sir? What up, Stephen? Yeah, great voice, man. Like she's making me get like goosebumps, man. I'm getting like goosebumps. My hair's standing up, man. Like she's got a great voice, man. Absolutely beautiful. Man, yeah, she can carry a tune for sure. Yeah, I'm doing good, Stephen. Doing good, man. Playing a new game, loving it, man. They're trying to talk to these hoes? Probably not. Probably guess should go console her. Even though it's going to be like... Anna. Anna? Sam! Hug her back, man. Hug her back. Just let it go. Let it go. Yeah. I've missed you. Why did it take so long for you to darken my doorstep? Uh, I'm here well, now. I'm here now. I'll have to try and come by more often. That's what I'm supposed to say, right? Even if not everyone around here would like it. People around here have short tempers. <laughs> and long memories. But most of them mean well. Sam, the mine was going to close anyways. Maybe in a year or two, five, if the Lord has a sense of humor. It was going to run dry or have an even bigger disaster. Yeah. It wasn't your fault. Yeah, definitely, Steven. <clears throat> uh, I wish everyone else understood that. People are scared. Mad. You were easy to blame. When my father lost his legs, nobody knew the mine wasn't following regulations. You were the only one who started asking questions. Whenever people talk about you, he always says, you did the right thing. Yeah, well, your dad's Joe. He's an oak, unmoving and annoyingly supportive. <laughs> it wasn't just him. Nick thought your piece was great. He was actually jealous. He always wanted to write something that shook the pillars of heaven, as he used to put it. You know, well, Nick and I have moved in together. I don't know, Started to get serious. But I think it's oh, only damn. now I realize how much I cared for him. Dang, okay. So, yeah, so her and Nick hooked up. But you and Nick started going out? When did damn. this happen? I should have known. A few known. months ago, he, he never told you? He asked me to let him be the one to say something. You two had been so close. He oh, probably yeah. tried. I hadn't been answering his calls. Freaking double dipping. Uh, that's the worst part, right? Uh. Anything broken just <laughs> stays broken now. But this, this was all nice. The funerals, the wake. Walter did a good job. But it all just makes me feel heavy it makes my heart hurt like Nick's memory has been laid on top of me and I'm still carrying him well he just died you know and you were going out with him Nick's death do you know if he had any enemies working on anything dangerous Whew. now this is a real can of worms this is awake I know that do you 
this isn't the time to be digging and pushing. You always oh, do it. this. You always. I... Damn it! I pissed her off. I get it. I just, you, you're still you, huh? You'll always still be you, Sam. I hope you never change, but I can't handle this right now. I'm gonna go home. I'm just trying to find my friend's I'm killer here. Over my house. Then Damn. drink and cry all night. You do what you need to do. See you around. All right, you can ignore what's there, but ah, uh, funny Samuel, people. Yeah, no, what's up, BSN? Come around with me. I need a drink. Yeah, I don't know, man. Part three, and then I'll go. All right. That's what crooked promises like. It's the guy who got the mine closed. I can't believe he showed up. I can't believe he showed up. So tragic what happened to Nick. The details are horrible. They think he didn't die on impact. Instead, he roasted, roasted to death. Okay, I got not it, lady. He roasted dogs, to but, death. Jeez, you know, oh, Pete, man. She just don't stop. Man. I didn't mean to be rude, Sam. It's all right, Tara. I don't like the sight of dead, burned people. Oh, thank God. I wouldn't want to be rude <laughs> on a thing like this. <laughs> poor, poor uh, Sam. Uh, we play this on your channel. No, no, new game, man. New, new game, bro. It's coming out, bro. You destroyed. You're not the cause of all my problems. I mean, that's what you did for pretty much all of Basswood, but not to Oops. me. Damn, so, she is. She's horrible. You. Thanks for the confidence booster, Tara. I'll Damn. see you around. Like I wanted to ask her some questions, but she seems like she's rude as hell, man. Hey Sam, why don't you drink the nick on the other side of the bar? Trying to see if I could talk or something. There's nothing else. Mr. Hits, oh, good to go. see you. My condolences for your friend. Coming back in town must not have been easy. Officer Stevenson was telling me about your little welcoming committee. It's all right. Mm -hmm. Declan saved the day. We just don't want any troubles here. Uh, have you played the Man Eater game? No, I haven't played Man Eater yet. I won't stay in town long enough for that. One quick thing. Nick's death. Are you sure it was an accident? Are we sure? What are you trying to say? Now, Sam, I know you're a bird dog at heart, and a bird dog hunts. <laughs> Listen, Nick's death was an accident. Don't go riling people up. Don't you think you've done that enough to the nice folks around here? I guess so. Enjoy your evening. You know Sam, he likes to prod and poke. Chasing Should I have brought flowers? Do people expect me to? Uh, 15 likes, it means all like to you. Hey, that's awesome, Victoria. Hey, thank you guys for the likes. Thank you guys for everything, man. I appreciate you guys being awesome subscribers. Thanks for coming out to the channel. Yeah, I'm just trying to uh, find out some stuff here. See what I can find. Warning for drunk customers. Doubt they read it. Uh, Nick's article. Yeah, so he wrote that about the bar. Billiard table. What about the drum set? Anything? No, just bullcrap. Alright, maybe that's all there is in this here bar. Not as good as that once was. Pretty courageous of him to try his luck in Basswood, given the state of things. Uh, just now I'm playing GTA 5. Hell yeah, what's up? Fight, mill, fight. I know, man. I'm, uh, yeah, dude. I've let some stuff slide, man. But I'm about to freaking start choking hoes, man. People leave you or they die. That's the only way anything ends. <laughs> man, that guy sounds pretty freaking nuts, man. Walter can be overwhelming at times, either. but he means well. Yeah, buddy. Thanks for coming out, everybody. Welcome to the stream. What's up, BSN? Everybody, man. Welcome. 
Uh, yeah, take so, a beer. Nick wasn't drunk, and me? I was drunk as a skunk. Ah, Samuel, 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 join us. We were just sharing stories about dear Nicholas. And let me get your next round. Maybe Ethan has a suggestion for a worthy spirit? Well, oh, spirits? Oh, no, no. Friends drink beer. <laughs> yes, I suppose that's fitting. To dear Nicholas. To Nicholas. Cheers. Yeah, he'd been coming in a lot lately. Sat right there. With a bad dad joke or two. Bad dad joke. Huh? Friends, I guess. Maybe Anna. Oh, by himself with his laptop as his date. He never drank a lot. Try to stream a man either, yeah. You two were close though, right? Yeah, that sounds good. Tell me about the man outside the bar. He had a terrible memory. Couldn't remember names, dates, passwords. Kept his notes squirreled around him like a hoard. That's <laughs> I'm just gonna take a drink. I'm like, yeah, I'm good. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna be like, yeah. <laughs> hey, what? What's your underage child doing drinking? You have no control over her. They think the loser's lost. I wasn't lost doing her. anything. Don't touch me, Joan. Leave me alone. Uh, you guys are all so, so stupid. You do not talk to people that way. She just lost her dad, man. She's trying to vent, you know. I'm, I'm sorry, everyone. I'm She's sorry, just... everyone. So. All right, let's do games free today. Yeah, there is, man. Taco Tuesday, free games today. Gotta love it, man. That was quite heavy-handed. I hope the little one doesn't take it to heart. Bartender knows. Yeah, that's what I was saying. The bartender knows everything. That's what I was thinking. I should talk to the bartender. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say the officer was harsh. I don't like the I'm police sure came anyway. Out with both barrels. Yeah. Joan's tough though. I hate police. She'll be okay. It's apple juice, sir. <laughs> it's apple juice. Aye, aye, Captain. Oh damn, this is crazy. So I'm sitting there drinking. I'm losing time. Whoa, this is crazy, man. This is a crazy journey, man. I'm happy to go on it, though. Damn, dude. I'm drunk, dude. Holy crap, man. You need to stop drinking, dude. I'm going to end up going home with what? the first girl I see uh, or something. Night. I'd say that went well. Ish. Ish. You got to chat with everyone you've been avoiding. Even if Joan got inside your head with her whole dad mystery death thing, just shut up. Coming back to Basswood was your idea. You're the one in the driver's seat, Sam. I can't make you do anything. Deep down, you've been looking for a reason to come back. It's gonna I be feel like I don't know if that's like my other personality or, or if that's like my head, you know, my subconscious. Uh, hey, I didn't, I didn't ask for you. I didn't to be ask here. you to be here. He's so drunk. It's funny. Come back. I couldn't let you miss this. You just showed up. Me. You can't see it now, but the He's guilt all his words. you alive. You're back out in the world, feeling emotions, fitting in. That's progress. Fuck the world. Fuck the world. talking and more talking. And no one hey, what's says up, Toxic? What, Go away. what game is this? It's called Twin Mirror, really man. Kind of like a psychological murder mystery. Just try and make sure you don't but it's got a lot of cool stuff. Stupid. It's funny. I like no it. Promises. It's like a journey, man. I feel like it's almost... It's from the same people who made like Life is Strange. You know, it just takes... It tells a story. It takes you on a journey. Kind of like Life is Dead. Or, uh, not Life is Dead, but uh, Walking Dead, Life is Strange. That kind of stuff. So I wake up from being drunk. Hello? Check out was at nine. Oh shit. Sir, Sir we need the room. <laughs> no. Stay I'm really got drunk and passed out. Okay, okay. What kind of monsters have a checkout 
Yeah, like who the hell checks out at nine, dude? Like that's an yeah, early ass check out. Usually it's like eleven. Pills plus drinking. That was yeah. not my best idea. Looks interesting. Does it cost money? Yes, I it does. Blackout or what? I think it's like thirty. Thirty or I think thirty uh, or forty. Something like that. It's not full price, but it's like straight. something like that. Thirty. Some water probably by face. now. Clear it up. Take some water, man. Give me some pills, man. Let's go. Oh, I don't need pills head. left. No. Oh. How many of these did I take? Yeah, I God, probably took the whole headache. bottle, bro. I feel like a pills, pills, like palm. My left temple. Uh, piece of water, man. My jacket, fridge. Search the fridge. I need something, man. Please let there be water. Water. What the hell's this? Snacks. Uh, beer. Bottle. Is that water? No. no. Take some beer, man. No. No more beer. <laughs> I need water. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, Telltale. No, this isn't Telltale. This is a uh, uh, dot knot or don't knot or whatever. That's the same people who made Life is Strange. Now, Walking Dead was made by Telltale. But no, yeah, it's the same no kind of style. Beer. I need water. No more beer. No water. Of course. Of course. Alright. Uh, my bag. At least it won't take me long to get my things. Alright. All I gotta do is just grab my bag and I'm out, man. Ten minute checkout. Let's go. Inspect the sink. I'm expecting something freaky is gonna happen to me right now. Uh, see what's up. I miss you. I already feel more human. Now, where did I put my shirt? Ah, uh, reflects a face that looks like a stranger. I was at least hoping I'd look better than I feel. Yeah, where is my shirt? Yeah, this definitely looks like a hotel bathroom. All dingy and bare bones. Is that my shirt? If my jacket's here, my shirt can't be far. Okay. I don't see a shirt. Did I hang it up? No. Even sober, I'd never put my shirt back in the bag. Oh. I don't see shit. Shirt, shirt. Late for checkout. They can wait a bit more. I don't even see my shirt. My car's here? Ugh. Did I drive it back? Hey, what's up, Retro? In the bath. Oh, it was in the bath? Oh, thanks, thanks, Lewis. Appreciate it, man. I didn't even see it in there, dude. I was like, where the hell is it? Didn't even get under the covers. Glad I even made it to the bed. Nah, yeah, I probably had bed bugs anyway. Bed bugs. Oh. Alright, let's go. Yeah, I didn't I didn't even see anything up in here. Was it in there? Oh yeah it was. Oh damn, it's got blood on it. What the hell? That can't that ain't good, right? Looks like I murdered somebody or something. Ah, uh, I was able to drive. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. If he was that drunk, dude, it looked like he was like blackout drunk or something. Now he's got blood all over. That's not shirt. good. That's yeah. That's not good, bro. Where did I get this? Uh, yeah. What did I do? What did I do? Uh, see, it's like the Hangover, man. You get drunk, forget what you did, and you gotta figure out what you did the night before. Go into my mind's eye. Oh. Uh, you think we play Cyberpunk? Uh, I don't know, Shaq. Maybe not. Big, big, victorious. So now I'm transported to another realm in my mind where I can see what I did last night. Maybe. No. I feel like this guy's got some like mind something going on. The 
run. I don't know what I'm running from, but go, go. Red team, go. Do I just run or what? Sam, be more careful. Breathe. Focus. Breathe. Focus. Find the way to calm down. Find a way to calm down. Sam, focus. You have to find the right door. You need to steady yourself. Find the right door? So do I go around him then? To find the right door? Okay. I'm trying to figure this out here. Okay, that wasn't the right door. Sam, focus. You have to find the right door. You need to steady yourself. This is a weird part, man. What the frick? Like, what the right, what is the right door? Like, how do I even get through there? going through like door number one you're doing good really good you're almost there favorite actor yeah hey what's up Esteban good morning man how's it going sir I'm almost there I guess I don't know I guess I gotta I don't know if I picked door number one two or three man focus choose act deliberately okay. act deliberately Okay. Okay. So that guy's struggling. What's this guy doing? He seems all fidgety. What's this guy doing? Uh, I don't know. He seems kind of sure of himself. All right, I'll go with this guy. If I run, I won't keep running. You face what happens. Huh. I'll just listen to him first, I guess, since I can listen to him. It's never happened. Going on. Okay. What does this guy say? Just go. Nah, I think I'm gonna pick the first one, man. This guy seems like he's got it all together here. Yes, answers. Good or bad. Or bad. I, I need, need answers. answers. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, what is this game, man? It's called uh, Twin Mirror, man. It came out, I think, in December. It's kind of like a like a psychological murder mystery. I know what you're thinking. It takes you on Stop a journey, thinking. man. Pills and alcohol. You're lucky enough you didn't wake up dead. That's true. I need to know what happened last night. Last place I remember is the bar, so I'll start there. The squeaky nail gets hammered down. Maybe don't play lone wolf detective. Uh, I know how to blend in. I'll be safer knowing. Uh, I'll be careful. Uh, I'm gonna take it slow and be cautious. Don't worry. Don't yeah, worry. Telling people not to worry always. It's happens. an accident. I can't just run from whatever this is. So nah, it's a little more than drunk, yeah. It's your yeah, life, he's Sam. crazy, bro. I What's up, everybody out there in the streams? Thanks for coming out, man. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, man. 
Yeah, it's kind of like a, a yeah, just a game that takes you on a journey, man. Like The Walking Dead or Life is Strange kind of thing. You know, you're trying to solve your friend's murder. And then, I don't know, trying to figure yourself out at, at the same time, I guess. I don't know. I feel like that's like my subconscious. I'm like talking, I think. I gotta figure out what happened last night, man. So I'm breaking into the bar, I guess. I'm in the back, back of the bar. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Do you really think breaking and entering is a good idea? Yeah, breaking Use and entering. Use Ethan's hidden spare key, no breaking involved. I don't know if he'll see it that way. I could wait for the bar to open, or I could look for answers. I picked the latter. <laughs> Yeah, thanks Retro, thanks for spawn, Victorious Gaming, Road Warrior for coming out, everybody man, you guys are out there, Lewis, thank you for letting me know that was in the bath man, I didn't even see that man, good eye, alright, uh, cleaning products, not used, beer, kegs, be like, what up, let's do a keg stand man, keg, 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 we got soda, we can put six packs of beer, I mean soda in there, Damn, that looks like a pretty cool bottle. Pretty cool, man. What up? I remember seeing oh. this before. A long time ago. Long time ago. Trophy earned, lost and found. Uh, specs. I'm sure you get a lot of trophies in this game, man, just by like searching and finding everything. Finding all the stuff and searching everything. Uh, Alright, I already inspected that. Oh, okay, Ethan look. Ethan his okay. parents. And I'm guessing that's his sister. He always thought they'd run the bar together. Alright. So I looked at that. Looked at that. Man, I gotta be missing something, right? What the hell did I come in here for? Ethan's records. Oh shit, man, that's the whole reason I came in here, right? I doubt Ethan's account somehow led to the blood on my shirt. Uh... Alright, so I guess head out in the bar maybe? Uh, I think he plays this too, yeah. Let me get T.O. in here real quick, okay. Whoa. What Thank happened here last night? First, look around, figure out what happened. Damn, okay. Looks like a fight happened. Bar fight. Maybe I got too drunk, got into it with those hillbillies sitting over there. That's what it looked like to me. I ended up drinking Spill alone. Drink. So who brought that second glass? Alright, so that was one clue. So I guess you I guess you collect a bunch of clues and then you gotta put everything together. So let me see. That's pretty cool. Refrigerator magnets there. Baseball bat. <clears throat> Behind the counter there. Alcohol bottles. Cash. Cash register. Mop. Ethan tried to clean up. Alright, everything looks good here. Oh, dang, the memorial got trashed. Ugh. Did I do this? I hope you didn't do this, bro. Sorry, Nick. Damn, man. They're like, ladies' night, man. This is ladies' night. Oh, what a night. Oh, you can play this? That's crazy, bro. You can really play Pac Man out here? That's wild, man. That is wild, bro. Holy crap, man. I can't believe you can really play Pac-Man on here. I feel like I'm a, I feel like I'm transported, man. Come here, you little ghost. I'm gonna eat you. I'm gonna eat you. Aww. Let's go. Damn, that's cool you get to play a game of Pac-Man. Let's go. Oh crap, I'm gonna get caught. No, oh, there you go. I made it. 
I gotta make it to that last pellet, man. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, buddy. I gotta try and win this first level at least here. Let me see if I can win. Oh, crap. Oh, there we go. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. I'm going downtown, baby. No, oh, 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 no. Oh, damn it. I think I got another life, though. I uh, think it would play the hell out of GTA 6 if it came out. Oh, yeah, man. Definitely. Yeah, why not, man? Oh, I got one more. I got one more. I got one more. All right, give me one more health. I can, I can win this. Give me one more chance, coach. Put me in. Ah, uh, I, I meant to turn, man. Ah, uh, you should turn. Game over. Chasing and being chased by ghosts. Waka waka. Let's go. Chasing out my ghost. Oh. All right, nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing here. There you go, scratch seat. Had that as a clue. Rip. This happened yesterday, or was it always like that? Yeah, it's true. It could have always been like that. All right, have class. All right, Rogue Warrior, have a good one, sir. Ah, uh, yeah, definitely, man. We'll get it popping. What the hell is on? Oh, it's just a like salt, salt shaker. Shake it like a salt shaker. Shake it like a salt shaker. I found you, Miss New Booty. Bring it back to me. These were sent Place scattering. Stuff. Bring a bucket to. Someone thrown into them? Yeah, probably you, dude. That's where you got all the blood from. Got the blood, man. Blood, guts, fingers and toes. Ooh, what the hell is this? What knocked this clock off the pillar? It seems there was a fight. That I clock was nasty, the man. Does it mean that I was involved? I won't be able to find out without more evidence. What? How can you get more evidence, man? I think I searched everything up in here. What the hell? I wish you could run, man. Like, you can't, that's like, this is it. Like, he walks like this. Man. The beer. What? Definitely not the wake Nick would have wished for. Trying to look for clues, man. Hughes business card. Hughes business card. Wonder why it's here. Basswood pharmacy. Drink plenty of water. Great for headaches. <laughs> yeah. Great for headaches. What a mess. Hope this wasn't me. Yeah, I was about to say, uh, look at the bat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll try to go look at the Vatican and see what's up. Yeah, because I looked at it. It really, didn't, wake Nick wished for. it really didn't give me any options there. Let's see what's up. Maybe I can check out the bathroom, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, I can't even. It won't even let me do anything with the bat. Freaking hoe. It just let me look at the, the description of it. Possibly, yeah, risky to linger. Uh, the mop, uh, what up? Any, any other, yeah, I can't go in the restroom. Huh. What am I missing? Let me see. Nothing left at the bar. Nothing left over here. What are the clues? Am I missing something on the ground? I don't think so. Inspect. Alright. Oh, okay, here we go. The pot was completely shattered. Looked like it might have been kicked. Okay, kicked. Could be the same blood, blood that was on my shirt. Alright, we'll see what's up with that. Thank you, thank, thank you. flowers. The flowers are ruined. Looks like they were knocked over, then stepped on. Alright. Ooh, a bracelet. There we go. Bam, baby. DG. DG, baby. Was he Let's involved go. in whatever happened? He must have been. surprise me. 
Yeah, he was probably a hoe, man. Alright, uh, so why didn't you pick up the bracelet, man? That way you got the evidence. That doesn't make sense. Did I not get everything? Yeah, I looked at the flowers. Did that, did that. Did the bracelet thing. Uh, uh, did the did the blood, did the broken flower pot. Yeah, I think that was everything in there. I don't know what else could have been on there. Ah, oh, Joel's cap. There we go. Joel's There's another clue. Maybe we ended up having it out after all. All right. So what is that? I think mean? I've seen enough to put together the pieces of what Oh, there we go. Okay, night. I found everything. Just Good. gotta think it through. Think it through, man. Think it through. Press R1 to do the Mind Palace. Okay. Mind Palace, baby. Let's go. Ah, uh, go look at the stage. Yeah, thanks, Retro. Yeah, that was it, man. We got her. At least I can always count on this place to make sense. I'm in my own, like, Mind Palace, I guess. Where I make sense of everything, I guess. I, I don't know. Now to work I'm, out what I'm happened while I was blacked out last night. I just need to think it through logically, throw out impossibilities. Okay. Until only the truth is left. I know I got into a fight, but it could have played out in many different ways. I have to think it through, find out what really happened. Okay, answer the question to start forming a hypothesis. My memory ends here. All right, so it started There's at the bar. Glasses. Who was here with me? Started here. So now I have to like recreate what happened while I was, I was blacked out. My own. Someone, someone approached, approached me. Him. I can't remember who it was, but I know we got into a fight. Obviously. Obviously. Okay. figure out how the fight went, I should figure out who my assailant was. Okay. Okay, uh... Towards the pillar or towards the entrance? Towards the pillar, right? Something hit the pillar with enough force to make the clock fall. A person thrown into the pillar would do it. Yeah. So boom, the fight went into here. Probably got thrown into the rail there, knocked the clock over. Alright. So where do I come back here? Okay, towards the pillar. Okay. Okay, where do I go next then? What the hell? Thought I answered that question. Okay, was I wrong? Or? Broken glass, damaged seat. It's possible the fight made its way over here. I don't, know, I don't think the fight came over here, though. Something hit the pillar with enough force to make the clock fall. A person thrown into the pillar would do it. Alright, so. Ah, here we go. Okay, so where did it go? It went to. Uh, alright, so where would it have gone from here? Maybe to the stage? Looks like not even the memorial board was spared by the brawl. That could be it, but I still have to figure out who was sitting next to me. Uh, yeah, the bracelet. Dennis. That's Dennis's. I definitely wanted to shut him up last night. 
But yeah, that's how the fight went. Boom! And then I knocked the bracelet off him, or that was me on the ground, one of the two. <clears throat> and then something else happened. Press R1 to validate your I hypothesis. Have complete picture now. Alright, there we go. Yeah. Now I got everything wrapped up. Came up being a ding, you like know, usual. The man who talks to himself has an idiot for an Fuck audience. Fuck off, Dennis. <laughs> I see why you have so many friends left in town. Yeah, you would know about that. At least my best friend never slept with my ex. Oh, dude. I would have slugged him after that one. More, huh? The backstabbing asshole or the bitch? Boo! 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 Let's go. You're done, son. Where'd the blood come from, though? Because that was Dennis's blood, then. You don't talk about Anna or Nick that way. You think you know who Nick was? Mr. Perfect? Give me a break. You have no idea. No one in this town does. What are you talking about? I'll show you. But not here. Sam. Meet me later at the end. Okay, so at least I figured out what, I, what happened when I was blacked out. Ethan is coming back in through the front. At least I think it's him. You think it's him? <clears throat> I can't actually tell if you can't tell. What I know for sure is, if it's Ethan, he may not be happy to find you here. So I strongly suggest you leave. And if you don't, well, tell him you're here to apologize about last night. You trashed up his bar and then broke in. I'm gonna stay. Time to leave if you're leaving. I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna you talk to him. Apologize. Trust me. Yeah, I'm gonna apologize. God damn, Sam! You're, you're, you're not here to rob me, right? The crew too. Yeah. No, no. Uh, I came here to apologize. Ethan, I. Uh, no, I'm not here to rob you. Good. I don't want to break your legs. <laughs> I'm here to apologize about last night. Ah, I thought that might be the case. Don't sweat it. This place gets busted up once a month. <laughs> sounds rough. Yeah, it sounds yeah, rough, man. It is what it is. Buy a bar, bar you, you gotta, gotta run a bar. bar. You know? yeah. I'll take cleaning up your dumbass mess over dealing with family any day. <laughs> Ethan, did anything weird happen last night? Well, you and Dennis beat the crap out of each other, and then you left. And now I gotta clean it up. Hey, don't worry about it. Uh, too much. No one's on their best behavior after losing a loved one. Right, I right. know I'm not. At least my sister isn't dead. She's just ruining her life. She wants to kill it now. Ruining her life? Yeah, living in some commune. Dropped out of school. Life of a heathen. Life of a heathen. You all make mistakes. Yeah, and I feel like she makes most of them. Sam, I got a lot of your mess to clean up, so if you could, you know, leave. Yeah, I got places to be anyways. See you around, Ethan. Why? Well, I would have stayed around to help him clean it up. You know? I would have been like, shit. Why well, have him clean up your mess, you know? GG's. See what's up. Yeah, thanks everybody for stopping by, man. Happy Taco Tuesday, Booze Day Tuesday, whatever kind of Tuesday it is for you. Thanks for stopping out. Playing this new game called Twin Mirror. Uh, it's kind of like a, you know, psychological murder mystery. You know, pretty cool though, man. I'm definitely getting into it. I like it a lot, you know. I like how you can recreate scenes and, you know, try to figure out what happened. He's like an investigative journalist and trying to solve his buddy's murder I guess or I'm thinking it was a murder pretty sure everybody's acting kind of weird definitely a weird town basswood here I come back on the town's miners day celebration celebrate celebrate well, they always did have great timing no time to dwell on that mountain stay oh West Virginia that's where we're at it's West Virginia West Focus. Virginia. You tried Dennis's cell phone. 
No answer. So what now? Ask around, what up? see if anyone's seen Dennis today. What up? What up? What's up, C Dog? my memory. Thanks for coming out, sir. I've heard worse plans. Thanks, Smitty. Twenty like update, baby. Oh, let's go. Yeah, man. So we're just we're investigating stuff. Uh, you know. Basswood's small. If Dennis Didn't came know the town. Main street, someone saw him. Didn't know the town. You know, investigating some stuff. See what's up. What's up? What's up? Now I'm gonna go talk to some people. Here's Joan. Now doesn't seem like the best time to bother her. No, oh, okay. Alright. I won't talk to her then. Let's say she's like Mark Twain quote, good to see the younger generations open to the classics. Who's this dude? Can I talk to him? What up? Can I talk to you? What up, homie? You don't want to talk? Be like, damn, homie. Who's this chick? She wants to talk? Be like, hey, baby, want to mud wrestle? Oh. Hey. Don't remember seeing you in town. Ah, uh, that's just so annoying. What's up, man? How you that's doing? Bad. What up, Trey? I was born in Basswood. I was raised in Basswood, though I left for a few years. Wait, you managed to leave and still came back? You'd never see me again if I left. You'd Why never see you? me. Yeah, sure. Well, I save my millions of dollars and run for it. And make a run for yeah. I can Doing good, Trey. Like what up, Frankie? Yeah, Lester is what I'm Too poor to leave. Yeah, too poor to stay, too poor to leave. Yes, yeah, sir. Alright, what's this? The history of Basswood. Join us at your favorite town hall and find out. There you go, man. Find out. The Gossip Club. Two months, two miles for half an year. You guys talk? No talking. Going to the coffee shop, man. Why not? Coffee. Yeah, I've been doing good, man. I almost have two million GTA. Heck yeah, man. Keep saving, bro. Keep saving. That's all you can do, man. Gotta hit it and quit it. Oh. Ah, right, we got trivial pursuit. Oh, Sam. Is that you? Dear, please, could you help an old doddering woman? Yeah, let's do it up. Uh... You are many things, but not doddering. Plotting, maybe. Sam, you shouldn't say such <laughs> things, even if they're true. <laughs> uh, yeah, I used to play Trivial Pursuit back in the day, man. Thank you so much. You're always such that was a, a fun. That was a fun game, man. Say, Christina, have you... Oh, Sam, it's been years. It really is so nice to see you again. Yeah, likewise, but... I wanted to come to the funeral yesterday, but just thinking about it... Oh, oh dear. dear. Now, I know oh, you want to interrupt dear. her because I want to interrupt her. So eyes on <laughs> me, buddy. Happy thoughts. Deep Happy breaths. Thoughts. Yeah. Well, uh, speaking of the... Poor Joan. Losing a father at such a young age. Oh, what a tragedy. I was trying to find one of those games she likes so much to cheer her up. Poor child only has Kathy now, and, well, far from me to criticize or anything, but these last few months, Kathy hasn't been all there, if you know what I mean. Well, hopefully this tragedy will be a wake-up call for her to be more present. She should take a few weeks off to be with Joan. I know you would never refuse. Don't you agree? Uh, I, like, I really wasn't listening. <laughs> That's what, I really wasn't listening. I was like, uh... I'm sure if poor Kathy... <laughs> What's up, real Jason? Ah, uh, but look at me. I talk and talk... Is there a town hall in Basswood? Probably. Say, didn't you? Have you seen Dennis today? Dennis? No, it's odd, actually. He usually stops in here Sunday mornings. 
Like how you and Nick used to come over from the paper with Anna every Friday. You three always seem so happy. Oh, but you, Sam, how have you been doing? Uh, slowly decomposing. Uh, that's funny. Now, sitting in my mom's spare bedroom and decomposing into arrested development. <laughs> well, uh, at least you're decomposing with family. Right, right. You look well. I've been better. Hung yeah, over hung over, man. You know what's good for that? Coffee. Hey, what's up, Bad Panda? What up? Go. Thanks for coming out, Bad Panda. What it do? What it do? Oh. Thanks for coming out, Bad Panda. Everybody else, man. Appreciate you coming out. I'm just investigating, doing some uh, murder mystery in the town of Basswood here. Trying to find out who killed my old best friend here, Ethan. We talk, hey, we talk soon. Thought hey, I man. knew everyone, but I don't know you. I don't I used know to be a regular you, a few years ago. Oh, right. You're one of those who skipped town when the mine closed down. You could say that, yes. Town ain't changed much since then. Same old boring basswood. I know most people hate that, but I don't. It's quiet here. It's quiet here. It's nice. It's nice. It's so nice. quiet, there's no rush hour, I guess. Right? Man, yeah, that kid sounds a little weird, man. Can I talk to him again? I want to get some more out of him. Hey, man, That's what I'm saying. I want to ask him more I questions. Focus on work. I got to focus on work, dude. All right, you focus on work. Putting in work, work, work. Digging in the dirt. Working man. Too bad you couldn't like shut people's laptops or something and be like, hey man, I didn't mean it, it was an accident. Plant. Good What's to see plant? someone finally knows how to take care of a plant. Uh, it's, it's starting to get good. So oh yeah, definitely man. To mess it up. Yeah, definitely starting to get good. I'm, I'm seeing like a lot of suspects. Uh, you know, finding some clues. Definitely man. They've got some spare keys. The clan. <laughs> Cowboy must have lost his keys. So that's the cop. Yeah, that's the cop's uh, keys, man. Okay, okay. Let me inspect some other things. Note. What does the note say? Read. Uh, missing. No reward. I've lost a book by the title "The Grinding Gears." It's the sixth book in the Terror Grade Man series. If found. Please leave with Christina. She will let me know. Thank you, Jay. Okay. Anything else I could look at? Guitar lessons. Hey, who wants guitar lessons out there? Anybody need them? I'll, I'll peel off a tab for you. Be like, what up? Yeah. Man, yeah, play guitar. If willing to teach me, please call. <laughs> uh, that's it. Alright, cupcake contest. There you go. I'll read this. Bring your most creative ideas, delicious decorations. The winner gets three free dozen cupcakes. Inspire us with your cupcake dreams. The cupcake contest is back, baby. Let's go. Uh, I think that's it. That's it. Let's see. Oh, this one. What's, what's this? Uh, Miner's Day is back. Join us at the Basswood Memorial Plaza on April 9th to celebrate our history. Special thanks to Walter Dotson, Bess Mitchell, and Hugh Kirkland. All right, man. Big ups to Kirkland, man. Right, I think that's it, man. I think, it's, I think I did the... Uh, uh, can I check out the bathroom, maybe? I don't know. I don't know why I always check out bathrooms, but I feel like there's clues in there, maybe. Coffee. <laughs> not very inspired. Yeah, not very inspired. That's true, sir. Right, I think that's it, man. I sucked everything out of this thing. Oh, yeah, it's starting to get good, bro. I like a good mystery, man. Open the damn door. It looks like there's a lot of suspects going on. It looks like there's a lot of, a lot of, you know, seedy underbelly, you know, going on in this place. You know, the cop seems like he's, he's got something going on. A lot of, a lot of seedy people. My ex-girlfriend was going out with my ex-best friend, and I don't know, man. Freaking hoes, man. I got hoes in different area codes. Area codes. Let's go. I used to play with Putter GTA Online. That'd be great, Bad Panda. I'd love it. I love it. Yeah, sounds great, Bad Panda. I am definitely down. I love Putter, man. Putter is awesome. He's like the goat. No luck so far, but I should keep digging around. 
Oh, someone must have oh, seen okay. Dennis. Oh, okay. I guess I must have to stay on this, uh, on Main Street here. Yeah, here's a drugstore. Yeah, I'm sure that one guy's a pharmacist, so... I'll probably have to go down there. Ooh, somebody's over here. I might be able to talk to this, this person. And the Amigo here. Electric wheelchair. I should check the trunk of your car for the body. <laughs> that is funny, man. I probably should. That's a good idea. I never thought about that. What's up, Joe? Joe, what Losing do you know? His legs seemed like the end of him. Oh, yeah, out. this must be um, Anna's so dad. Hard. Yeah, this is Anna's dad. Because he lost his legs in the mine or the mine or whatever. Joe. What up, Sam. Joe? You old bridge jump by you bit. What's the calendar say? What a two years, Joe. It's been two years. Two years, man. Too long. For too long for too long. I heard you showed up yesterday. Yeah. Boys give you trouble? A little bit. Maybe a little. Uh, maybe a little. But don't worry. It's hard for, it's hard for me to blame them. After the mine. It's hard, so tough. Yeah, I'm thinking about it taking my trunk, put man. Food on the table. Don't let that weigh on you. No one else has lost their legs recently. Uh, I'll say, how you been? So, how have you been holding up? Terribly. But Anna keeps me young. How'd you ever let her get away? Uh, it's <laughs> you probably know better than me. All right. I heard all about it. Still, I always liked you. Straight shooters are a rare breed these days. That's how I am, man. Straight like shooter, man. can look me in the eye and say what he means. That's how I am. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll save the Dennis question for last. Bar last night. Went home after the service. The cripple takes it out of you. Normally, I'd be rotting away in my recliner, but I like to come out and see the decorations. Pay my respects to old iron here. This town's been a mining town. Yeah, the graphics look really clean, though, man. It'll be one after I die. It's good to get out and celebrate your roots every now and then. I don't have the same perspective on Miner's Day that other people have. No, I suppose you wouldn't. <laughs> uh, yeah, what's up? Hey, what's up, Harry? What's up, Dolly? What up? We got you Dolly, seen man. Dennis today, have you? I wish. Let's go. Just about the only guy I could talk hockey with. Not football? I want to talk football. I could just grab anybody on the street. Let's Dennis see. actually enjoys a man sport. But no, I haven't seen him. All right. I have Gotta get going, man. To be, but Gotta go. To see you. Gotta go, Miss Ho. Wait two years before saying oh. No, no. I'll do my best. I'm bad, Joe man. has no idea where Dennis went. Baby, I'm Someone back. Someone must yeah. have seen him after the fight. Cause you learn more about the town. All right, class five. Yeah, we'll get it going. We'll get it popping, man. What it do? What it do? All right. So I talked to him. Talked to all those people. All right. I, I don't know. I kind of want to talk to her last, but I feel like she's gonna. I don't know. Maybe I should just talk to her anyway. So. Yeah. It says of all things. I've lost. I miss my mind the most. <laughs> yeah, it is a Mark Twain quote. Hey, Bug. What are you doing out here? Hey, Millie. Yeah. Why are you sitting outside this together. crack house? Pharmacy. Drawing. Drawing. I got a new journal after I left the old one somewhere. <laughs> See? Ooh, nice drawing. Pterodactyl. Let's go. Did you get home okay last night? Yeah. I bike everywhere. It's not like anything scary bad happens in Basswood. At least not normally. <laughs> I heard you asking about my dad last night. Yeah. Uh, I guess I wasn't very subtle. <laughs> well, I guess I wasn't very subtle, was I? No, you were not. <laughs> no, you were not. Did you find out anything about my dad? Not yet. Uh, not yet. Not really, at least. Let me know if you find anything, please. All right, I'll let I feel you know. like I need something. It's just this town, you know? This place. 
It feels like I'm suffocating. I can't breathe. I can't think. I can't stand my mom. I don't just like school. Well, except for science. And just... Sometimes people just need to be listened to, you know? I just don't... I don't know. I don't see this place. Or these people. I'm somewhere else. Anywhere else. I know it's stupid, just... It's not stupid. If you want, you can go anywhere in the world. Well, you can go anywhere, be anywhere, do anything. I mean, that's what I've been told anyway. Gross. Gross. Oh, other stuff sounds okay. <laughs> hey, what's up, Bradley Burt? Thanks for coming out, sir. What up? Big ups to Bradley Burt, man. I've got kid stuff I gotta see about. So, we're both busy. We're both busy. Let's go. Busy, busy. It's tough seeing her like this. Gotta go talk Since to some people. Older by six years and just two. All right. Yeah, yeah. I should check the trunk. Can you check the trunk, actually? Uh, Dennis's Dennis car. Never the commemorative type. What's he doing? Yeah, his here? car's here, so he's got to be here, right? That would be cool if I could check my trunk, like Smitty said, man. See, like there's his car. Cause he was supposed to take me somewhere, man, and show me something about. About the murder, I think. Hopefully. Alright, so that's, there's nothing there. The Black... The Black Heart Hotel. Looks like it's run down. Looks like the drugstore has got something, maybe. Be like, I need drugs, man. Give me drugs. Yeah, there, there you go. Uh, what's up, FRL? Thanks for coming out. What up? Yeah, man, we're just playing. We're playing a new game today, man. Twin Mirror. Uh, it's like a murder mystery, psychological. Uh, he's got like a mind thing going on. Like a, he's like a like a super investigative journalist. Some pieces of the puzzle. It's really cool, man. I'm liking it a lot, man. Good story. Like trying to solve your best friend's murder. You know, it's pretty cool, man. Or at least find out more more about it. You know. Go down the rabbit, see you know, see how far Yo, the rabbit the hole way. goes. Get out the way, y'all. You move. I'm the one coming in. You move. You. That's oh, dude, that's it, dude. I'm about to freaking drill this dude. No, you don't tell. You don't say that to me. What up? Oh, I was like, get out of my way. Kathy I'm on and the you were both at the wake. I should talk to them. I should talk to them. Oh, here's Tara. Let me talk to her. She's, she's crazy. She needs some drugs. Oh, Sam, you here to pick up something for your uh, condition? What condition? I have a condition. What? What? Yeah, the one that makes what? you the way you're always so... you. <laughs> it's all right, of course. Dang, she's rude, man. I won't man. tell anyone. I think I might actually have... A leaky yeah. gut? It's where your intestine starts to dissolve. And your half digested food starts to leak out. Oh, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm a pharmacist. And let him know I might have something like that. <laughs> Ew. He's basically a stranger. <laughs> have you seen Dennis? I saw him yesterday. We exchanged pleasantries. At the wake? Oh, I saw you too. <laughs> Given his condition uh, yesterday, crazy. he might have come in here. You walloped him. Why not ask the pharmacist? I'll just yeah, check the just... internet when I get home. It'll tell me what to get. It'll tell me what to get. <laughs> it was nice. Yeah, she is guitar. crazy. Like, she is certifiable, man. Mm. Was it? Was it? Oh, was it? Oh, uh, was it? Oh, jeez, man. That voice is Wolf or Dita, man. All right, what's up, Hugh Hefner? What up? He looks Here's like talk. those doctors you see on commercials. Yeah, he does. He's like, I got diabetes. I got the diabetes. Help me, please. Hey, what up, Genesis? Thank you for the 99 cents. Super chat, sir. What's up, PM Gunner? What up? What up, Donald? What up, everybody, man? Ah, oh, Samuel. I'm sorry about Richard. Thank you for the donation, so sir. On edge. I'm surprised to see you up and about after the night you had. Honestly. Appreciate it. Big ups to Genesis, man. I was afraid you'd end up like your friend. You were quite inebriated. I blacked out. 
I have an impressive hangover. <laughs> I'll go with that one. And I have quite the hangover to show for it. Not my finest hour. Not my finest hour. <laughs> I would say not. Hey, what's up, Berserk? I did my best to prevent you from following that other man outside. And I tried to get you to hand over your keys. But you would have none of it. Sorry about that. Oh, the man I had a fight uh, with, Dennis. Have you seen him today? Seen him? No. No, can't say I have. Thanks anyways. That article you wrote, it's done this town a lot of good. Uh... How? <laughs> how do you figure? The mine was a band-aid on a torn artery. Sometimes, doing what is unpopular is still the moral choice. You probably believe that. I'd offer you something for that hangover. But I find in some cases, time, <laughs> time, yeah, time is the best medicine. I, I, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, my mother says that I'm laying off everything. Last night was a wake up call. Yeah, I'm laying off everything. Clean living, man. Clean living. Clean living. Everything is poison. All that matters. Usually, I'm the hungover one. <laughs> now you have a good one, young man. That's funny. What's up, Kings? Was there anything else you needed, by the way? What up? Uh. Yeah, I'm gonna get Stop out of here, man. You. I need to get going, anyways. Yeah, I gotta I'll go. Bother at all. I don't know where it's the hell this dude is, there, man. Do come see me again. Damn. Yeah. All right. Let me talk to this hell real quick. Let me get some. Oh, can I get some out of the candy bowl? No. I want some candy, man. Still oh. here after all these years. She followed Nick to Basswood, but never liked it. I never liked it. She's a hoe. Can't make a whole housewife. Let's go. Oh. No, hey, Sam. What can I do you for? Uh. I'll just go. Dennis see hasn't him. come in today, has he? Dennis, I haven't seen him since last night. Why? Hmm. You looking for trouble? Last night we got into a fight, like a fist fight. Really? I'm oh, sorry, I missed that. You could both use the thumping. <laughs> Damn. Like, and I she is just straight up rude, Joan. man. Did you have to say that fantasy about her father being murdered was real? That's not what I... I just want her to be a little girl. Not a little Sam Higgs. Sneaking around and getting into trouble. <laughs> and now all she can talk about is how you're going to prove that she's right. Sorry. I know it's not your fault, but I just don't... I don't... I don't know what to do with her. She's my daughter. And I feel like I'm losing her. I feel like I'm losing her? I gotta go. If the boss oh. sees me jawing, it's that work out. Get an earful. Damn, no one in here was much help. Yeah, nobody was much help, man. This is like a freaking lost cause up in here. I'm like, damn, Gina. Basswood postcards, the glass jar, ugly. Ah, uh, celebrity magazines, hiking trails. Okay. Hiking is an activity best done alone on a Sunday afternoon. <laughs> there you go. All right. So what else we got? Charity stuffed toy. Anything else? Don't look like it. Looks like we got some food. Bags of chips. Reminds me of a girl I met. She could only eat chips when she had stomach aches. Huh. Yeah, that's weird. I've never heard of that. Uh, I talked to everybody. I guess I'm out of here. Everybody's a hoe. Uh, let me go check this stuff out real quick. Power wheelchair, 50% off. Not uncommon for miners to end up in those once they get black lungs. Uh, you to go. Hey, thanks, Teron Williams. I appreciate that, man. Thanks for coming out, sir. What's up, MG? Having a rough day? Yeah, DG. Sorry you're having a rough day, sir. Hopefully it gets better, man. Sleeping pills. Painkillers. Yeah, alright. There ain't any crap else in here. I'm out. I did not know to stream this early. Yeah, sometimes, man. Coffee shop next. I already, we have already went to the coffee shop, man. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know. Maybe I gotta go somewhere else. Maybe, Smitty. I'll see. Maybe I gotta go back. Maybe there's somewhere I haven't been yet. You know, I'll, I don't know. Try to 
try to comb some more areas, you know. Got to put out a wide, wide net, you know. See what's up. I got my PS4 taken off of me. Why? What happened, man? You get some bad grades in school and stuff. That's what my parents would like when I was a kid. They'd be like, if you don't get A's or B's, man, we're taking your Super Nintendo away. You know, or my Nintendo, or my Sega Genesis, or whatever. Perfect toy for a kid who only had imaginary friends. Yeah, I'm going to the moon, man. Let's go. All right, maybe there's something I missed. Oh, oh, here's the cops. This looks like Dennis too. Looks like both of them. Looks like they're in cahoots. Now, I can't just have you hanging around here all day like a ghost. It's a free country. Hey, don't give me that. People have been complaining, so don't let me see you here again. You fascist. What you just... I'm just doing my job. It's nothing personal. Looks like you're not the only one who started off on the wrong foot today. Sorry you had to see that. Some people you just can't reason with. Yeah. Speaking of, you're still in town. You corrupt cop. Uh, you haven't seen Dennis today, have you? Why are you looking for him? I wanted to apologize for last night. I'll just stay out of his way for a day or two. I heard you messed up Dennis pretty good last night. I'm not joking. Uh, it's a good, yeah, it's really good, Gunner. It is, man. Really good story. I like it, man. Uh, yeah, I'll probably end up finishing the whole thing today. That person you were talking to? Who's that? A lost soul. Vagrancy isn't a crime, but loitering and trespassing are. I try to be understanding, polite, but it's hard when no one is polite back. People call you pig or fascist just for doing your job. Then they go and do things like deface the whole town. And I'm the asshole? You can get under your skin. Where's... Where's you at day after day? It grinds you down. It makes you feel like you've been lifting logs all day. Yeah. Sorry about that. I went off for a spell. He was just venting, man. Just he remember, went off, man. This town don't always respect the things you do. Trust me. Oh, right okay. Now. Yeah, real Jason is too dog. Yeah. You, officer. Have a good day. Keep your nose clean. Yeah, that's really good, man. I like it a lot, man. Yeah, I like it a lot. Alright, uh, working at the cafe most of the day. Really like to talk. If you're still around. Okay, yeah, Smitty was right, I guess. I guess I gotta go back to the cafe. Alright, GG, sir. Alright, Smitty. You're alright, sir. Back to the cafe to talk to Anna. Anna Banna, Bobana, Anna Fana, Fofana. Me, my, Momana. Anna. Let's go. Tracks and tunes, man. Wah, wah. Down home country. Down in West Virginia. She's out having her smoke break. What a. Uh, I want to talk to her. Maybe she says something so different. Far. I don't know. But people are going to swarm the cafe once the celebration starts. I guess it Celebrate. When I was playing Mafia, I put the hardest difficulty. There was one race I was doing. All the NPCs were crashing into me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, sometimes I think yeah, the hardest difficulty, man. Those races, dude, they make them so tough. Man, yeah, that's crazy, man. I'm glad you got her done now. It took you a minute. You seem really engrossed. Oh, I'm sorry, hun. Where's the other chick? Just balancing the books. I'm trying to. Uh, it's been a while. Coffee's still good. What? You still have Basswood's best coffee? I thought coffee. I told her. I thought that uh, one chick honey, told you know me. you know we never had that. That's over at the police station. Bess <laughs> takes her coffee very seriously. Puts mine to shame. She pays out of pocket for real high-end stuff. I'd never make the margins work. Not that my margins have been cutting it lately. Anyway, the past is the past. I just accepted a big business opportunity. 
Mm -hmm. Which makes tidying up my books in time extra important. Yeah, it's sort of like it, yeah. Uh, got a franchise deal. I didn't think I'd see the day where you'd consider a franchise contract. Ha! Only the day God calls for me. Have you met Hugh Kirkland already? The new pharmacist. He's helping me with a few improvements. Angel investing. Can you believe it? I actually can't. What did he ask for in return? Oh dear, I can't believe you're so cynical at your age. People in small towns do help each other. Every now and again. That's not just something that happens on made for TV movies. <laughs> uh I feel strange being back here. I don't think I've been in your cafe in a while. Almost two and a half years. Anna kept coming in. But you stopped. You noticed that? I could tell you two dears weren't gonna make it. it broke my heart. It sounds like you knew before I did. I have one eye on the customer and one eye on the books. Not that I really want to keep an eye on the books, mind you. So uh, where's Just the other been chick a at? Bit slow in the last few years. All over town, really. Uh, okay. Sounds like the town's running through a pretty rough patch. Ah, uh, things have just been a bit tough since the mine closed. But you know us. We always make it through. For example, I thought we'd never have another miner's day. But here we are. How you doing? You managed to keep the... Uh, what's up, good, Trippy Slade? Well what's good, sir? As a snake with four balls. It's a nightmare if I ask myself I never do that yeah. race over again. <laughs> Sounds uncomfortable. But the yeah, how's it going, Trippy? <laughs> Something yeah, like it's going good, man. Still don't know what it means. Yeah, I'm down into this uh, story here, man. Deep in, man. Mm. It's pretty cool, I'm though, man. I like the graphics. The you know the story oh, yeah. looks pretty good. You know. Luck with your yeah, it's getting good. Mm -hmm. It's definitely getting good. Uh, oh, there's there's her right there. I was wondering where she was. Like, where are you at? That's why I, the whole reason Sam. I came here. I didn't think you'd actually show up. I didn't think I would either. But hey, sometimes we surprise ourselves. Right. So, uh, I hear you got in a fight after I left the wake? Yeah. More of a scuffle. <laughs> uh, yeah, he had a Honestly, comment. if it happened again, I'd have hit him again. He was oh, asking yeah. for it. I would have done it that again. Does sound like Dennis. Gotta go. Check y'all later. All right. All right. See dog. Real Jason. Have a good one, man. Have you? Why? Afraid your powerful blows laid him up. So what are you working on? <laughs> I'm working on an article on how nature does its best to reclaim the land after the yeah. strip. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's like Walking Dead. Life is strange. Why are you looking for you Dennis? Know, that kind of stuff? I can tell something has you spooked. I can always tell. Go on. Tell her. You could honestly use a non-imaginary person to confide in. She might slow me down. Or try to involve the cops. She might do those things, yes. Or she might be someone who you can trust. Who can who help. Who can help. Uh, do I tell her or do I hide it? She'll probably be pissed at me if I, if I hide it. I don't know. Shit. Because I, uh, I did the other thing last time. I don't know. I'll probably just tell her, man. Just be honest. You know, honesty is the best policy, right? You know? Uh, yeah, I'm going to do that, man. Alright. Yeah, I'm going to tell her. Just tell her. I woke up today and my shirt was covered in blood. Blood? What happened? I don't know. Last night, pills and alcohol mixed. It's all oh, a blur. blur, man. That's why I'm looking for Dennis. Have you tried the Basswood Jungle? He likes to work weekends. So no, she's actually that. helping. That's I'll good. do that right now. Sam, is there anything I can do to help? Oh, uh, nah. I'm just gonna. Do my own thing. <laughs> I'm just gonna do my own thing. Oh, Sam, what have you done? Oh crap. Maybe I should have hit it. I don't know. Dang it, man. I always feel like I'm making the wrong choice. Shit. But at least she helped though, because she told me where to find him. So. Oh, uh, yeah, that's crazy, man. Yeah, thanks everybody for coming out. Welcome to the stream. 
Yeah, big ups to Sea Dog. Thanks for coming out, sir. Have a good rest of your day. Everybody else, man, if you gotta go, I appreciate it. But I'm gonna I'm gonna stay and play this game until I finish it. So, all right. So where where the hell was he working? At? A jungle place, a bar, maybe. I don't know, so probably still won't let me go this way. We're gonna check the basswood jungle. Basswood Hopefully jungle. Dennis is working today. Okay. Whatever the hell that is. I wish you could run, man. Oh, I guess you can run. Okay, damn. Okay, I was wondering for a second. I was like, what the hell? Dang, I was sick of walking everywhere. Really didn't think Miner's Day would have survived the mine closing down. Yeah, now that I know I can actually run. Damn, makes it a little easier. The basswood jungle. Where the hell is that in? Here's City Hall right here. Oh, here's the jungle. What the hell? I didn't even know this was a thing. Funny is that AI Al Pacino is Italian, not Cuban. I should right? check it back. <laughs> Probably gonna play Vice City for now. I wanna play bigger later with Bill Time and Joe. Oh cool, yeah, man, that sounds good. It's locked, so what the hell am I can I sneak in the back like I did the other bar or what? Uh, let me see. My, oh, no. my, my. Look what we got here. Ah, oh, the hillbilly Sam fan. Higgs, trying to get back in the newspaper game? I thought you got the message last night. Of course, it was hard to tell. Considering you let Declan do your talking for you. Look, fellas. You know, Basswood can be a dangerous place. Well, so maybe consider just getting. Before something bad happened to you. Before something bad happened to you. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll stay as long as I want, bro. I'll stay as long as I want, dude. I'll leave when I'm good and ready. I was like, the cops are right Just across the street, bro. Just make it later. Yeah. Get the hell out of my right face, down the man. street. Yeah, get the hell out of my face, homie. He's talking to nobody. Watch yesterday. yourself while you're in Basswood. Because we'll be watching you. Oh, I'll be watching you. I'll be watching you. Alright, man, I'll see you later. I'm just going to uh, watch this when it comes. Yeah. Sounds good, man. Have a good one, Gunner. Yeah, you'll see the whole story. Yeah, I got you. He's like, I'll be watching you, son. At least the basswood jungle is still standing. Yeah, you can watch, man. Watch and learn, he says. Alright. Wonder if you can go in the back, man. Can I hit it from the front? Can I hit it from the back? Sexy can I? Alright, I'm in, man. Gotta go talk to Dennis. See what he, I don't know, see what he had to tell me or whatever. I don't know what happened. What up? Uh, yeah, alright. Yeah, sounds good, man. Man, yeah, P.O. Connor's like, what up? Alright. I'm in the king of the jungle and I can't be tamed. Take you all the way to the millennium age. Been a while. This place, place used to be my home. Oh, well, that's cool. Like Pac-Man stuff on the back wall there. That was cool. Where is Dennis? He should be in here. Yeah, he should be in here. I'm gonna find him, dude. I'm gonna supersize this hell. Be like round two, bitch. Oh. Trying to just look around, see if there's any clues or anything I might be able to find before I get to them. You know? I don't want to go through this game and be like, oh yeah, I only got half of the crap or something. You know? Uh, post-its. Can I read some post-its? No, I can't. Can't. Help me please, help me please. Anything over here? I see a computer on. Oh, here it is. Whoa! Dennis. Somebody killed him. Dennis. Damn. Oh, crap. This ain't gonna look good, dude. I've been looking all around for him, and I got a fight with him last night. Oh, dude. This ain't looking good for me at all, man. Is that how I got blood on me? Oh, shit. Did I? I hope I didn't kill him. Damn, dude. Yeah, this is crazy. Yeah, this is starting to get real good now, man. 
What the hell? Why did you kill me? What the hell? I didn't kill him, did I? Focus, you can think through any problem. What am I supposed to do? Keep going. You got this. Am I supposed to focus on the right one? Sam, no. Don't think about that. Don't let it in. Don't give up, Sam. You almost have it. I think you have to focus. You have to focus on the right one. Oh, there he is. It's almost like you're finding the memory or something. Wow, that's wicked, man. Hey, what's up, JK All Day? I'm doing good, man. How you doing, sir? JK All Day, this is baby. This office. Oh. There must be some clues around. Put some hot sauce on my burrito, baby. Yeah, I'm like on overload right now, dude. Cause I'm just like, keep it together. You can solve this. Cause I feel like Figure I'm gonna get blamed for this. Dennis man. dies again, and the panic overwhelms you. Chest wound. What kind of weapon did this? Blood sprayed on the desk from the injury, but I need more to go on. The chair is pretty far away from the desk, but I don't think that's the chair is pretty far away from the desk, but I don't uh, think that's important. What else? Uh. Chest wound. What kind of weapon did this? What weapon am I looking for? Uh, Blood all over the monitor. Not much to go on. I need something useful. Chest wound. What kind of weapon did this? What am I looking for? Maybe like a knife? It almost looks like a gun almost. Or almost like a single hole. Gunshot. The yeah, bullet gunshot. Clean through. The killer must have been close. Where did the bullet go? Uh, Some IT documents, nothing useful. Gunshot. The bullet went clean through. Yeah, Killing no, this is no, this, no, JK. This game go. isn't free, man. I wish it was free. That'd be cool. The blood got all over the. Oh, here. here's the bullet in fact. The bullet right stopped here. here. Small caliber, like Dennis's gun. I need to find that gun. Oh yeah, he had a gun on him. Yeah, that's true. I didn't think about that. There's nothing useful in those drawers. Dennis had his gun on him at the wake. The bullet stopped here. Small caliber like Dennis's gun. I need to find that gun. Okay, so the gun, it was on his body, right? Sam, stop it. Come back to reality. But I... Oh. I... You didn't do anything. Dennis was already dead when you arrived. Can't you see? Yeah, Dennis but everybody was didn't shot think I did it. Man. How could you have done it? Didn't All you think. did was move his body, which is how your shirt got stained. Think about it, Sam. Calm down and think. Calm down, man. Gotta think, think, think. Yeah, yeah, I gotta find a gun somewhere, You're man. Right. This game free, I yeah, I wish it was, man. But it's good. It's got a good story. I have the complete picture now. I have the complete picture now. Alright, let's do it, man. So he's working. Somebody comes around and surprises him. Right? I guess we're going to see how he died. Oh, he had the gun next to him. Got a revolver. What? 
Somebody got the gun from him? Why would he give somebody his gun? What? Damn. So a mystery person grabbed his gun, then got into his computer, and then I walk in. So whoever did it was, was still there. Son of a hoe. Uh, into the PC. Yeah. Into the PC, man. Yeah, and that's how it happened. Yeah. That was at night. Yeah. Damn, dude. The blood on the shirt was Dennis's, but I didn't kill him. I found him dead. Yeah. Blackout drunk, panicked. I stumbled to my car. Luckily, I ended up back at the hotel and not wrapped around a pole. Yeah, but it's no. good. everybody's gonna make it look like he I did it, I though. Because he got into a fight with him. The same way. Right. I need to search the area. See yeah, he needs some evidence, why man. someone would murder Dennis. He was probably working on a story to piss the people off or something. Was killed. It may have something to do with Nick. Dennis's computer is still signed in. Seems like a good place to start. Dennis's draft? Yeah. Uh, going to be home very late tonight. Sorry, I need to make an asshole. Understand how the world really works. I uh, won't be up to make breakfast, but there's some waffles in the freezer. And should be some. Okay. I don't know how, who he was sending it to, though. Uh, inbox, Nick Waldron, urgent curiosity. Emails uh, between Nick and D. They're talking I didn't think codes. Nothing stated clearly. They didn't want to risk anyone learning of their meetings. Smart. I didn't think I'd hear from you again. Was if you're willing watching. to talk, I'm willing to listen. I can make. I can meet up tomorrow. Okay. Alright, so I got that one. Whatever Nick was kid. looking into seemed big, but he said it fizzled out. Like, dear, I hope you had a pleasant trip. You mentioned last week that you were on the brink of a big story. Things on our side have been rather lackluster, I'm afraid. I was hoping maybe you would like to share some of this with the old owl. Uh, that's from Walter. Sorry to disappoint, but I decided to drop the story. Turned out I got it on a dead end after all. Better luck next time, I hope. Okay, so he's definitely working on a story. Together. Dennis was reading everyone's emails. Yeah, like how does no one hear the gunshot, especially with a freaking revolver, man? Stopped his investigation, like he'd told Walter, and that Nick was still talking to some informant. Then he decided to tell me. Yeah. And now he's dead. Now he's dead. I need to look through any notes Nick left in his office, and check Walter's computer. They have to have something for me to go on. Yeah, there's something, man. Something fishy going on, man. Nick I gotta do some more. Some notes behind some. Walter also might have something on Nick's work. I should look around. Yeah, freaking dead body, man. Dead bodies, dead bodies. Fifty at least. All right. Uh, let's see. Gotta go to Nick's office, I guess. Nick's office. Uh, how does no? Yeah, that's crazy, J.K. Maybe 47 killed him. Maybe, man. What's up, little nasty? Thanks coming out, little nasty, eh? Oh, thanks coming out, man. This is Walter's desk, I guess. I guess he was in charge. Let me search his computer. Enter password. Shit. I don't know what the password's gonna be. Forgot password. Can I use that? <laughs> Probably not. Uh, there might be something around here that hints at Walter's password. Okay. How do I back out? Uh, oh, password reminder. Okay, I gotcha. That's why I was wondering why it wouldn't let me do it. 
Hopefully his password reminder isn't some esoteric book reference. Ugh. If My I ever go... If I ever person, go... Person, but also uh -huh. a place. Uh... Heart's desire. Walter was never tech savvy. He just uses words that mean something to him. There's a good chance there's a clue in his office. Uh, okay, Walter's favorite article. Walter had this article framed after he saw the boost in traffic the Haven got. Basswood is his blood and soul. Wouldn't surprise me if he said it as his password. Basswood? Okay, I'll try it. I'll try Basswood. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Enter password. Yes. Basswood. And I'm in. Hey, it worked. Hell yeah, Let's sweet. See what secrets you got in here, Yahtzee. Walter. Let's go. All right, Walter. Let's see what you got, homie. Inbox. Uh, help mail. I want to accept my greatest thanks for your help. You are a scholar and a saint. It looks like I was worried unnecessarily regardless. Thanks for putting my mind at ease. Walter. Uh, hey, Han. Here's the report on Nick's crash. You haven't asked for one of these in a while. Nothing at all interesting in here. Just another sad day by the roadside. West Virginian roads take more good sons than guns do. Best Mitchell, chief of police. Okay, open file. Mostly right. standard so far. By the book. I see uh, why Walter wasn't worried. Car found against a tree, surrounded by debris, fire started. Uh, after car impact and burned out, Nicholas was in the driver's seat, skid marks. Yeah, well, why would there be skid marks? I just, you know. Uh, traces suggest the driver was startled by an animal and exited the road at high speed. Driver most likely inebriated. <laughs> yeah. Age 35, okay. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, that doesn't make Nick sense. Nick would never man. drive without his seat belt on. Yeah. He always kept his window open. Yeah, that's weird, man. Airbags deployed, seat belts was not on, windows were rolled up, driver probably drunk and forgot the belt, fire burned on a small area around the car, did not spread unknown, driver was, yeah, somebody just, you know, made him crash the car and then torched it. A car really burned. Yeah. Well, that's very uncommon in most crashes. Right, man, somebody probably freaking lit it with a, you know, put some gasoline on it and torched it. Yeah. So... Walter got the police report from Bess. Nick was supposedly drunk at the wheel, which doesn't sound like him. No. And his seatbelt was off and his windows up, which both sound very wrong. Yeah. The, yeah, the well, police are corrupt, him, man. I don't know if I do. They're corrupt, bro. This whole town is corrupt, man. I think it's time I check Nick's office. Hope he still leaves his notes out. Alright, check Nick's office. Let me check these paintings real quick. There might be some books over here. That was just after Anna came on. And we really were a small clan. So the Basswood Jungle must be the newspaper. He loves all his first editions, but Alice in Wonderland always came out on top. Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, great book, man. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Where the hell's Nick's office? Ooh, vending machine. Can I get a snack? What up? No, no snacks. And it's like somebody just died, dude. And I'm like, hey, snacks, you know. Uh, my old, damn, they got my old desk still here? That's crazy, bro. I was hoping to, like, look at it. It had a triangle on it. Walter always treated us like family. Yeah, it's wild, man. Why I'd like the Taliban. Alright, uh, let's see. Where's Ethan's office? Is this it? Oh, Nick. This is where I, yeah, Nick. Here we go. The only thing she cared about then was looking at bugs and drawing them. Right. Missing laptop? Oh, yeah. Nick's computer is missing. Took it home to work or stolen? Stolen. Yeah, probably stolen when he killed that hoe right there, man. That's what I'm thinking. 
Alright, notes. Look. Beard. Nick was always more a fan of beer than working late. Reed uh, says, I left you some pepperoni rolls in the fridge. Don't work too late. P.S. Next time, it's your turn. Anna. A, A for Anna, probably. Probably be in China. Trying to be sweet and leave him some food. Uh, next name plate. Uh, uh, what else is over here? Anything? Next drawers. Trying to see if there's anything else. Ah, right, here we go. Old photo. I'm going to take it. Nick wouldn't mind if I kept this. Old time sake. Yes, sir. Let's go. Tell me what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do. Baby, I'm back. Yeah. Uh, anything else in here? Right here. Oh, here we go. This looks like something. We're on it. We're on to something here. Valid question. What Still would you say sure. <laughs> you do here? <laughs> That's funny. What would you say you do here? They don't even work here anymore. Someone <laughs> should really clean up this board. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, Nick's handwriting. Always paranoid about forgetting things. 2341, don't forget. Okay. That sounds like something useful. Alright, I think that's it on this one. Next covered. Oh, there we go. The code I could get in here. Oh, I know the code. That, yeah, the code is, uh, what was it? It was 1141, I think. What was it? Yeah, it's right here. 23... 2341. There you go. That's the code, man. If I had the code, I could get in here. I got the code, man. Alright. 23...41. It was a good guess. Just not the right what? one. What? How? I should keep looking. It said, no way, I got that right. Yeah. 2341. Yeah, I'm gonna try it one more time. 2341. It was a good guess, just huh. not the right one. That's weird. I should keep looking. Well, let me just check that out one more time. 2341. Huh. Maybe I gotta put it in backwards? Maybe 1432? Nick's handwriting. Always oh, paranoid about forgetting things. That's gotta be it, though. I'm, it's. Alright. Yeah, cause I, those are like the only four numbers it gives you. I'm gonna see if there's any other things I can see with numbers on it. Seventy to fifty. Uh, no, I wouldn't be that either, huh? So that's the only thing I can think of. Maybe I just gotta put them in, in a different way. If I had the code, I could get in here. Alright, so it would be, so I tried 2341, so maybe just go backwards, maybe, uh, 1, 4, 3, 2? Nope, and with something like 10,000 combinations, I doubt I'll stumble on it. I 1, 2, looking. 3, 4? Uh, I could try it, I just, it's weird though, because on the post-it note, it says, it literally says 2341, so I was like, why wouldn't it be that, you know? Here, I'll try it though, 1... Two, three, four. Nope. <laughs> combinations. I there you go, Smitty. I thought I'd try it, man. I should keep looking. That's weird, though. Like, why? I don't understand. Like it says, 
2341. Don't forget. So. Hmm. So 2341. That's that's military time. The real time would be 2341 would be it'd be a, it'd be 11 o'clock, right? Yeah, because 22 was 10, so 23 would be 11. So maybe it's it's 1141. Yeah, I'm gonna try that. All right, so it'd be one one forty one. Nope. And with something huh. like 10,000 combinations, I doubt I'll stumble on it. I should keep looking. Yeah, what's, what is that combo? Because I thought it'd be like military time converted to regular time. Because 23, 23.41 would be, yeah, it'd be like 11, 11.41 in other time. Nick's handwriting. Always paranoid about forgetting things. Hmm. I don't know. I hear a phone too. Like somebody's like leaving a message. Like where the hell is that? Uh, I don't know why. I know I gotta get up in there. I just gotta figure out how to get up in there. Diary. What's in the diary? Drawings. Oh, here's something. Here. 3 1. Is that 3 1 2 1? Four digits. Wonder if that's the new code for the archives. Oh, okay, so that could be the new one. Three one two one. Okay, okay, I got you. I don't want no lunchbox. Alright. Yeah, three one two one, okay. Alright, I'll try that. Yeah, that should be it. I knew it had to be around here. Three one two one. <laughs> Bug. Yes. Your obsessive Let's go. Pays off. Uh, fourteen three. Try no. Yeah, I tried the numbers backwards Nick too, man. Kept extensive records of his work. He was almost obsessed. I just had to look at a different spot. Thanks, Coach Britt. Appreciate it. Be so little information regarding his last investigation. Uh, okay. Tickets, hotel bills. Nick look. was traveling all over. Train tickets, hotel bills, out of state even. He was tracking Damn. something. Or someone. He was tracking it, man. Alright, name of pasture, Nick Waldron, uh, West Virginia to Florida. Damn, so he went down to Florida. Uh, contacts, APM. Might have met something useful. It's actually something. Second meeting. Uh, assuming he's not full of crap. Always wants to meet in spooky spots. Maybe he's seen too many movies. Uh, 10 a.m. with D. So he's meeting with somebody called D. D. Twitchy guy. Um, thought I'd lost him. Glad he's open to talking again. I had to buy him breakfast. Seems nervous. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. So I already told him. Yeah. All right. Nick had a contact. Same name as in the email. He was onto something big. Not something big, bro. Ready to hit it, man. Nick was looking into the impact the closure of the mine had on Basswood. Unemployment, crime for? index. Yeah, there's like some seedy underbelly going on, man. Unemployment skyrocketed after the mine closed. Very normal, flattened out in the last year or so. On the rebound, numbers looking good. Trender, outlier. Uh, need some more data points. Okay. Nick was traveling all over. Yeah, Train so tickets, I mean, hotel bills, okay. out of state even. He was tracking something. Okay. What Nick was looking into was something big and dangerous. It's why he was so careful. Well, yeah, 30 likes. Hey, what's up, Almighty Steel? Thanks for coming out, Coach Britt. Very smitty, 30 likes. Hell yeah. Thanks, everybody, for smashing that like button. I appreciate you guys, man. All right, so he was working on something. What the hell is he... So, okay, so... Did you come to the logical conclusion to this mess we're in? Yeah. Just a hint. We should get out of town immediately. Yeah. We should get out of town, bro. Nick was in way over his head. Uh, he tried to tell me something. 
Nick was in over his head. Working on his own might have ended badly for him. Exactly. Like I said, you should get out of town. And the details of Nick's death, it doesn't sound like him. Two years is a long time, Sam. He may have changed more than you know. Changed decade-long habits? I need to go to the crash site. Just remember, right. if you're so right... on the crash site. Sam? Whoa, What's whoa. What's happening? Dennis. Whoa, whoa. That's Dennis. What I didn't happened? kill him. I didn't is kill him. Anna? Is he? I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Listen. I didn't kill him. Uh, I didn't kill him. I was like, I didn't kill him, man. I did not kill Dennis. Oh my god, no. It's... Thank you, DNF dead. How could this happen? He died last night. Hours ago. Not much we can do right now. He asked me to meet him here after, but I was so drunk I arrived late. And the and person that actually us. showed up killed him. Your bloody shirt was clearly from this. That means you were here yesterday. It links you to the crime scene. Yeah, and but I didn't kill him. Town all morning asking yeah, about I know. Dennis. It won't look good. Yeah, it won't look good at all. Please. They'll think I killed him. I thought I did at first. I have no alibi. This is not about you. Dennis had a family. They have to know what happened. It's the right thing to do. Do you want Walter to find his body come Monday? She has a point. Someone is going to find him eventually. Yeah. Involving the police would only slow us down. I'll be more efficient on my own. Efficient and possibly friendless. Yeah. You've already trusted Anna once. I suggest you keep on that road. Call the cops or leave right away. Oh, dang it, man. I just feel like if they call the cops, then, then it's just going to be a freaking hassle, man. They're going to want to question me and shit. But then if I leave, then they might, you know, they might think I'm guilty because I'm running. Oh, uh, dang it. What should I choose? I don't know. I guess I just face the music, man. Uh, what's up, Jasmine? Thanks for coming out, AC ACX Jasmine. Appreciate you. Uh, can I play GTA? Yeah, probably later on. Probably after I finish this game. Yeah, I guess I'm just going to call the cops. Yeah. Okay. But not that phone. Use one of the landlines here and don't leave your name. You remember I'm a journalist, right? I know how to keep things confidential. Also, I think whoever did this might be linked to Nick's accident. This is about Nick? The crash? Yeah. I'm going to the crash site to confirm my suspicions. I'm going with you. I don't know if that's a good idea. You trusted me before. It's only fair I do the same for you. I'll call the cops from here so they can't track us. All right. All right. Yeah, let's do it, baby. Let's go. Dang, she's like my partner in crime now. Like me and her, like Bonnie and Clive. Bonnie and Clive. Yeah, baby, let's go. Uh, yeah, call the cops. Yeah, that's what I thought, Smitty. I thought that'd probably be the better thing to do. You know. You know, be a little honest about it. You know. Now we could now you know now that's good now we could do our thing. It barely looks like anything happened. It's been a week, but we'll find something. I know we will. It's been a week, man. Is it okay if I stay here? There's gotta be some proof. I don't think I'm ready to. Sure, my dad will be good company anyway. You mean you're overfocused to the point of non-reactive thing? I remember, especially how you always end up being right somehow. <laughs> I hope. Yeah, thanks, Smitty. I don't know what I'm hoping for. Yeah. What up? Thanks for coming out, Almighty Steel. Appreciate you for being a member, man. Thanks for being a member, sir. Thanks, Smitty, for being a member, too, sir. This is the place. Appreciate you, man. Alright, this is the crash site. Gotta investigate. So he's coming down the road. He probably got ran off easily, man. Yeah. Nick, I'll get to the bottom of this. Yeah, First, my friend gather heard. the clues. Cold, hard, plain facts. That's the only All way right. I'll know what really happened. But now I gotta find the dang clues, man. Okay, so this is where he went off the road at. He freaking went through these signs or whatever. Coming down the road this way, I guess. And then... Came down and then boom, missed the turn or he got 
We got nailed off. Alright, let's go inspect this sucker. The grass, piece of wood. Look that piece of wood must be from one of the damaged road signs. No skid marks, add clues. No skid marks, no trace of sudden braking. Right, it's not like he like braked or missed something. It was just like, you know, he couldn't brake, you know. The tire tracks clearly show where Nick's car went off the road. Yeah, right there, right there. Able to spread that far. That piece of wood must be from one of the damaged right, road signs. Alright, uh, road signs. These road signs are intact. Not a scratch on them. Anything else? Cut brake lines, anything? Turning signs, add yeah, clue. Two of the road signs were torn out. Did Nick's car do that? Did Nick's car do that? Did I do that? I fall and I can't get up. I think that's everything I can get from right there at least. Alright. So I'll go down here, it looks like. Where the car went. Look around, look around. Don't want to miss anything. Burn marks. The car went up like kindling. It was pretty intense judging the damages to the area. Scorch tree. The bark got badly burnt. Hey, Let's left a like crash. for you. Hey, thanks, Josh. I appreciate it, man. Thank you for smashing that like, sir. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, I like your stream a lot, too, earlier, Josh, man. Appreciate it. Debris from Nick's car. The police didn't clean up very well. When are you going to play GTA 5? I'll play later, Corpse. I'll play later, man. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see. Anything else? Car parts, anything else like gas cans or just looking everywhere, man. See what I could do with here. And I already feel like I collected all the evidence I could. I don't think there was really that much. I mean, what other what other evidence could there be other than what was on the road? From where he ran off and then where he, you know, his resting spot there. Uh, let me see. Let me just roll down the road. Oh, I guess I can't go that way. But turn me around. You turn me right round, baby, right round. Like a record, baby, right round, right round. Oh, there we go. Find another clue. Maybe Nick tried to avoid this log. It's a bit far from the road. Yeah, a little bit. No thing. No thing but a chicken wing. Chicken wing, chicken wing. I don't know, I think that might be it, man. Oh, no, we got something up here. Fuel stain. Oh, yeah, look at that fuel stain. A man. fuel stain. From Nick's car? Was it On the road to 1K, hell yeah, that's awesome, Josh. Road to 1K, baby. Hell yeah. Oh. All right, so fuel stain. I wonder if there's anything further up. No, nope, I guess that was it. Turn me around. Turn around. Every now and then I get a little turn around. Nick took this turn every day. It yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it, that's what I'm saying. If you're taking that turn every single day, dude, you're gonna know how to take it, man. That's all the information I need. Time to put everything together. Time to put it together, baby. Let's go. We hustle hard, man. Hustle, hustle, breathe hard. The report states Nick was driving under the influence of alcohol. was startled by an animal.
and drove through a road sign before crashing into a tree. Things don't add up. Man, things don't add up, man. Don't add up at all, man. Uh, I was gonna do Peter Go, but it kind of got banned for three days. Holy crap, man! Yeah, I guess I don't know. They're banning people left and right. Damn, dude. Yeah, everybody's either in bad sport or getting banned. What really happened. Yeah, let's find out what happened, man. Alright, obstacle. Let's see what happened. Alright, car. Man. Or maybe it was unconscious. I don't know. I don't know, now I'm even starting to think that he was leaking fuel, maybe? And maybe he was leaking fuel, he was conscious? Maybe there wasn't an obstacle at all, that's what I'm saying, maybe there wasn't none. Or maybe the tree log, maybe? I don't know. I don't even think there was one. I don't even think there was one. This is my hypothesis, man. The uh, road signs were damaged. Two of them torn and burnt. Okay, so how do I get that far? So if there was no obstacles, maybe the tree log? Maybe he was unconscious. I don't know. Yeah, something's not coming together. Huh. Okay. Maybe. Maybe there was an animal. Maybe let's say there was an animal. See, even there was an animal, he would have just went around. Alright, so... I don't know, something's not adding up here. I don't know, maybe, maybe put him... I don't know, maybe put him as unconscious? So, conscious. Well, I want to see how the how the, the police did it their way or whatever. So, leaking fuel. I don't know. Okay. Man, this one's gonna be a tough one, man. Cause you gotta, you gotta, you gotta like link all three of them together here to get it to do what you want it to do. Now, I'm gonna see if this will work. No, cause if he was conscious, he would have just went right around the log. He wouldn't have ended up there. So maybe he was un, maybe he was drunk. That's the only thing I could think of. Alright, um... Uh, I'm gonna say there was no obstacle. And I'm gonna come up here. Put him as... Right, I'm gonna put him, let's just say he was drunk. I 
maybe the truck is leaking fuel. I don't know, man. It's just, it's crazy. Because if there's no obstacles, yeah, he does that. Alright, let me see what he does if there's an actual obstacle. Because that's what he does if there's no obstacle. So let me add an obstacle. Because maybe he tries to turn because there's an obstacle and he doesn't get to turn all the way. Alright. Uh, tree log. Let me see. Now run it. See, even he takes those out, but he doesn't take the first two out. Alright. So, let me see about the animal now. See, and he wouldn't end up there. Like, none of the... Nothing's adding up, man. This isn't adding up at all, man. Let me say, uh, I don't know why I'd want to say caught on fire, but maybe I'll do like that. Or maybe he's conscious. No? What's gonna do here? Okay, so that all right. All right, maybe let me try him unconscious. Try. I gotta figure out a way that he got down there. Let me try the log. Cause maybe if he ran into the log, maybe then he might do that. I don't know. Definitely like trial and error a little bit here. Ah, uh, fire drunk. <laughs> I know it's pretty funny, Smitty. You know, you get to like play around with it, you know, a little bit. Uh, maybe he was just drunk, you know, drunk, and then, uh, or he was unconscious, and then he just went off the wheel. There he is! I found it! I finally did it. Okay, so he was unconscious. The next car did burn. I know that. Alright, so he was on, there was no obstacle there. He was unconscious, and there was nothing wrong with the truck. So, that's, okay, that's how we did it. Okay. Alright, so now that I figured out that part, now I gotta figure out the burn part, I believe. Alright, damn dude, that was something, man. A little bit of CSI work there, but we got her. Now I just gotta go down to where he caught on fire at, I believe. Yeah. The fire damaged both the car and the tree heavily. Yeah, overdrive, I'll play it later, man. Yeah, gang, gang, gang. Yeah. So. So he was unconscious. The road signs were damaged. Two of them torn and burnt. Yeah, he was unconscious. Nothing was linked there. There was no animal, no nothing else. So how do I, so how do I get the next part? What's, I don't understand.
but so next maybe I gotta put him. Oh, okay, okay. So I gotta, I gotta make it so he's on fire. So now I know what somebody did, Smitty. I know exactly what happened, bro. They lit his car on fire. He was already dead when he was in there. They lit him on fire. They put the car in there, whatever. And then they supposed to put like a brick on the gas pedal and just let it go, dude. So yeah, this is. I got the case closed, man. Case closed. Now all I gotta do is set the car on fire. And then let it do what it do, and it's golden, man. Only one there simulation go. fits the evidence. The police, police report, report was wrong. wrong. Let's go. Yeah, he was unconscious, bro. They must have killed him, put him in there, let the car on fire, and then put a, and then just push the car down the hill or whatever. Yes, sir. Uh, try, yeah, truck was on fire. Yeah, Smitty, I forgot about that. I forgot, I, well, I thought I could put it on fire down there, but I had to go up there and do it. Yeah. Yeah, I knew it. Yeah, he was already dead. They poured the gasoline on it. They set it on fire and then just pushed the car down the hill and where it went is where it went. Yep. CSI work, baby. Oh. Let's go. Hell yeah, Smitty. Well, at least we get to see how it happened, you know. It's cool. I like this game a lot, man, because you get to put you get to put everything together and then see how you know see how it works. And... Yep, that's how it happened, man. I still don't know who did it, though. But at least I know it was a murder. I know for sure now. Huh? Now he's pissed, man. He's like, they murdered my friend. Oh. They murdered for what he knew. He knew too much. What a... I quit. I did. <laughs> so... She's back. Did you find anything? Oh yeah, I found it. Nick. He was murdered. He was murdered. I'm sorry, I don't... The police report was clearly wrong. Fucking... Anna? Here, just... What? What the hell's going Joking on now? Yeah, that's starting to get good. Yeah, she's right here. She's just a bit busy. I need her to come back immediately. There's been a break-in at her place. Oh, okay. Are you all right? What happened? I wasn't there when it happened. Just arrived. Somebody broke in. They're probably looking for that computer. We're on our way. Someone Damn. broke into your house. This is getting good, man. I'm like, I'm deep into this story now, man. I want to know. I want to know. Knowledge is power, baby. Let's go. I just got a trophy. Knowledge is power. Yes, sir. Welcome, everybody, to the stream. Thanks for coming out. Happy Taco Tuesday. Mealtime Gamer. Out there, man. Thanks for coming. Wherever you guys are watching. However you guys are watching, thanks for coming out. Appreciate it. Okay, so, about Dad. Don't tell him what we found. Please. It'll just worry him for no reason. How are you holding up? After finding out what we found out. I'm guessing about as well as you. Not great. Let me go calm my father down. I'm pretty sure he's ready to call the National Guard. Anna, maybe give her a few moments with Joe before you barge in. Also, take a few moments for yourself as well. You used to live here, and now some other guy, <laughs> Nick of all people, was living here. With Where's her. It? Things are different. She's different. You're different. You're different. Uh, she seems exactly. I hope I'm different enough. Uh, I'm different. But am I different enough to not fall into old patterns? Keep in mind, Sam, no matter how much you I'm want deep to, into the story. You oh, me too, man. Again. I'm deep, man. I'm like balls deep into it, man. I gotta know, you know. 
And it's cool because, like, you make decisions, I feel like they actually affect the, you know, the outcome, you know. Because you make the big decisions, like whether to trust her or, you know. And then, like, Last by the end. I was here, I was shoving way too many boxes into a trunk that couldn't fit them all. It's, it's fine, Dad. I can handle this. Someone broke into my daughter's house and you want me to just sit by and wait? Yes, that is exactly what I want you to do. Don't you have an appointment? I always have an appointment. I'm with the doctors more often than I'm home. Sam, talk some sense into my daughter here. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, this is a real crazy day we're having, huh, Joe? <laughs> this is a real crazy day we're having. You always let her walk all over you. <laughs> Dad, I love you. And I love that you want to protect me, but please, it'll be okay. Go to your doctor's appointment. The police will be here soon. <laughs> I'm just belly aching. It's your house. Your rules, I'll leave you to it. Thank you. Yeah, I feel like you're... Off, Sam, you tell me if something was going on, right? Oh, man, she now he's going to make me strong, lie to him. But she's also stubborn. Dad, I told you I can take care of myself. And I'm old Damn enough man. to know when things ain't right. He's gonna make me lie to him. You tell me now, Sam. You tell me if my little girl is in danger. Uh, I can't watch over her anymore, so I need you to keep her safe. Stop talking about me like I'm not here. <laughs> Joe, I don't know. Should She's I... all I have left. Promise me you'll protect her. Oh, I'll protect her. I need her. your word. Wow. Heavy. Joe's really laying on the paternal guilt. I can't promise something like that. I don't know what might happen. He just wants to feel like someone is looking out for her. I can't blame him. And what if I can't keep that promise? Then refuse. All I know I'm is that kill him. Oh no yeah, I'll definitely, I'll, I'll play the whole thing out, Overdrive. Promise or refuse? Uh, dang, I got a promise, right? You know? I mean, I'm gonna keep her safe, you know? I wanna keep everybody safe, you know? No, I mean, what am I supposed to say? Like, oh, no, I'm not going to protect your daughter. Screw you. Ain't your daughter. No, of course. Yeah, I'm going to protect them. Problem. Hell yeah. I still can't hide anything from you. Sam, don't. I won't lie, Joe. There is something going on. It could be dangerous, but I'll make sure Anna doesn't get mixed up in it. All right. I'm trusting you. Yeah, yeah I got his trust, man. Let's go. I'm not some kid. I decide what I get mixed up in. You can't blame me for looking after you. <laughs> I just didn't want you to worry. Can't blame You're me. You're so patronizing. Well, we just we're just worried, okay? We just worried about you. Yeah, just want everybody to be all right. Hey, Joe's like, right, I'm out of here, bro. He's like, he pissed her off. It was either piss off him or piss off her. You know, I feel like they make you make a choice, man. Eventually. Maybe I should look around the property first. Yeah. Yeah, crazy, man. I knew it was going to do that. I knew it was going to give me a choice whether to piss off her or piss off him. It's Bugs. She probably brought it over one time when she came with Nick. Crazy. Alright, let me check and see if there's any clues out here. It was great to come back from work, sit down, and read until the sun went down. I think you're working today. No, man, I had the day off, sir. No, I gotta work tomorrow through Saturday though, so today's pretty much my last day yeah, off to do stuff. and I spend our nights out stuff. here, trying to find all the constellations. Yes, sir. Alright, uh, what else is out here? Anything? Trying to get some clues to who broke into this hoe. What's off that way, a barn? Uh, let me start running. This guy's gotta run, man. Vehicle tracks, could be a robber, mud. And grass make it hard to tell. Yeah. Yes, sir. All right. What else is going on? Can I go through here? No. Uh, forest trail. I used to follow it down to the shack every other week for fishing Sunday. Fishing Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Come down for the Sunday. All right. Can I get in here? No. No, I can't. I need to get out of here, man. Can I get through? Keep on knocking, but you can't get in. 
Nope, can you go that way? Anything here? A little bench, nothing there. Nothing. All oh, this is tracks. Uh, I wonder if I could go back this way a little bit. You do what you do. Maybe we go our separate ways. Ah, uh, shit. Right. I guess I go back, look around the house the other way. Ah, uh, look for tire marks. Yeah, I'd look for the tire marks. I've seen some, but it says, it says who knows, you know. So I'm gonna look around the house the other way. I think, I think the other way I haven't, the only way I haven't been is over here. Yeah, here we go. Garden. Trying to, oh, I guess I can't. Sometimes you could like press square on stuff and it'll actually interact with it. Paint bucket. All right, nope, no paint bucket. What's over here? Anything? What we got here? Garden shed looks intact. Take it in there. Sign. I think the happiest I ever saw Anna was the day she bought this place. House for sale. Oh yeah, we're going down memory lane. There we go. I want everyone to know this house is sold. You're mine. Soul, baby. I own you now. <laughs> yeah, Bill Thomas, be protect your kids. Always, man. Always protect everybody, so, man. When can I start moving my own stuff in? After you finish carrying all my stuff in. Sure, but that means I get to choose which side of the bed I'm sleeping on. What? No. You're gonna sleep on the side closest to the door. Why is that? <laughs> so if someone breaks in, you can. Yeah, find exactly. Exactly. And maybe because I like being near the window. Somehow yes, I feel like it's entirely the second thing and not at all the first. <laughs> <laughs> we can talk about all this after my stuff's inside. But all your stuff's so heavy. Which is why I need your help. Don't slack, Sam. I feel like at the end of the game, it's, it's going to be like a really hard decision. Like save her or save my goddaughter. It's going to be a crazy at the end, I'm thinking. It's going to be wild. Alright, we got the she shed going on. Alright, so I check that out, check that out. Anything about the windows? Uh, time to go, Miss Ho. Nothing here. Garden, growing some tomatoes. You say tomato, I say tomato. Uh, wheelchair. Now I can finally go in. Uh, do you have mental health issues? No, I do not, man. No, when I was younger, I battled with depression and anxiety a little bit and stuff like that. But, yeah. Pretty much worked my way through it. Uh, yeah. In this house. Let's go. Alright, let's look for clues and see who did this crap, man. CSI this hell man they probably came in looking for that dude's computer or whatever because it wasn't at the office or something man they got they were looking for something Anna some is not of. well this time at least try to be there for her what do you mean I'm always there for her what are you talking about bro what else you want me to do I know you don't do dance the holly gully Anna? Um, Anna, are you, are you okay? I think you're buying it. Yeah, it is really good, man. A lot I'm of different choices. And... Say no. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely fun, man. A lot of cool choices, good story. She needs you, buddy. Definitely needs in me. depth, man. I don't even think she knows I'm here. What am I supposed to do? Give Something, her a hug. Anything. It's the thought. The oh, yeah, effort. it's the effort. You gotta make an effort, man. You freaking Get dumbass. Get her a drink. Just show her you're here. 
Right, get her a tissue. I'm not sure how a drink will make her feel better about murders and break-ins. But I guess I've heard worse ideas. <laughs> yeah, get her something to drink, man. She kept the drinks in the kitchen in one of the pantries. Books. Yeah, let's get some drinks, man. Get some cocktails going. Be like, woo. Damn, man, those people went through everything. Alright, uh, placeholders, tickets, Charleston Concert Hall presents Charleston, West Virginia. There you go, man. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Uh, I'm sorry about yesterday. You're right, I've been distant. Things have been pretty messy at work lately. You don't have to forgive me, but if you'd like to invite me to a concert, I'll just leave the, these two here. P.S. There might be some pepperoni rolls in the fridge. That's <laughs> it. Okay, so that was from Nick. Uh, magnet of and France. I always wanted to visit France, but life is just too strange for me there. All right. Anything else? We got some postcards, some tickets. I think that's about it. On here. Uh, what kind of cupboard? Cupboards. Where the hell are the drinks at, man? All oh, pantries in here. She normally keeps some drinks in the pantry. It's been a while, Sam. Things have changed around Sam here. Sam stuff. You feel like looking at all uh, look for fuel can and matches. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah. Well, you think that? Yeah, you think that she might have, or you think she might have killed him? A wine bottle. Uh, Who takes the time to have a drink in the middle of a break-in? Yeah, that's a little weird, man. For sure. Oh, weird, man. That's what I'm saying. They, like, ransacked this kitchen. It doesn't even seem like for what reason. Uh, search. Seen through the... Here's the closet. Okay. Oh, okay. Open that. There we go. Ah, here's where she keeps the drinks. Drinks, baby. Just drank a fifth of... Ooh, chocolate milk or whiskey. <laughs> Those are the choices right there, man. Or lime juice. Uh, how about some chocolate milk, man? Got some Yoohoo going on. Oh, let me choose it. There we go. Yeah, get some chocolate milk. It'll on help you if you're side, depressed. I don't think it's possible to make her feel worse. You're not helping. Yeah, I guess how old I am? I don't know, man. 14? Yes, 20? I don't know. Yes, you are. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, look out, yeah. Alright, let's get a pop in here. I got the drink, right? Let's see, who is this guy? It's him. I think it's what just my subconscious. For? Bring it to her already. Yeah. Chocolate helps everyone feel better. Yeah, chocolate, man. That's sweet. I'd assumed you'd already gone to look around and, I don't know, think. This is just... This is just so fucked. Nick? My house? Sam, you should distract her. Get her talking or thinking about anything else. My stuff, everything is trashed. Is this, like, the worst coincidence? Uh, or is it related to Nick's death? Give her the drink. You're not alone. Here, have a drink. It'll help. Yeah, don't let her go on because she's probably going to go nuts, man. Uh, who keeps chocolate milk in the cabinet? Yeah, I don't know, Coach Fred. That was weird, yeah, man. Yeah, you're right. I don't know. I need, I need chocolate milk. I like cold as hell, man, in the fridge, you know? Yeah, that was kind of weird. I don't know. Yeah, that's crazy. All right, so she's got some chocolate milk. I guess she's all right for a minute. I guess I could look around for more clues. See what's up. Be like, what's up, what's up? Uh, Anna's travel journal. I got this for Anna's birthday after she mentioned wanting to travel more. Alright. Can you look in it? Shit. That'd be nice. Documents. Uh, new perspective. What's this? 
uh, by Anna Miller. Uh, each year, Greenmount Primary School showcases new talent. All right, so basically, it's just you know. Uh, my dad says, writing thank you letters is what you do when someone is very nice. So I hope you like mine. I would like to thank you very much for how you wrote about me. I don't know why you thought my drawing was worth talking about uh, over the others, but it was very nice of you to talk about it. My dad put your article on the fridge and circled my name. I'm kind of scared some people might have gone and seen it and been disappointed, but maybe not. If I ever win another art contest, I will tell you. Sincerely, Timothy Brown. Alright, so I got those. Medical bills. Anna has to be helping her dad out with these. Yeah. I'm not sure it's enough. Alright, desk. Uh, so, mind palace. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be 15 this year. Hell oh, yeah, congrats, sir. Yeah, that is weird, Coach Brent. Broke in looking for the laptop. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, City. Yeah, because it wasn't at the office, so they probably thought he brought it home, and so that's probably why they were looking. That's what I'm thinking. All right, memory. What's this memory? Go down memory lane here. Sam, what are you doing? I called for dinner like a dozen times. It's gonna get cold. I am not your mom, you know. Working on an article is no reason to ignore basic politeness, Sam. Oh, dang, like, what is he doing? Like, acknowledge. Fine. Damn. You can eat your dinner cold for all I care. I'm done waiting for you. Man, how can you just ignore her like that? That's cold-blooded, man. Oh. That's, what, that's wicked, man. Anna would pace around the house for hours, then sit down and write her articles at Wow, that's crazy, man. Cheesy action movies, dark thrillers, and human rights. The melting <laughs> pot of Anna. That's very cool. The Silver Crow, Fly Straight, Cyber Darkness, Spill Ink, Not Blood. Placeholders. Anna has to be helping her dad out with these. Oh, I already got this one. I'm not sure ah, dang, nice. that's real cold blood, man. She's sitting there, like, you know, like inches away from his face, and, like, he, he won't even acknowledge her, man. I'm like, damn, dude. Fix the mess. Yeah. Try to help this out feels something. Like the only part of the house I recognize. Yeah, that's crazy, Galaxy guy. Whatever punk broke in here. If right you're on the stream before you find this out, you're breaking the law. No, I won't, dude. I guarantee it. Overdrive. I'm yeah. I'm finding out, man. It's like a Scooby Doo mystery, man. I gotta find. I gotta. I gotta see it to the end now, man. I gotta see who the killer is, man. There. Gotta solve the mystery. Cause there's a lot of a lot of twists and turns, a lot of pretty cool stuff, man. I like it a lot in here. Uh, guitar. Good thing it's intact. It's about the last thing Anna has of her mother. Damn, damn. All right, so Anna's vinyls. Ooh, damn, a lot of cool vinyl records, man. See, this is what I wish I had. I gotta get a turntable like this, cause I got so many vinyl records, but I don't have a turntable to play them on. Uh, Anna always has trouble thinking when there's weird noises going on. To be fair, most people do. Like that. Whatever that is, it'd be smart to find it and shut it off. Yeah, that's the other guy in here. Yeah, it's weird, man. It's weird, like, your, ex, your ex-girlfriend was dating your friend, and, like, you're trying to solve his murder. Definitely, uh, awkward. GG's, man. Alright, uh, let me see. I hear that noise. It's, it sounds like the clock, I think. Something, man. That noise is like, it's getting to me, too. I'm just like, where in the hell is that coming from? Where is that coming? Well, I thought I could go through that door. No, uh, inspect. I already inspected that. I already inspected all this. Can I go upstairs? I know you want to help her by finding out what happened. Right now, though, stay focused on Anna. 
She needs to know she's not alone. What are you talking about? I just got to, I just got her some chocolate milk, man. I mean, what do you want me to do, you know? Chocolate milk, man. Makes everybody's day better, man. Uh, I mean, what else could I get, you know? I already did everything. Uh, I mean, I can't talk to her. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's really nothing. I don't think she ever forgave me for saying I didn't think they sounded better. Uh, let's see. What else can I do to help her? Do everything I could. Let me inspect this one more time. Read. Read. Maybe thought I could pick it up, maybe give her something to make her feel better. Not really. Not really seeing what's up here. Uh. I'll figure it out though, give me a minute. Can't do anything with the phone. Answer the damn phone. I know that you're home. I wanna get you alone and do it again. Uh, I really need to find out the answer. I know I will, man. I definitely will. I just I gotta find out like what I gotta do, man. Like I don't know. Maybe I go in the pantry. No. Uh, I don't know what would make her feel better. I don't get it. He's like, let her know that you're here for her. How? I don't get it. Take her outside. No. Anna always has trouble thinking when there's weird noises going on. To be fair, most people do. Weird like noises. That. Whatever that is, it'd be smart to find it and shut it off. I don't even hear any weird noises. There's gotta be something I'm missing here, though. Anna has to be helping her dad out with these. No. I'm not sure it's enough. Anna would pace around the house for hours, huh. then sit down and write her articles in one go. Mm -hmm. I don't see anything that would make noise other than the record player. And that doesn't even look like anything's going on it. Huh. What am I missing? I don't think she ever forgave me for saying huh. I didn't think they sounded Yeah, better. I'm going to find out, though, man. We're going to find it. Uh, let's see. What noise is he talking about? There's, like, nothing in here. Listen, let me look around the room here. Oh. What noise is he talking about? I am so confused, man. Like, I hear no noise at all. And I've already comforted her. So I don't understand what else they want me to do. And I can't go outside. I can't go upstairs. Bugger, man. Good thing it's intact. It's about the last thing Anna has of her mother. Kitchen? Yeah, I can try the kitchen. I feel like I've already got everything in there, though. Uh, I mean, everything looks good. 
I mean, I've searched everything. I got her the chocolate milk. I did the did the closet thing. I can't go in there anymore. Uh, there's nothing out here. I believe that's the pepper grinder. Yeah, the wine bottle. Who takes the time to have a drink in the middle of yeah, a break? Yeah, that's pretty much. I mean, I've been everywhere in this whole house that they'll let me go. Maybe inspect the refrigerator one more time. Please. Yeah. That's it. I can't go there. Well, let me go there. Huh. Yeah, that's boggling my mind, man. Anna always wanted to take me to concerts. They were just never my thing. Yeah, that's weird, Smitty. I don't know, man. I'm kind of stumped, man. Kind of stumped on where to go, man. I've been in every room. I got this for Anna's I've looked at everything at least twice, I think. Travel more. Oh. I've looked at every nook, every cranny. It won't let me go back outside. It won't let me give her a hug or anything. Be loving me, hugging me. You know? And it won't let me do anything else. I picked up there. And if you look outside, everything looks all right. Ah, yeah, I'm stumped, man. I gotta be missing something, though. Picture on the wall, everything looks good. Uh, well, let me go. Oh, can I go out there? Oh, oh, I can fix the blinds. Finally, there. Okay, so that that's, that did nothing, man. I did all that just to do that. Come on, bro. There's no other blinds, right? Try talking to Anna about all this again. And remember, go and Oh, okay. So all I had to do was literally put up, pull up that damn freaking blind and now I can talk to her again? Oh, jeez. Ugh. All right. Hey, well, at least we did it. Feeling better? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I got you. We finally figured it out. Sorry, I just kind of lost it for a second there. I guess I just had to do that one little, you know, fix the blinds and that was it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, careful, Sam. You know you can be indelicate. She needs your support right now. Need support, I mean, man. It hasn't been an easy week, you know. And I've got the feeling it isn't over yet. Well, it's definitely not over yet. Uh... Whatever happens, you're not alone. We'll face it together. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, that's a good sport. I need to hear that. Let's go. Reminding her she has people to lean on is a great start. Yeah. This whole thing is a mess. I feel like this honestly, conversation is going to be tough. For a while. I gotta navigate. Like everything was fine, you know. Nick moved uh, in. What was the point of that? I don't know, Galaxy. <laughs> lately, he just closed himself off. I don't He'd know. He'd been gone most nights, at the bar or the fishing shack. Come home late, refusing to talk about his work. It got unbearable. It was almost like I was living with you all over again. It doesn't feel good, but she needs to get this off her chest. Don't be too harsh on her. Uh... You're right. I shut you out, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, I did shut her out. The past is the past. None of what's happening now is your fault. I'm just lashing out. It's just having you in the house. It's it's bringing back a lot of things. We had a good time. So many memories here, both bad and great. 
We did have a good time, yeah. But then came Dad's accident. The mine investigation. Your proposal. I still feel horrible about how it all happened. But you... You understand why I said no, right? Yeah, I understand. I yeah, know time. the timing wasn't great. Your dad's accident, the mine investigation, me being hated by all of Basswood. That's... that's not why I said no. You knew I didn't want to get married. I told you before, I... I never liked the idea. Never wanted a ring. When you asked, I just... I just thought I was with someone who didn't know me. That terrified me. And then... Oh, okay. It ended so abruptly, you and I. Uh, I don't think say, I ever took the time uh, to really process later. what happened. Sounds good, Harry. I wonder if it would have ended the same way with Nick. If my relationship with him was as doomed as my relationship with you. The way Nick closed himself off to me the last few weeks. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I can't bear to live with someone to truly share my life. To make compromises and all that. It wasn't your fault that Nick closed himself off. No one makes someone distant, especially someone like Nick. Right. He must have been on his side. He was dealing with something dark. I know that's why I close people off. I never spoke to Nick again after leaving town. No. It doesn't matter anyway, now does it? He's dead, and whatever we had is done. And we're on our own if we're going to find out who killed him. I'm not backing down from this, no matter what yes, we Yes, we're not backing down, baby. You? Let's go. Yeah, I mean, I'm not backing down. I'm fighting this hoe, man. I need to clear my name, too. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I'm not leaving you alone. Yeah, I'm not leaving you alone. You can count on me, Anna. We're in this until the end. Till the end, baby. That's Till really the good. end. Let's see this to the end. And In real life, keep the well, blinds down. Stop when we're talking. We'll they never be up. Get <laughs> there, right? Whatever right, happens, we're in this together. <laughs> Whatever happens. Can you take a look upstairs. I still need a moment. Yeah, yeah, sounds good. I wanted to do that. Let anyway. me make sure I'm done crying and all that. Yeah, that take was awesome, time. man. Awesome. Okay, I, I, I think I got through that conversation pretty good there. Thanks, Sam. I got pretty one, through unscathed there. Smooth talker, I just got a trophy, hell yeah. Smooth operator. Let's go. I was like, I know how to talk to women, I got game. I, I got all the game. We're not backing down, okay, well, you must find here. out. Oh yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. Not, not backing down, let's go, let's find this, uh, let's find the killer. Oh, the door door's is closed. closed. She never used to lock she it. Used to lock it. Huh. All right. Maybe I can find like a lock pick or something, and Jimmy, in there. It looks like Jones using this room now. Oh yeah, yeah. Anna must have been letting her use it when she stayed over. Yeah, clothes, crap all over the floor. Not your standard thief. Too destructive. Oh, maybe trying to send a message. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, it's crazy. The bed. And I was on the bed. Girl, you know I. Girl, you know I. Don't need candles and cake. Just need your body to make. Alright, uh, memory. Yeah, let's go. Come on, work, you piece of chunk. Memory lane. I know you're awake. I know you're awake. No, I'm not. Celebrated sleep talker. Oh, celebrated sleep talker. Get up! I need your help. Smooth criminal. Do 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 do. Smooth criminal. Did you try rebooting it? That's honestly all I got. If I don't Listen, I'm not right backing down to chat. Really, really must find out. Oh, yeah. Must okay. find out. What's up, Aqua? Let me see it. 
What up? Happy Taco Tuesday. It just won't respond to anything. Oh. He's like, what a back rub. Ooh, Body I'll take a back rub. Oh. As your hero, it's the least you could do. <laughs> I'll do more than that, my white knight. Yeah. Oh, will, my princess of the typefaces. Of course. <laughs> when you fix it. That was pretty cool. Get to look at all these memories. Alright, uh, let's see. Mr. Unicorn. <sighs> Mr. Unicorny. Well, you know. and Joan have been inseparable since the day she was born. Uh, Got the A, corrected the teacher, but still forgot the date. <laughs> Alright, uh, closet, anything? Nope, 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 nothing in here. Yeah, I think I pretty much got everything. I don't want to forget the blind, right? No, I can't get it. <laughs> that was just messing. Alright, uh, bathroom. Bathrooms are always nasty, man. I hate bathrooms. Open. Why is it so dark in here? It's dark, man. Well, I got to the other bedroom. It was locked from the other side here, so. Yeah, he was definitely looking for something, man. Gonna be finding something. Gonna be finding something. Right. This room feels so different now. It felt like mine once, but it never was. Never was, man. I feel like Mill is so close, yet so far away. So far away. Why does everyone see so far away? Ooh, damn, okay. I found a computer. Let's go. Transfer. Huh? Is someone downloading something off Nick's laptop? Yeah, it looks like somebody downloaded a file to his, from his laptop to a USB. I don't know why. Somebody's still doing it, though. They didn't take it. It looks like the USB... Oh! Oh, crap! Somebody there! No, no! Ah! No! Oh, you ho! Who the hell is that? Dang it. How, dude? How is he still in the house, man? Sam. He's literally still in the Sam. house. Who was that? Sam! Are you okay? Damn. Ugh. That's I crazy. Think whoever trashed your house just trashed me. Can you stand? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I got the damn yeah, laptop. Guess as bad as the one I had this morning. I couldn't get a good look at them. They just sprinted out of the house. I heard some weird loud engine drive off. Well, whoever it was, they were dumping data off Nick's computer. Damn it. I must have interrupted them. There's no trace of whatever he took. So what do we even do now? Uh find Nick's secrets, find the man who conked me, find Nick's backup files. I uh, I mean it feels like all of them are all in one, but what do I want to do first? Do we have backup files? We I'm need to... Nick's backups. If he has any. Did he ever do anything like that? Damn, Gina. Yeah, dude, he got knocked out. Mess out, man. Did he have anywhere besides here and the basswood jungle he kept things? No. No, I don't I don't think so. I I don't Yeah, Actually, from the drug shop. Yeah, that's what it looked like months. too, Smitty. Remember I mentioned Nick has been going out a lot to that old fishing shack his family owns. I know the one. I went there with Nick and Bug a few times. He went mostly in the evenings. Most nights, really. Said he was night fishing. But if he was secretly using it as a second office... It'd be worth taking a look. Yeah, because nobody else will know about it. We probably got, like, files, secret shit there. Sweet. All right, let's go. Anna, are you what? Your father called. Said there'd been a break-in? <laughs> Couldn't they have gotten here two minutes ago? They'll arrest me if they found Dennis's body. You go out the back. I'll talk to Bess and keep her busy. All right, all right, let's go, let's go. Sure I'll go to the yeah, show. baby. Got some covert ops like going on. Something. It might be there. All right, let's go. I'm starting to get 
Damn, this is almost Sorry. like a movie, man. I was just in the bathroom. Be right out. I feel, I feel like this is just like an action oh. movie, man. Like a thriller. Like you're, like you're one step ahead of the cops and you're trying to find the killer. Like you're trying to clear your name. It's awesome, man. I love this shit. Yeah, definitely, Smitty. He's the guy, man, who ran into me or whatever. I was a punk, too. I was, I was like, get the hell out of my way, punk. Yeah. I was about to say, they're probably still in the house and you get smacked by a brick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I knew something was up, man, when there was still Nick's a USB fishing in there. Shack. A lot of memories here. Good memories. Anna said he's been sneaking off here to work on something. I almost hope I don't find anything. Nick, what were you up to? Got some fishing, man. Let's do some, catch some bass, man. Catch some, uh, some salmon. Oh, Let's go. We got an old buck. Uh, Joan's bike. Joan rides this bike everywhere. So she must be here, then. Which is impressive with how far away everything is out here. If the bike is here, then she must be here, right? What's it doing here? Right, that's what I'm thinking, man. If, if the bike is here, she must be here, right? Yeah, that's weird. Uh, yeah. Be like, they're calling from inside the house. Yeah, I'm thinking she's here. The little girl. Bug? Yeah, she's Muley? Here. How did you... Does my mom know? Does your mom know what? What is this? Mom doesn't know. Good. I've decided to leave town. What? Bug, that's... This is not a good idea. What the I've hell? got food for five days. I'll hitchhike and bike down to Virginia. Do you have any idea how far that is? That's crazy. About 80 miles to get down to my Aunt Lisa. My mom hates her. Don't try to stop me. Don't try to stop me, okay. You can't leave like this. Not without telling anyone. Yeah, he was tweaking out, yeah. man. Why not? That's what you did. She's serious about this. Careful, Sam. This is not a drill. All right, so I'm gonna have to talk her down. Maybe try to bring up her mother again. No, she hates her mother, man. I should tell your mom. Is everything okay at home? Yeah, I'm is just there gonna do this. wrong with your mom? No, I'm running away because things are so great. <laughs> Plus, I know what she'll say. Calm down. Think of the common good. She doesn't do anything. Just sits around. Takes her back pain pills and stares at the TV like a lump. Well, that was a miss. When it comes to this kid, your instinct is better than mine. Sorry, her man. Mother, I thought though, that was. We should have a talk with her later. I thought that was a good thing to say to her. My bad. Look, I'm not a child anymore. I'm not asking for your permission. There's nothing for me here. You can always count on me. I'm here now, Bug. I have your back. I promised you I would look into your father's death, and I'm doing it. I'm here listening. I was there in the parking lot listening. Yeah, well, but... But what? You're just going to leave again another two years? Forever? I think I'm done depending on others. No. Don't leave. My dad I could rely on. But he's gone. There's nothing else for me around here. There's gotta be some way I could stop her. I was wrong yesterday. She's not in denial. She's scared. Something terrible happened to him, but no one listens to me. No one cares. Yeah. I care. I believe you, and I'm investigating like you asked. I know. People at the wake got upset at you over it. Yeah. They did not like me bringing that up. But Nick was my friend. I want to know what happened to him. I care about that, but I also care about keeping you safe. Right. I know you're doing your best. Right. It's I'm just doing my best, town, you, know? you know? It just feels like it grinds you down. It's choking me, and I need fresh air. I need some place I can think. Not here. Sounds like Basswood really failed this kid. I mean, what am I supposed to do tomorrow? Or the day after? In ten years? 
Uh, you could be a journalist. You ever consider journalism? You have a mind for investigation. Um, isn't it kind of dying? Yeah, that's what makes it beautiful. Fighting to bring people truth in a world that doesn't care about it. Right. <laughs> kind of sounds like you really want to be a journalist. <laughs> Look, I don't know if you're trying to make me stay or make me into you. Right. <laughs> my father. Right, Overdrive. You're just telling me what I want to hear. Or what you think I want to hear. What? I just want the truth. For once, from someone. What? I am telling you the truth. I'm wasting my time here with you. Fuck. Don't touch me! I'm sick of you. I'm sick of this town. And so, I'm going. And you can't stop me. Damn. Sam, we have to do something. Yeah, like... She just wants honesty. She doesn't care about bullshit. I can relate to that. I'll tell her what we found out about next death. You can't do that. You're the adult. She's the child. Do you want her to start looking for the people who killed her father by herself? Do the responsible thing. Make her stay. It's for her own good. Uh, I know I'm gonna have a big choice here. Trying to call Kathy. Tell the truth. Oh, man. What should I do, Smitty? Should I tell her the truth, or should I just, you know, you know, tell her about her mom or whatever? Yeah, that's one damaged kid for sure, man. Yeah. What should I do, guys? Yeah. Should I, should I, should I tell her the truth, or should I threaten to call her mom? So that way she'll stay. I don't know. Truth? Oh, man. It's going to be brutal, man, if I tell her the truth, man. So that's her dad, man. going to freaking freak out, maybe. Uh, tell the truth? All right, man. It's going to be brutal, but GG's, man. Here we go. You were right, Bug. Your father didn't die. Maybe that's what crash. she needs to hear. Someone killed him and covered it up. Made it look like an accident. Now, I don't know who did it yet or why. That's why I came here. That was maybe too much, Sam. She's a kid. I was right. You were right. I need you to not tell anyone, though. I won't. I won't tell anyone. Not even my And mom. I need you to stay at home. I will. I'm gonna go home right now. Thank you, Sam. Sweet. Yes, it worked. Hey, good call out, guys. Hell yeah. That was good. So they finally got her to trust him, you know. That was good. Either. But, I but it was it good. Worked. It worked. It worked. So, GG's. Uh, if you was, she would have ran away. That's true, no, Overdrive. That's true. Skipping town. <clears throat> That's true. So that was good, man. We so got her. Kept yeah, we got her to trust neck. us, so that was good. Good call, guys. Man, Bugs certainly grew up faster than I realized. Yeah, good. Good stuff. All right. Uh, now I gotta find the stuff I actually came out here for. Clean the last few weeks. Nick came here recently. Yeah, I know that. I just need to find like where he kept his secret right here, maybe the locker. Locked. Nick always kept a spare key. It'd be somewhere out of Bugs' reach. Okay. This is where he kept the rods he'd loan out. So what's his favorite rod doing here? He always kept it separate. Uh. That's what I'm saying, if it's his favorite rod, it might have a key in it or something. Uh oh, Locked. possible, oh, possible hiding spot up top. Key. It'd be somewhere out of Bugs' reach. Yeah, I see it up there. Don't see the keys. It was probably too obvious a spot. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit obvious. That's weird though, because if it says it's special, I feel like that'd be that'd be a clue or something. I don't know. This is where he kept the rods he'd loan out. So what's hmm. his favorite Maybe rod doing uh, here? He always kept it separate. Right. Uh, anywhere tall, I can try to keep here for the. I need that locker key. That's what I really need. Drawing. Joan always liked bugs. Super bug. Graduation picture. Back when Nick and Kathy were college sweethearts. <laughs> Clearly, bug was there too. 
Yeah, it's good overdrive, man. You guys yeah, you definitely gave me some good good advice there. Nick with hunting. used to friends. talk about how hunting was cruel. How much did you change, Nick? Empty spot. There used to be a calendar right here. Why'd he take it down? Huh. Yeah, that's weird. Alright, a lot of weird spots, man. Alright, I guess that was all I could do for that one. Possible hiding spot? No? Oh. Yes! Yahtzee, baby! Jackpot. Let's go. What a fishy hiding spot. Yeah, <laughs> you're in the freaking fish, Always man. did love your cliches. He always kept his favorite rod in this special ready-to-go bag to protect it. Yeah, so that's why it's weird that his, his, rod, his special rod would be out there when it was supposed to be in here. Nick, what were you hiding in this bag that's so important you had it locked up? Dude, locked up, locked up. Nick wasn't the type to remember passwords. He probably left himself a reminder. Oh, crap. Yeah, because it's got a combo on it. It's got a combination lock. Damn it. Can't get up in that. Bug never was the social type. All right, let me check Just out what's like in me. that locker. With Nick gone, I guess we both lost our best friend. Best friend. Let's go. My best friend. Right, we got weapons, drugs. Give me drugs, man. These are pretty heavy duty painkillers. Very, Very addictive. addictive. Oh yeah. Got the pain, man. Joan wasn't just acting up. Kathy has a problem. Yeah, there's definitely some home life issues going on with Nick that. was trying to find ways to get Joan in college. It's gotten so expensive. Journal article, take. That's gotta have something to do with what's going on. What is it? Uh, journal article, read it. One small community looks out for those that fall through the cracks by Anna Miller. Interviewing Tyler, a man a few words in his mid-twenties. And a heavily tattooed about the place where he lives and where he's here. It's cold enough that I regret not bringing a second jacket. His hands, however, are not shaking because of the cold. This is seventh relapse. Oh, okay. It's more like dealing with drug problems and uh, shakes her head. She'll let me stay. He says, I ask him how he knows. Yeah, the cope gives me hope. Yeah, so it's pretty much like a, uh, you know, she wrote an article about, you know, helping out, you know. It's like a drug rehab or a homeless shelter, almost looks like. Gives you second chances. Like many people, Nick kept a few guns, but never at home and always locked up. Yeah, yeah, definitely really don't blame the kid for wanting to get away from that, for sure. Yeah, exactly. I just don't want a little kid hitchhiking, you know. That's all. I was like, like, there's no hitchhike. I was like, what is he, like 10 years old or something? He's going to hitchhike. Anything could happen. Uh, D wants to meet. It has to be the same D he was talking to in his emails. Yeah, D. The dirty D, baby. Oh... Yeah, two, three, four, one. <laughs> Damn, Smitty. Uh, that's funny. Uh, note. Take the note. Man, I'm going to find a lot of good stuff in here. Alright, so what does it say? Looks, Looks like some kind of reminder Nick left for himself. A reminder, reminder of what? Looks like a code. Yeah, it looks like some kind of code. Remember Caterpillar. Okay. All right, I think I went through everything here. All right, went through it all. Baby girl, you could have it all. All right, that's it, man. You could do the dirty if you want to, and they could see if you want to, and do the dirty dirty if you want to. Uh, calendar, fishing bag, unlock. Up, down. Oh, now I know. Now I know. Okay, now I know what it was. Huh? Wrong combination. Knowing Nick, maybe he left a hint lying around the shack. Alright, so I'm thinking this is for the 
the lock or whatever. Okay, so the yellow is up, red is what the hell? If Nick kept this, it means it's important. Just have to figure out why. Huh. Okay. And then the calendar. Let me look at the calendar again. If D met Nick on the day he died, <clears throat> he could be the last person who saw him alive. It was probably the D guy that killed him, man. Probably got all paranoid or something. Okay, D wants to meet, and then the journal card. Huh. Yeah, that's weird. I gotta find out what this code is. Oh. There you go, man. Alright, uh. Let me look I'm just at this. to figure thing. out the connection between Nick's note and this lock. Up, down, left, right. Doesn't work. So there's there five missing. So there's five things I have to do to it. So that's only four right there. What am I missing here? Uh, let's see. There's gotta be something I'm missing. Alright, 20s. Place called the Cove and the local mine closed. A lot of people find themselves out of work and the place drugs and crimes. Huh. Not that. There's gotta be something I'm missing with this damn fishing bag, man. So D wants to me. That's the only thing I'm getting if from D that. If D met Nick on the day he died, he could be the last person who saw him alive. Alright, so let me take this one more time. So it's red. Caterpillar. Remember Caterpillar. Damn, this is a tough puzzle, man. Like, what would that have to do with the up, down, left, right? I just gotta figure out the connection between Nick's note and this lock. Alright, let me try one more time here. Let me go up, up, down, left, left, right. No, that down. wasn't it. That wasn't it. Yeah, this is this is putting a bog on my mind, man. Um, caterpillar. Let's see. What the hell are you waiting for? See what the, what the hell does that mean? It's like up, down, left, right. Doesn't make sense. And then D. D wants to meet. And then this journal entry. Huh. Something I'm missing here. I'm going to figure this out. Alright. Caterpillar. I'm trying to see like what parts are highlighted if it makes a difference or let me read it one more time. Still need a whooping. Let's see. The patterns, that's for people. No ceiling, no fighting. Huh. Yeah, this one totally has me stumped, man. I have, I have no clue. If D met Nick on the day he died, he could be the last person who saw him alive. 
And there's like a water ring stain on them. Let's see. I was wondering if like the water rings on them could have any, I don't know. I'm just looking literally for grasping for anything here. Uh, red is right. Try five rights. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'll try that, Smitty. Yeah, that's worth a shot, man. That's what I was thinking, too, because, like, the red was right. So that's, I was like, yeah, I'll try it. Five rights. Only a few more hundred combinations to go. <laughs> oh, man, that's, that's true. Uh, crap, man. Gotta be missing something, man. What am I missing? Combo. Man, bugs certainly grew up faster than I realized. And so maybe maybe inspect one of these things. Caterpillar is over here. Nick's note mentioned a caterpillar. I think I just found it. Oh damn it! Okay, I got it now. I got it, bro. I got it. I just figured that bitch out, Smitty. Look at the caterpillar, man. Look at the colors on the caterpillar. It goes red, green, uh, uh, purple, red, and yellow. So you got to use that to coincide with the with the thing, with the paper. So I, hold on. I'm going to grab a piece of paper and a pencil, man, so I can write this down. It's a code, man. It's a freaking code. All right. Uh, let me get this. Pencil. I need a pencil or a pen. Where can I find one? Uh, let's get ready to rumble. Whoop, there it is. Whoop, whoop, there it is. Damn, I knew I was going to figure that hoe out, man, because it said remember Caterpillar. So I was, I was like, man, where in the hell did I see a Caterpillar before? Yahtzee. There we go. Five colors, Smitty, on the Caterpillar's body. All right, so number one is red. So red, and then it goes uh, green, and then purple, purple, and then red again, and then yellow. There we go. That's the five colors. Hell yeah, man. Freaking I'm solving these damn puzzles. All right, so we did that part. Now I got to uh, do this part. All right, this is what I need right here. So then I need to just mark down on here. All right, so red will be right. All right, and then green is down. And then purple is left. And then red is right again. And then yellow is up. There we go, baby. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. All right, so we, we solved that puzzle. All right, so it would be it's, uh, right down, down, left, right, up. Bam. Perfect. Let's see what we have here. Oh, yeah. Good shit, man. Let's go. Hell yeah, Smitty. Coach Britt. Hell yeah, man. That was awesome, man. Just figured that sucker out. Just got to think about it a little bit. Ooh, damn. We got cash, man. That's a lot of cash. That's a lot of cash. Nick could make in a decade. Man, that's a lot of cash, man. I think he was on the take, man. Uh, we got some drugs, man. Oh, dude, this is Opioids. all going to be about drugs, man, Pretty? somehow. Nick, were you looking into drug trafficking? Yeah, it looks like drug trafficking or something, man. Files, open up. Open it. There we go. Nick was gathering at the cove, and that's how he found his informant, D. Oh. It's the person he met the night he died. I just need to figure out who it is. Oh, I got you. So one of these three people are D? I can understand that. Maybe like one of the person who broke in got his files because they, when he died, they didn't want anybody to find out, you know, who he was or whatever. 
Tyler. Tyler's interview was heartbreaking. He was bad off. So bad fact that I was legitimately surprised to find him alive the next week or next time I visited the Cove. Uh, he certainly wouldn't have been the first member of the group to be claimed by OD in the middle of the night. Very aggressive, been in and out of jail for most of his life, usually for assault, don't antagonize, clean since the interview. Where did he get his drugs? Uh, Dickie. Uh, in the cooking. Uh, I don't think it's him. Uh, just by reading his profile, it just doesn't sound like him. Uh, interviewed by Anna, but didn't make it in the article, late 30s, not personable. Uh, been loved around the world, working wherever he is, can, handyman, arrested for drug possession, staying at the cove, and now he's out, didn't have anywhere else to go. Keeps to himself, trying to get clean, but his ongoing process from mid, oh, Midwest Michigan. There you go, that's like me. Uh, I took up smoking, trying to replace other habits, collects hubcaps. Uh, rolls his own cigarettes, taught me how, still uses it occasionally, loves camo. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking it's this dude right here. I haven't even read his profile yet, but I'm, I don't know. Uh, who is the dealer? Tyler, Kayla, smarter than he looks, or as dumb as he acts, still hard to say. Twitchy, even when sober, high strong, obviously disliked by the Cove, asked not to be named. Yeah, I think it's him, man. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's him. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's Richard. Uh, yeah, definitely, man. I'm gonna go with Richard. Richard, A.K.A. Dicky, A.K.A. D. Looks like I found who I was looking for. Let's go. So that's what it was. So I found the informant. Nick suspected a drug ring flourished here in Basswood after the mine closed. He had an informant, Dicky, probably a low-level drug dealer, and he also had a lot of cash on hand, more than a reporter should. Dicky set up a meeting with Nick, and now Nick's dead. Dicky may so be the only was ever, person who knows what really happened. Who's ever I'm running the him. drug trade in town? He lives man. at this place, the Cove, or he did. Anna wrote that article on it. She has to know where it is. Alright, sweet, man. On to the next uh, thing here. Best finally left. Did you find anything at the fish spot? Yes, do you know where the cove is? Uh, it's a little commune thing on the outskirts of town. Not big on outsiders. Alright, I'll arrive soon. Uh, yeah, let's go. Hell yeah, let's, let's do it to it, man. Yeah, so that's what must what's what must have been happening, man. He got into the drug trade and like people were into drugs, so they were like, Yeah. I need you to take me there. So, all right. Alright, everything seems to be going pretty good now. Trophy earned, nice catch. Hell yeah, sounds good. Uh, remember him from the drugstore? Yeah, Smitty. Yeah, he's a hoe, man. He, he's probably just like dormant, though, man. Like, I want to get to the king. Best man. barely asked about the break-in. She seemed more focused on your fight with Dennis. I'm on top of the suspect list. Yeah, he is. I would be if I was her. Yeah. Yes, said I should call her if I found you. <laughs> she believes you're dangerous. You were right back at the Basswood jungle. I think we're on our own. They'll try to arrest me now. We have to find Dickie. I can't let Joan down. I'm sure Dickie's still there. He had no other place to go. What are you doing? I got no doing? place to go. The longer you run from the police, the worse it'll be when they catch up with you. Explain everything. Show them all you found. That's what a sane person does. So, how should we handle finding Dickie? Uh, do whatever it takes. I don't have any great ideas, but I know I'll do what I have to do. <laughs> At least we're equally clueless. <laughs> There's comfort in that. There you go. Yeah, I hate feeling like the only one in the dark. The dark isn't as spooky when someone else is with you. We just need to be careful and look out for each other. 
This town has like 17 people in it. You've met the killer. I'm not saying you have to run and hide. Just be careful about the lion's den. That's enough. What's enough? Uh, enough of a plan. I think we have enough of a plan. Do we? I just get so angry that someone did this. Killed my friends, invaded my home. It's the worst feeling. Like part of my soul has been stolen. We need to find out who did this. I need to take back from them what they took. I need to find some small piece of feeling safe again. If that even makes any sense. They want to get away with it. Oh yeah. They won't get away with it. It's the knowing they might get away with it. The lie they made up being seen as true. That just burns a hole right through me. Yeah, you're right. I think. Then I think something else ten seconds later. <laughs> because you've got this. Easy. Look at you. So together. You got so drunk, you've forgotten anything that could have been remotely useful. Your friends are turning up dead. You're getting brained by burglars. And now we're riding straight into the back roads with no backup. You're afraid to let things go. Maybe she'd be lucky if she never saw you again. Are you still with me? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So you're just gonna keep telling me off. Disregard my advice. <laughs> well, if you think you know better, Sam, no reason for me to linger. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Enjoy your little investigation without me, Sam. Don't get us killed, okay? Here. This is the cove. Huh? Get your head on straight. The cove. We're here. Right. 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 She's going to marry him? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Crazy Kranz. Thanks for coming out, sir. Yeah, thank you, everybody, man. Welcome to the stream. I've officially welcomed all you guys. Thanks for coming out. Smitty, to Harry, to everybody, man. Galaxy guy, Overdrive. Thank you guys so much, man. Hope everybody's having a good Tuesday. The Cove. Sam, you sure you want to keep going? Yeah, I'm. I'm fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. fine. You're sure? You can rest in the car while I ask around. I'll manage. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. I got it. I'm all good in the hood. What up? Oh. Who the hell are you? Anna. What are you doing here? Tyler. You look healthy. You ain't the only one surprised I'm still alive. Who's the narc? Angel investor, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. We're looking for someone. Uh, I'm Sam. Was I talking to you? This is Sam. He's a friend. Yeah, lucky for him or I'd have thrown his ass out already. So what are you two here for? I was really it's a long story. We'd like to have a word with Dickie. Have you seen him? Obviously, I'm not going to get anywhere with this guy. Look, just talk to Lynette. She makes the calls on her land. Thank you. Really. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I could tell I wasn't gonna get anywhere yeah, with that like guy, this. so... Uh, Let her talk. He's pretty much the gatekeeper around here. Interviewed him last time I came by. I'm gonna talk to Lynette. She's kind of in charge. I'll go see what I can find. Okay, but be careful. People only end up here if they have nothing left to lose. Got nothing to lose. Hey, uh, hey, Mill is uh, AR. My iPad broke. If they don't fix it, I'm gonna get a new one. Oh, okay, all right. I feel like we're about to find out the killer. Y'all, I'm gonna play this and play everything different. Just see what the other. Oh, yeah, definitely, Harry. Yeah, that, you're true, Smitty. Yeah, the girl said something about the angel investor. It was the old guy that ran. The, it was the pharmacist, dude. Now I'm kind of thinking the pharmacist. Uh, it's kind of the, the ringleader. I don't know why, but yeah, I'm definitely thinking that now. Ow. Oh, watch damn. it. The place is full of wood shavings. Why do you have an open flame? I don't remember asking for your opinion. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. I'm Kayla. What do you want? What do you want? 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 
Uh, do you enjoy whittling? Uh, do you know Ethan? Kayla. You know Ethan? Yeah, I knew him. You're his sister, right? I was. So, are you gonna tell me what you're here for? I'm looking for a guy named Dicky. Don't know where he is and don't care. He might be off with his stupid quad bike thing for all I know. Quad bike thing? Loud. Goes off road, has four wheels. Makes you look like an asshole. Occasionally leaks gasoline and would have burned down the whole camp. Tyler didn't save his sorry ass with his fire extinguisher. Well, I'll see you around. I don't I'll feel like you have, have to. I don't feel like you have to. <laughs> Off-road quads. It could still be here right now. I need more info to figure out where Dickie is. That's crazy, man. She's really good at the woodworking, man. Whittle some wood, man. Uh, I got like a little camping stove. Let me find some more info here. Ooh, generator. I, don't know, I feel like I'm playing Hitman. I feel like I'm looking for stuff like I kill people with. What up? Oh, here's Dickie and Lynette. Or not Dickie, but uh, Lynette thing. Lynette's mobile home. Looks ancient. Where else can I go? Possible hideout. Yeah. Picnic table. What else? There's Tyler. I don't want to talk to his ass, man. Tyler set himself up nicely. Uh, what else can we do? I want to go check out that possible hideout looking thing. Dickie could be here, but I need to be sure. Every second counts. I probably gotta go. I don't know. Maybe I should try talking to him. Tyler, right? Jackass, right? Jackass, right? Yeah. <laughs> huh. I'll bet. Uh, I got some wood for to whittle. Yeah, I know. I know how you do. <laughs> Two rat rails, yeah. Uh, tell me how you know. Why do you end up here? Uh, how do you end up in a place like this? None of your goddamn business. Damn. Yeah, he's hardcore, man. Just tell me where Dickie is and I'll leave. Either that or... What's up, d Film Studio? Face. What up? Uh... is a friend. She spent some time down here with us to do that interview thing. Told my story. Did good by me. By us. And that guy that came after her, Nick, he's solid. Came down here three or four times. Taught me a great recipe for bass. But you, you're just some asshole. Dickie's one of ours. Don't think you're getting anywhere near his trailer. So beat it, before I break your knees. Before I break your knees. Uh, Samuel, this is Beth. I'm trying to reach you regarding Dennis Gardner. Uh, Witnesses say you had a fight last night and you were looking for him all morning. We need to ask a few questions. Come down to the station as soon as you can. Oh, great. Freaking the cops are looking for me. I gotta Clock's clear ticking. my name, man. Cops will start Clock looking for me soon. Yeah, I so Dickie is, is in ticking. one of the trailers. That narrows down my search. I'm getting there. Just need a bit more info to close in on Dickie. Yeah. Just need a little more info. Uh, uh, talk to this dude. I think this is one of the other guys I've seen. There you go. And then one of the What's profiles. Up? You a friend of Kayla's or something? Yeah, JR, yeah. Name's JR. I'm. Well, yeah, what'd you do for New Year's? Ah, uh, no, not really, man. You're yeah, why is he being a reporter. jerk? Because he's just, I don't know. He just wants to be a jerk, I guess. Fucking up everyone's lives. <laughs> That's a real talent. Former miner. Get the fuck out of my face. A former miner? <laughs> uh, yeah. Just here to ask a couple of questions. Do I look like a fucking tour guide? Damn. You keep bothering me, and I'm gonna stop being nice. That ain't good. Damn, Gina. Yeah, he's hardcore, man. 
I need to find out where Dickie's hiding. He's here I know somewhere. where he's hiding, man. He's up in one of those damn trailers, man. But I can't get back there until they give me permission first, I guess. Alright, uh, time to go over here and check and see what's going on. First, I want to check and see what's up here. Caves, Cove's flag. They seem pretty proud of this place. Not what I was expecting. Alright, uh, let's see. Anything up here I can grab? Ooh, some food. Yum. Alright, uh, doesn't look like anything up here. Keep on moving. And it was going well. It's just, I don't know, hard. It I feel like we're easy. about to find out. I don't know, maybe. This is Sam. He's a friend. We used to date. Right, that oh yeah, yeah, I got you. Obvious. Is it? <laughs> yeah, it kind of is. I'm Lynette. What are you here for, Sam? I read the article Anna wrote about you and this place. Wait, you read it? When? Nick's fishing shack. Oh. You never have any trouble with anyone. No one takes advantage. As long as they can follow a few simple rules. Even if Dickie lives on the fringe of our community, he is one of us. All he wants is to be left alone. I would think you of all people would understand. <clears throat> what led you to create this community? I found there were souls in need of help after the mine closed. The world is a cruel place. We all need a touch of Man, when you find out who the killer is, you should You're smack him with a brick. Oh, definitely, dude. I'm gonna smack his ass, but man. What's up, Redhead? Short. Thanks for coming Your out, man. Your article brought Kayla here. And even some generous donations have come in. Did you get your answer, Sam? What kind of donations? Food and clothes, mostly. But jobs are hard to come by these days. We must rely on the kindness of others. Even if their kindness comes and goes in waves. Tyler said Nick came here before. What did he want? He took an interest in my people. He wanted to know their stories. Such as? Sam. Well, the long, sad stories most people do not want to hear. We all stumble during our lives. Knowing how we fall and how some make it out can provide guidance for the future, don't you think? What about opioids? Do you say anything about that? There are no drugs here, Samuel. To stay, you must remain clean. I'll go now. Thanks for indulging me. Naturally. So Dickie lives here, but his place should be isolated from the others. I know enough to make an educated guess. Dickie's gotta be in one of these places. Okay. Alright, so hopefully at least now let me go out and do it now. He's in there? I don't know, is he? No quad. And it's right next to another mobile home. It's not here. Alright, so that's not the right one. So I gotta look for a quad. That'll let me know, I guess. Possible hideout. Is there a quad over there in this one? Dickie's unlikely to be here. No quad parked out front, and no one seems to be home. Alright, hopefully I can keep going this way. Oh, there's a quad, I think, right there. There's a quad, but Dickie's yeah. supposed to be in a trailer. I need to find out where Dickie's hiding. What? He's here somewhere. There's a quad right there. What the hell are you talking about, dude? That doesn't make sense. I thought I found it. What the hell? Huh. What am I missing? Quad. Isolated. Someone oh, lives here. Oh, there he is, right there. That's where Dickie's hiding. Time All right. to pay him a visit. I was wondering, I was like, what the hell, what was I missing? Alright, so hopefully I can go around this way. There we go. Finally. I only know you by reputation. 
and what I know I don't like. You don't get I can't hear you, you if I'm reading this. Play well, for me. Please. So back the hell off. What up? Fuck you up. Uh, go for it, bro. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Go for it, dude. You want to go? Scary you want to throw down? We can throw down. You should get out of my way. I crack your skull wide open, you little bitch. Hey, man. This guy ain't worth it. Just forget him. But if he doesn't get the message soon, I'll help you work him over. Got it. Got it. I'm gonna get past these two if I want to reach Dicky. I need to get them to look away from his trailer. Around Kayla's tent is the most efficient spot for a distraction. It's at the opposite end of the camp. They'd have their backs turned to me. But I still need a place to hide. They'd suspect me right away. Cabin stands right in the middle of the camp. Far enough from everyone for them to not notice me. Close enough to reach Dickie before they come back. It'd be my best shot. I have a plan. All that remains is to figure out the details. Okay. Alright, so the deeds, man. Uh, let's see. What do I gotta do now? Figure out a plan. Look. Picture. She looks like a I drug lord. Yeah. <laughs> bar, only intact. Yeah. Guess I know who's been cut out. Well. Yeah. So I gotta come up with a good distraction somehow. Ooh, what about the statue? Add clue. With all the flammable lacquer and varnish, this thing catching fire is sure to divert attention. Oh yeah, it's out I think of the way so no one should get hurt, but there will be lots of chaos. I just need to work out the exact details. Alright. Alright, so lacquer. It won't take long for the fire to reach those, and when it does, they'll go up in flames in a second. Need to account the statue will be collateral damage once the fire spreads. No other option. Uh, These shavings would be perfect kindling. If I lit the wood shavings, the varnish on the statue would catch fire. Sounds good. Varnish. Cans empty. Probably used on that statue. Very flammable stuff. Alright. I think I pretty much got everything that I need. Empty can. I already did that. I can get the fire going, but it won't do any good if they put it out right away. I need to check for ways they could put it out. The fire needs to burn long enough to distract, but small enough to be manageable. Don't want to see the whole place go up in flames. Yes, sir. All right, uh, so I got to look for something they could put out the fire with. Fire extinguisher, maybe, or uh, water. Water. I mean, they're, they're staying right next to water. Oh, hose right there. If I sabotage Lynette's yeah, old hose, break the hose, she'll have to Perfect. find something else to put the fire out with. Perfect. Break it. Whatever I gotta do, break that hoe. Well, you can't break it? Alright. Barbecue grill. Oh, I guess I can't go back there. What else could they use, I guess? Shovel, hose, bucket. Nothing useful, but there's enough room to hide in here. Alright, so I guess I'll be hiding there. It's deep enough. I could squeeze in here. Or I could squeeze in there, I guess. Alright, that's up in here. Oh, we got a bucket of sand. Not a concern. Sand is effective against fire, but not that effective. Oh, okay. Hmm. 
Uh, letter I will get to for you. File chip seven. Yeah. Letter. Guess that explains how we ended up here. What else is over here? Anything good? Tell me something good. Uh, let's see. I saw a fire extinguisher in here earlier. If Tyler gets it, the fire might not burn long enough for me to reach Dickie. Yeah, I gotta get a clue. Yeah. If I hid Tyler's keys, it'd take him longer to get the fire extinguisher from his trunk. Okay. So where's his keys? So Tyler was over here. Okay. can I do carving tools yeah I don't know what else what else is there here oh uh, we got Maybe I can go talk to Tyler. I ask him for his key. I don't know. Probably the way he'll probably whoop my ass if I talk to him. But we'll see what's up. He had a fire extinguisher in his van earlier. I need to take care of it. Yeah, but I need. How am I gonna get his keys to the Tyler van? Tyler set himself up nicely. What the frick? Uh, can't talk to her, can't talk to her, can't talk to her, uh, I've got to be missing something here, oh, let's see, No use. They won't let me anywhere near his trailer. I need a distraction. Yeah, but I was just trying. I wasn't trying to get to his trailer. I was just trying to stay right around no here. No use. They won't let Damn me anywhere it. near his trailer. I need a distraction. Uh, let me see. Damn it. Where am I going? They seem pretty proud of this place. Not what I was expecting. I don't know how I'm supposed to take care of the fire extinguisher if I can't even get over in there. Oh, here we go. If they're in a panic, they might not see me hiding under this. Oh, shit. Oh, something just happened. I've got everything I need. Oh, okay, there I we go. I won't be able to do it by myself. I need right. Anna's help. <clears throat> so now I gotta talk Anna into helping. Alright, let's go. Hey, uh, Anna, can I have a quick sidebar? <clears throat> yeah, buddy. Thanks, everybody, for joining up, man. Appreciate it. Just working through this uh, game I here. I found him. Where? The goon squad won't let me near it. Lynette isn't going to be any better. They look after their own. I can get there, but I'll need your help. What exactly are you planning? <laughs> I'm playing at something crazy. I need a distraction to get to Dicky. Setting the bear statue outside Kayla's tent on fire would work, but it's critical I wait for Anna to act first, or I won't have enough time. Then I can use a match to ignite the splinters and get the fire started. I'll have to get out of there before Lynette and Kayla can close in on me. After that, I'll hide in the cabin.
Tyler and JR will leave to put the fire out. And then once they leave, me a window of opportunity to run to bam. this trailer. And then I'll take off. Yeah, perfect. All right, let's get it popping. Yeah, thanks for coming out, Aiden. Everybody else, man, welcome. All right, so before you what? All right, hide the van keys. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, crap. I got to come up with this whole thing. Oh, damn. That's going to be nuts, bro. All right. So I got to be over here. Crap. Okay. Uh, another puzzle. All right. Uh, no, I'm just going to have her break the hide the van keys. Uh, what do I got to do? After JR, it lasts to help. Yeah, yeah. Tyler will immediately run to his van to get the fire extinguisher. If he does get it, the fire won't burn for long. Okay. So she's hiding the keys. Uh. Okay, so do that one. That'll be good. The dickies. I have to reach the trailer before they put the fire out and notice I'm gone. Alright. So she's gonna do the key thing. I'm gonna do that. Where to hide? Uh, I'll hide in the closet. There we go. Beautiful. And then bam, she's over there checking that out. I hide in the closet. They go put the fire out. Yep, they're going to put the fire out. And then while they're doing that, then I bust out. And then bam. People will look away when the fire flares. I'll risk being discovered then. Okay. Uh, so then how do I fix that? I have to reach the trailer before they put the fire out and notice I'm gone. Uh, okay, so... Hey, I need to stop that. Damn it. Uh, burn the bear. Yeah, burn the bear, of course, you know. But, yeah, I just gotta figure out the right steps to do it in. Yeah, because what would... So they're doing that. People will look away when the fire flares. Oh. Okay. Risk being discovered then. After, okay, so this is, this is where I've, I gotta figure out what I'm doing wrong. Once alone, or... Right, I'm gonna try the, this one and then see how it rolls. Just to see if it works. If if it doesn't work on this, because everything was good up until when I when I started to run away. 
So once I can finish that, you know, finish that part out, we're good. Burn the bear, baby. Oh. Yeah, right now I'm just running like a hypothesis to make sure my plan's going to work. And then as long as it works, yeah, as soon as JR runs out there, that's him right there, then I just bust out. Oh, no. Somebody caught me. People would move differently based on what Anna does. Huh. I need to keep it in mind. Based on what Anna does? Okay, so... Alright. Maybe I should try and break the hose first. See what that does. Yeah, I'm gonna see what that does. I'm gonna see if that makes any difference. Because she doesn't have a hose anymore. Oh, she caught Anna me. Breaks the hose. Lynette will look for a spare in the closet. <laughs> All right, so uh, stay hide. I'll hide under behind the curtain. Well, that should be right. Gotta make sure this flows. Uh, hose and keys. Yeah, yeah. Well, because you can only do one or the other, Smitty. So I was just gonna see what one works best. Because, like, if you break the hose, she goes to look for another one. So if I change my hiding spot. And once JR leaves. Uh, Anna no. breaks the hose. Lynette okay. will look for a spare in the closet. Uh, maybe, like, once I'm alone? Maybe let me see what happens once I'm alone. Cause you almost gotta find like the perfect, the perfect way so nobody sees you and you still get there. Okay, so she's gonna go for the closet. I'm still gonna be in there. She'll get the extra hose, and then I can run. Hopefully, hopefully that way works. All right, go, 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 go down, go down. I think that works. I made it. I did it. Okay, that's it. perfect. No one will see me get to Dickie. Yes. I need to time everything carefully. All right. All right, let my dog out. Hell yeah. All right. I finally figured it out, man. I got a plan. You'll have to be cautious. I need you to sabotage the water hose. Unscrew the cap where it attaches so there's no pressure. Okay. But why? Do you trust me? Yes. Then trust me. Then trust and believe it. Till I need a what? Till I need a nut? BP still living it up. There you go. Set the bear on fire. Here goes the plan, baby. Oh, now I just gotta hide and wait for the other, other stuff to happen. Here. Fire! Fire! Help. Someone help! It's burning everything! Help. It's burning everything! Help! I'll be right there. Just hold on. Uh, hurry! Hurry! Anna, my don't. bear is burning. My bear is burning. No, why didn't we talk to talk to Dicky? I missed why. Cause Dicky's the informant, man. He's gonna know everything, man. He's gonna know the drugs and all that stuff, dude. Dicky's like the main informant guy. You know, he should be able to tell us all the information we need to know about the dead guy and everything. All right, finally I made it, man. Holy bejeez. Yeah, that was a freaking... That was something. Yeah, there's Dickie. Oh, oh, shit. Shit. What the hell? I've been looking for you. We I've been looking talk. for you, bro. Oh, look, I'm real sorry I clocked you and shit. Clock me? You were the one that broke into Anna's house. Oh, yeah, I knew it. From I knew computer. it. What was it? Where is it? I didn't know what was going to happen, man. I swear. I'm a nobody, all right? I'm just a guy trying to get by, that's all. I just want to take care of my moms and live life, man. I just want to take care of my moms, my out, man. All my life. I 
I just agreed to talk to him for just like a quote or something. I didn't know he was gonna put so much together. He was gonna pin us to the wall. But now I'm as good as dead. You don't understand, man. I can't. Stop rambling. What did you take? His notes about his article, about the dealing and the, the drugs and names of dealers, and sellers, buyers, everything. I had to or I was gonna be next. You gotta believe me. What'd you do with them? Where are they? I don't have them, man. I left the stick at the dead drop up at Makeout Point. He'll pick it up soon, and then it's done. No proof, nothing. Who's coming for it? Tell me who's coming for it. My boss, Declan. Yeah, I She's knew it. The police are corrupt as shit, dude. Declan. Yeah, police, He's man. A cop. You know him. Everyone knows him. Oh man, I'm fucked yeah. now. When he hears I snitched again, I'm fucking done. The cop was killing everybody, I was man. Supposed to know Nick was gonna stir shit up. Are you saying he's involved in Nick's death? Tell me. Come on. Just let me go. Please, I already told you everything. No, just let me go, all right? I really gotta leave town before he finds me. I'm begging you, man. Let me go. Let me go. Help. Anyone, help, help me. me. Shut up. Help me. Why. Should have known. Uh -oh. Damn fire bug. I'm gonna kick the shit out of you. Sam. Sam, we have to get out of here. Shut up. Your ass ain't any better. You brought him here. You've had this coming. I can explain. Oh, you'll explain all right. So I'm gonna give you my rifle. Oh shit. You're leaving. God damn it, woman. Damn. That was crazy, man. Uh, why is this game kinda like movies? Uh they're crooked cops. Yeah. Yeah, I knew it was a crooked cop, man. Exactly. He knows everyone, but won't tell anyone. Yeah, exactly, Overdrive. Yes, sir. Alright, so now I pretty much kind of know everything. I'm thinking the cops, the cops are run, running the whole drug trade. It doesn't make any sense. Maybe with the pharmacist. Why would Declan do that? And then he found out, he so that's why they killed him. He was always a stand-up cop. Now he's a crime boss? No time to think about it. Right now, we need to get to that dead drop. Nick probably gathered enough evidence to reveal what dead Yeah, this might be the to. end of the game right here. Our word against his won't cut it. That stick is the only way we'll take him down. Or maybe you could just stay out of this? Declan's trying to save his skin. If you go against him on that promontory, he'll be trapped in a corner. This isn't a game. This isn't a puzzle. And you're dealing with a man. No one else is gonna die. You can't promise that. It's unfair to think you can. You don't know what's gonna happen. I don't either. But we're the only ones who could possibly bring some closure to these murders. Just control yourself, okay? The fire worked, but people could have gotten hurt. Sam, I know it's been a rough day, but you're freaking me out. Stop zoning out. We're just about there, and I need you to help me figure out our next steps. Next steps? At a place where someone might put a bullet through your head. No, that's too dramatic. It'll probably be something quiet, simple. Make it look like you killed yourself. Took too many pills. Who questioned that? You're not thinking clearly. What are you looking at? You're focused on finding the facts and not focused on the very real danger. One level to the game? You need to focus on the real I don't know, I guess. daydream you're lost in. Just, just stop. No, you're I don't know, Overdrive. I don't Sam, know. you're going too fast. You need to stop. Leave me alone. Sam, stop it. Sam, Sam, Sam stop. There's a stop. 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 Sam, stop. 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 Stop the car. What the hell? Sam, are you okay? You nearly got us killed. I need... I need a moment. Take what your moment, hell? but make it quick. We're already at the promontory. We need to find that dead drop before Declan gets here. Damn. Yeah, that was wild, man. I love this game, though, man. I'm glad I got into it, man. Really good game. Definitely we good. need to talk. Yes, Sam, it's time. Ah, uh, what's happening? Sam, I can't. Where are you going? Get back here! I'm trying, but it's not working. Ah! No! Ah! Losing control. 
control of my own mind. Where are you? Can you hear me? I'm losing control. Can you even hear me? I can hear you. Fine. I'll come to you. Exit sign. That's the only. Yeah, I mean, it's not like one level. I mean, it's just it's just like more like a story that you're playing, basically. Okay. Do not freak out. You've been through this before. Don't freak out, man. Ugh, I'm back in the same room again. There's something I'm missing. There's got to be a logic to this place. I just need to figure out what it is. Okay. Something on the wall or... Thought I was missing something. Ugh, doing this over and over isn't gonna get me anywhere. Stick to the fundamentals. Breathe. Focus. You can make it out. Trapped in my mind. Uh, I imagine being in the car, watching him freak out and talk to himself. Yeah, yeah, that'd be crazy, man. Be here from the start. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely, man. Yeah, it's a great it still one, man. Keeps going. I'm glad I got. I'm like I'm definitely glad I got this. Question is, where does it lead? Yeah, this is definitely freaky, man. I like it a lot, though, man. Good game. I th I don't know. I always got scared by what I heard about there from other are. people. You and I need to talk. What? What's happening? But I was like, I'm just glad I you know, found out for myself. Whoa. Remember the facts, Sam. That's how you'll get through this. Remember the facts. Just the fact. I'm losing control man. of my own mind again. I'm almost making it a habit. Yeah, he's got some issues, man. At least I'm not being chased this time. Right? All right. Yeah, for now, anyway. Uh, super fresh to be able to watch someone who actually enjoys playing multiple games and switching it up. Absolutely, man. I love switching it up, man. Wonder what's in store for me now. There's so many good games out there, man. Oh, great. Uh, what door do I pick, man? <laughs> uh, okay. Door number one or door number nine? Uh, uh, this door is over by itself over here. I'm going to try this one. And I'm back to square one. Great. Man, this is like a freaking puzzle right here, man. Uh. I'm always starting from the same position and looking at the same door. All right. Maybe it's not about which door I go through so much as which door I choose. Okay. Uh, what door do I gotta choose? Man, this is a puzzle right here, man. What door? Ah, uh, dang! I feel like I'm getting close. Around the days ago, I did my highest with my friend. I gave him eighty-five percent and took fifteen percent. Damn! Always tackle a problem head-on. Of course. Yeah, I finally got out of there. Hell yeah! Damn, dude, that was wild. That was wild, man. 
Can I get through this thing or what? Maybe not. There's only one door in the sucker. Sweet, finally made it back out. Hell yeah. There's Ooh, no I didn't think I was ever going to make it. I didn't think I was ever going to get out of there. What's this? Looking up everyone's lives. That's a real talent. When my father lost his legs, nobody knew the mine wasn't following regulations. You were the only one who started asking questions. What the hell is this? What the hell? Anything else in here? What the hell is this? Which way do I go? Uh, I guess I can only go one way. I guess I'll go this way. Jukebox, baby. What's this? Switch off? I don't need that right now. Alright. Uh, I mean, yeah, definitely, man. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's good, man. It's good to help people out like that, man. Get some money. What the hell? House breaking. I hope I can snap back out of this. You know, Nick and I had moved in together. Started to get serious. They both deserve to be happy. Alright, so nothing else to do with that. Keep on running, man. Run, Forrest, run. Is that? What is it? What the hell is going on? Your mother told me what happened. I know she's always pushing you to make friends. Yeah. Well, she's just afraid you'll end up alone. She doesn't want you to be unhappy. Is she happy? Not always. But I'm not always happy either. Being happy isn't everything. I'd say it's more important to find out who you mm -hmm. want to be. Than to be happy. Here, I brought you something. It's so clear. I can see it all at once. That's what gives it strength. It has nothing to hide. It can see itself for what it really is. And that lets it see everything. It's not a flaw, it's a gift. Like a, a superpower, you know? Superpower. When the world is a storm, you stand calm at the center. Now, I need to have a real talk with myself. Where are you? Wow, yeah, that's crazy, man. Can't wait to see what the ending is like. Oh, yeah, that's wicked. Sam! Uh-huh. What? Which one are you? Sam, where are you? 
Sam, Sam, where are you? Where are you? Sam. What the hell? Where the hell am I supposed to go? I see people walking around everywhere. Sam, where are you? Sam? Sam? Ah, uh, Sam. Sam, 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 come with me. Come with you. You and me, Sam, we can do this. You and me, Sam, we can do this. What the hell? just like that not even an explanation for an old friend oh yeah this is like all the you're leaving town just like that not even an explanation for an old friend everyone in town is making my life miserable and no one trusts me I gotta go yeah I see yeah you do do you Don't leave, Muley. I don't have a lot of friends. No one... Apologize. She's a kid, Sam. She wouldn't get it. Just say you're really sorry. It's not up to me. I'd stay with you if I could. I'm... Sorry. Forgive me, please. Why are you lying? I know you want to leave. What happened to you, Muley? I hope you never come back. Promise her that you'll be back. She'll like that. Hey, Bug. I'm gonna come back. Sooner rather than later. You'll see me again before you even know it. We'll go fishing. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. I'm not stupid, you know. So what, do you only get one chance? It's not up to me. I'd stay with you if I could. I'm sorry. Forgive me, please. Why are you lying? I know you want to leave. What happened to you, Muley? I hope you never come back. So there's really nothing you could do. Hey, Explain this? yourself to her, or try to, as best you can. She deserves that. It's not you, Bug. It's this town. It's Anna. It hurts and I can't stay. None of that is my fault. I know, but I still have to go. It's not fair. I understand, but it's not fair. I guess you finally win for once. That's what I had to do. I gotta... Yeah, I gotta complete these conversations in the right Sam, way. put that away. Come on. I don't want a ring. I don't need a ring. 
Tell her you want this. Be forward. She'll reconsider. If you don't, it's over. No, that's not what I want to tell her. Listen to her. Sometimes there's not a right thing to say. Yeah, I think that's I think that's what it is. I just want to listen to this guy real quick, see what he quick, says. Quick, toss the ring. Make a joke. If you don't manage to save face, it's over. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this one. I thought that's what we were supposed to do. I'm sorry, I just I just wanted to fix things. Sam, did you really think doing something neither of us wanted would fix anything? All right, so I got I got that right. So I just need one more. All right, and then I'll be. Yeah, hopefully, I'll get my mind back here. Be like I lost my mind. Be like I can help you find it. Oh. All right. So what does this guy say? Tell him the reasons. Give him a few, and he'll be fine. Oh, that kind of sounds like it'd be. That kind of sounds like it'd be all right. Everyone in town is making my life miserable, oh, and no, no one that's trusts not the me. Right one. I, I think, I think that one last time I messed up. Yeah, I see. Yeah, you do, do you? You do, do you? Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, I got, I got to do a different one. Maybe this one. He cares. Tell him how much you hurt. Yeah, I could do that one. That one sounds right. Everyone in town hates me. I think Anna hates me. I think I hate you. I have to get away from this place or I'm gonna die here. Inside at least. I get it. Just know I've always got your back. No matter where you go. There we go. Okay, I got him. Alright, uh, hello there, sir. How are you doing today? I'm doing good, Derek. Thanks for coming out, man. I, don't want to talk about I know it. the real you is here. The rest are just illusions. I have to focus. What? So I gotta pick. I got five choices. What? So I have to pick? Just randomly? I don't get to talk to them or anything? Uh. <laughs> okay. They just want to put useless labels on it. What the hell just happened? There's only one of you. I can't just choose them all. Focus. Alright, not me. Not me. Yeah, that's some trippy stuff, man. Good thing I'm not on acid right now, dude. I'd be like, what up? I'd be wigging out. I'd be like, what's going on, man? Oh. You know you don't want to talk about it, but he's your son. I said this conversation was over. He's not having a good time at school. He has trouble socializing. Now, what does that even mean? He's having some trouble making friends, that's all. He's always talking to himself, to his imaginary friend. Some 
You were there when no one else was. And you've been there every step I've taken since. Oh, okay. Now uh, that's like his uh, conscience or imaginary friend or what? I'm ready. Oh, uh, you know, Spanishville time. Ah, uh, no, not really. Just, just uh, maybe like a few words, man. Nothing, nothing I could have a conversation with. What's up, Oliver? Oh boy, yeah, dude, that was whoa, yeah. Oh boy. Uh, what's up, El Capitan? What the hell is going on with this? What the frick, man? This is wicked, man. This has got to be close to the end, I think. Wow, man. What the whoa, whoa, whoa. What the what? This is crazy, man. Uh, yeah, what's up, David? How's it going, sir? Thanks for coming out, David. Let's see what words you know. Yeah, I know, like, uh, you know, Mui, or uh, not Mui Bien, but, uh, like, uh, Buenos Noches, Buenos Dias. You know, I could say, like, good, you know, good morning, good evening, good night, kind of thing. So. Hey. 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 It's been a long road. I think it was always coming here. You know? Oh, uh, she says you could take a minute. Yeah. Yeah, a minute, yeah. Yeah, that's definitely longer You've than a minute. You've opened yourself up a lot more than I expected. This would be a real good Jordan game. Anna. Yeah, thanks, David. Yeah, it is. This built really good. finally back on the right path. I believe some of the credit is mine. Uh, why is it so hard? Uh... It's real easy for you to judge me from your space inside my head. I'd say we've had a good thing going. It was tough, but you made compromises. You adapted to other people. Wasn't it nice to feel accepted? Uh... You always make it sound like you care, but all you want is to change me. But the two halves of your world, they don't mix. There's Sam, the well-adjusted human. And there's Sam, the depressed, truth-obsessed misanthrope, who doesn't realize objective reality is a subjective myth. I'll tell you what the truth is. To be happy, sometimes you need to focus on people and not things. things. Facts, not things. I made up my mind. I don't know if I could do that. Facts. What? They're facts, not things. And they should matter to everyone. Yeah, well, they don't. They might not even matter at all. Tell Nick that. Look, you've been helping me for a long time. Even today, without you, I would still be lost in my own head, in my own panic. Well, Como technically, start? that's kind yeah. of the case right now. Me amo. Still, me amo I'll take Greg. the compliment. But we both know I can't be split in two directions. I have to pick a track. Go along with me. Be a part of society. Be happy. Let things go. Accept the expectations of others. Stop pretending you're someone else. Or keep looking for a truth that may not exist and leave everyone else behind. But seeing the world for what it is, being able to make a difference, no matter the consequences. 
Yeah. It's time. Two roads, and you, can you only, take, can only one. take one. I'm taking one road, man. The only road. Choose him. Choose the Mind Palace. So what does that mean? So if I choose the Mind Palace, do I always stay in the Mind Palace? Or if I choose the other guy, then do I get to go back to reality? Or, or what? you could save it man you could like there's no saving in this game at all and unless it auto saves at a certain point but i don't know you know uh i don't know what should i do smitty uh wait mill time what's your name <laughs> uh mill time said he would be playing gta 5 later yeah yeah what should i do smitty should i choose the mind palace or should i choose the other guy here i don't know man I feel like this is like the biggest choice of the whole game, you know? It's going to choose the ending, pretty much. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Alright, screw it. I sacrificed so much effort just to make myself miserable. I've had enough. You just have to care more about the people around you. And less about... Everything else, I know. I'm ready. See, I don't know if I don't know if I picked a good ending or a bad it's ending. It's not going to be easy, but you and what? I, we're going to get there together. Or if I pick the other one, then. You'll never be alone. Trophy earned. Gold trophy. Let's go. Uh, flip a coin. Yeah. I don't know. I try, I decided to go with that one. I'll probably I'll probably replay it and then go with the next one next time. I just know that that's gonna deter. I know this is gonna determine the ending right here. Somehow, because it's like I think this is gonna be close to the end here. Gotta be. I mean, I've been playing for, what, four or five hours now? Anna probably went off after what Dickie left up here. You can't let her be out there alone. I know, but it needed to be taken care of. I concur. Hurry, Sam. Hurry. Let's go, bro. Freaking kick in the tail, Dwayne. No cell reception. If of anything course. happens, we're on our own. Yeah, there's no cell phones up here, bro. We're going to have to take on the cops, man. The crooked biatch cops on our own. Alright. Uh, man, man, please, baby, mod. I really want to be one. Not, not right now, over guy. Sam? You can't just leave Like I said, man, we've got enough mods in the chat right now, man. If we need more, believe me, I'll, I'll definitely get you, man. Declan could be here already. I should be careful. Yeah, he could be here already. Here it is. I know they're gonna make me make like some choice about like save her or save myself or something. It's gonna be like some crazy last choice or something. Closed, sucks, ruined. Man, it's a nice beautiful uh, scenery shot up here though, the tall town. Lookout point. <laughs> Falling off is the least of my worries right now. Yeah. Oh, this is where I started the game at. I forgot about that. Fine. Hey, what's up, Gal? Glenn Bixley. To join me. Yeah. I was worried about you. It's been a lot to take in. Let's just do this. I'm sorry. I know. I had a bit of a panic attack. I'm really sorry I put us in danger. That's over now. I'm in the here and now, 100%. All right. Glad to have you. Glad to have you. 
What up, Glenn? Yeah, streaming early. Coming to a yeah. close, right? Hopefully, in the good way. Maybe we can bring Nick and Dennis some justice. I'm ready to see it end. We don't both need to do this. You can go home if you want. Maybe you should. You're sweet, if a bit overly macho. I know the risks, but we haven't done too bad so far, right? So good try, but you're not getting rid of me that easily. Oh, I know how stubborn you can be, but I had to ask. <laughs> I had to ask. It's probably yeah. time we find those files. Any luck yet? I can't find them anywhere. They gotta be up here somewhere. Did Dickie say where the dead drop was? He didn't. We'll have to keep looking for it. Did you already go through that side? I've been looking everywhere. So far, all I've found is a lot of gum under tables. Declan could be here any minute. Let's hurry it yeah, up. Yeah, we gotta hurry up and find this shit. Emergency phone, look at here. The dead drop doesn't seem to be here. Too exposed. The trash can, maybe? This would be the classic choice, but no. No. Nothing. Thought about it, man. I would hide stuff in a trash. A precarious path out into the dark. Not a bad metaphor for my life right now. Food? Oh, food pantry? Maybe. Uh, lunchbox. Rotten there. food. Oh, gross. Probably too gross even for someone like Dickie. Alright. What else we got? Soda. Nowhere to hide a USB stick here. Been live for five hours? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. What's up? Hey, what's up, Addison? What's going on? Yo, I'm back. I haven't talked to you in so long. <laughs> you started streaming earlier to play longer. Yeah, that's why I do that. Yeah, thanks for coming out, Addison. Uh, I don't see anything in here. Except for the soda. Oh, there it is right there. USB stick. Bam. Got it. Let's go. Found it. Now we just gotta get the Indeed. hell out of here. Let me see. With this... Put it in your pocket and start running. What the hell are you doing? We're standing there. We'll be able to put Declan behind bars and Come clear on. your name. Come on. Hold no. it there, boss. Whoa. Declan. Now, you two just relax. We're here for the same reason. Now, all you have to do is give me what you found in that there lockbox. You... How could you look everyone in the eye and lie to them? You went to his wake? You drank with his friends? And you yeah. killed him. It was harder than you think. Crooked ass cop. Alright, uh... Why can you become a dirty cop? Why kill Nick? What happens now? I mean, I don't know. I, myself, I guess I'll ask him the classic question. Why kill Nick? Tell me what happened with Nick. Why did you kill him? Same thing that happened to you. He saw an yeah. opening and jumped in it. He started asking questions, never actually thought he'd find answers. But he did. And then he kept playing with fire, so he got burned. So that's it. You killed him because he did his job. Don't start thinking I enjoyed doing it. It just had to be done. It was just the same as with that drunk fool, Dennis. All I wanted was to see how much he knew and get him to keep his mouth shut. Turns out he knew more than he should have. It doesn't have to end the same way this time. There's always another option. Almost sounds like you wising up some, Higgs. Doesn't look like you're willing to take the same fall from two years ago. Fuck that common good shit, right? Dude, there's another criminal. <laughs> you're no different from the people you used to put in jail. How do you live with yourself, knowing what you sell is destroying people? Grow up, Sam. Anyone would do the same if they had the chance. Everybody's happy to shake my hand and say how grateful they are. But as soon as you turn around, they'll stab you in the back. Eventually, I realize that's how people are. The only thing left is to adapt. Help keep a lid on things. And if someone's got a profit, might as well be me. Nick and Dennis, that part wasn't supposed to happen. But here we are. Well, here we are. And I'm done leaving behind loose ends. Hey, what's up, Camarian Scales? Anna's gonna try something. And again, Odie. Hey, guys. What's up, Carter? Well, I missed everything, man. He missed literally the whole thing. I appealed to his step forward, shout to get his attention. 
Uh, he has no humanity. So I'm thinking about shouting. Because stepping forward really won't probably give me a shot faster. Declan, listen to me. Think about what you're doing. Is this what you want? You killed Nick. You killed Dennis. You're running the drug ring in Basswood. If only you could have left it at that. But you had to poke around again. Now I have two witnesses to deal with, thanks to you. This is bad. Be careful. Every word will count from now on. You have to lower his guard long enough for you and Anna to gain the upper hand. It's gonna be hard, but remember, I'm with you. Every word of the way. Tell me exactly why I shouldn't kill both of you right here. Uh, it's not in your interest. We were only after the truth. Uh, I... shoot. Ah, uh, damn, this is going to determine everything. Um, I'm just going to say it's not in your interest. Uh... Killing us is not in your best interest, Declan. The more bodies you leave behind, the harder it'll be to hide them. It's a good point. But at least bodies don't talk. Look, I don't want to do Going this. Go good, Carter. But I promise. It ain't personal. Don't delude yourself. Nothing is more personal than this. And you won't do it. What makes you think that? Seen into my soul? You have to tell him exactly what he wants to hear. You and me, we can do this. Uh... Ah, uh, crap. Uh, uh... He wants to tell him what he wants to hear. You're not some psycho killer, Declan. You're in over your head. I doubt you ever intended to kill anyone. Dickie's still alive. You could have killed him, and you didn't. You're still a cop. You still care about this town. Maybe you're right, Sam. Maybe deep down I don't want to hurt anyone. Or maybe I just still had a use for Dickie. And I was just thinking of paying him a visit as soon as I got the goods. Good luck finding him. He won't show up if he doesn't hear from us again. Uh, I know you're bluffing. You seem to think you can just walk away. Go ahead. Tell me how that happens. Fire silence, turn yourself in, take the evidence and go. Take the proof Dickie stole and let us go. We won't tell anyone. You know where our family and friends live, after all. And that would be enough to keep you from talking. Why should I trust you? You're you. You care about stories, not people. You published that article and sank the whole town, leaving saps like me to clean it up. If I let you go, Who's to say it won't be the same thing all over again? Uh, we're both pragmatic. I uh, won't make the same mistake. I want to live. Mm. I told the inconvenient truth once, and it destroyed my life. It destroyed a lot of lives. I won't make that mistake again. Learned your lesson, huh? I'm not so sure, Sam. I bet you're the one that tipped the police off about Dennis's body. Even though that meant painting a huge target on your back, I made sure of that. But killing you is more trouble than it's worth. You're right about that. So how about you just hand over the evidence, Anna? Nice and easy. It all comes down to this, Sam. Anna's about to jump him. Keep his attention on you. It's better for everyone this way. You win, Declan. Good call. I expect you two to keep your end of the bargain. You asshole! No. No, don't kill her. Yes! Yes, baby, yes! Come on, come on. Pick up the gun. Pick up the gun. Shoot his ass. Yes! Oh no, she got shot too. Not exactly what I had in mind. Oh my god. Hello? 
A woman has been shot. Just I need an shit, ambulance. Man. Just hurry. Oh my god. Oh god. I can't believe that happened, man. Okay, good. Stay with me. You have to stay with me. Oh no, she ain't gonna make I'm it, fine. is she? Don't worry. Anna, I'm... Anna, please. Oh no. No way. She died? Oh shit. Shit. Master negotiator. I just got a trophy. Master negotiator, baby. Let's go. But it sucks because it's like, why'd she have to die, man? Son of a whore, man. I did the whole Carrie thing to James turn. James at 104.3 WVCK, the Basswood Sound. <sighs> you heard the news today? The local yeah, yeah, I did a haircut. Yeah. Apparently the head of a small opioid ring right here in Basswood. Crazy. It's believed he used his position to bring in drugs from all over the county and that he murdered two people in an attempted cover-up. Good news, however, the journalist who was wounded while confronting the rogue cop was released from the hospital today. Yeah, so she lived. Yes. That's awesome, man. Good ending. Good ending. Oh, Hell Seth. Yeah. Nice to see you up and about. Him again? He really wants to be a part of this community, doesn't he? Wait, scratch that. He really wants to look like he's part of this community. Yeah, yeah. First time, man. First time. Went through the whole game. First time playing, it was really good, man. Uh, it's been a rough week. Nice to see you as well. Are you and Anna close? Nice to nice. see you again. Paying your respects. I thought I'd wished Anna my best. What affects the community affects us all, Sam. Lots of well-wishers. Kathy, Walter, Bess. Makes me feel a touch like a ghoul. Well, sometimes it's what it takes to be part of the community. I know how it feels to be outside looking in. Man, it was great. I love this game, man. Down roots, Very good game. Very good game. Process. I like the story. I like everything about it. Choices, people, everything. Uh, good luck with the pharmacy. Outsiders must work together. Uh, How's Kathy? Is she doing okay? She's been going through some hard times lately. I've noticed. I'm thinking of giving her some paid time off. That way she can focus on her daughter. That's very generous of you. Nah, I'm just trying to do my part. Besides, the pharmacy just wouldn't be what it is without Kathy. I feel so selfish keeping you away from everyone. I'm sure Anna is waiting for you. You have a good day. N no, you have a good life, young man. I'll try. Is that it? It's over? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I think we probably maybe got like another five, ten minutes, Smitty. You know? Looks like I'm not the only one who's come to visit Anna. Yeah, it so looks like a lot of... finally out of the hospital. Looks like a lot of people came to visit Anna. I'm just glad she lived, man. I was like, if I went through all that and she died, I was like, oh, shit, man. That would suck ass, man. Well, at least, you know, at least I protected her and with everything good. We took down the crooked cops. Everything was good, you know. Sam, hold your horses. Anna's busy with the sheriff. You should probably give him a moment or two. Oh, sure. Sure, Joe. How you been? How have I been? Son, I appreciate you being here for Anna, but you don't change what happened. My girl's hurt real bad. And things could have been even worse without you. You did yeah. good. Yeah, I did good. I told you promising him you'd keep his daughter safe was a good idea. Yeah. Who knows, it might have even given you the extra boost you needed against Declan. But you did do good. Well done, champ. Yeah, that was awesome. Got the good ending. I love it. When well, man makes a promise, man makes you gotta a promise, keep it. He does That's what all he he's got is keep. his word, man. Ooh, playing the macho card with the old patriarch. <laughs> That he does. How much did you pay for? I think it was like 30, Anna 30 or 40. Went down at yeah, we finally know who the killer is over there. Declan's head saved her skin. Yeah, I got inside his head, all right. I just talked, said anything, and, and everything. everything, and whatever, whatever. worked. It worked out. <laughs> she said as much. Well, whatever you did, it worked. I'm glad you were there. 
Man, that was awesome. I'm just glad I got, a, I got the good ending. And today, you're not the only one. Lots of good people have come around to see how she's doing. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking this is, this is around the end of it. Not a lot of people with a good handshake left. Hell uh, yeah, what up, Joe? What do you know? Let's go. Do the victory lap. Yeah, I finished Where it, man. I think so. Where are Dad's notebooks? The yellow legal pad ones? You can get them later. You need to say hello to the guests who just arrived. The yellow ones were Dad's favorites. I wanted to start Joan? using them. Uh, they've got to be here somewhere. Just Joan give me Waldron. a minute. Don't make me say it again. Fine. I guess it doesn't really matter. Careful, Muley. She's in one of her moods. Well, I wanted to talk to the girl. Tell her I found her father's killer. You know? <laughs> Thought she'd be happy. I'm sorry you had to see that. It was hard before, but now... She's completely shut me out. She's still trying to make sense of all that's happened. She's been through a lot. Maybe Basswood just isn't the right place for her anymore. That's true. You don't understand. It's not that easy to leave. Kathy, I'm not here to judge. I just want to help. I know, I know. Sorry. I've just been dealing with so much lately. You've always managed to get Joan to talk to you. <sighs> Any advice? Now, Sam, we need to be really careful about this. Kathy's already on edge. Joan noticed her mom is overdoing the painkillers, but we can't just kick the door down and confront her directly. Kathy, Joan is distant because she feels you haven't been yourself lately. She told me at times it's like you don't see her. It's nothing against her. I've just been working myself ragged and I hurt my back and she said it wasn't just that she's noticed the pills it's the only way I can deal with my back and it helps, it helps with, with other things with other things look I can't imagine how hard it is to raise a child oh yeah herself, Shaq that's awesome man but I don't want to see Joan grow apart from the last parent she has copper the whopper yeah oh god I, I... I didn't realize it got that bad. You're right. I need to get help. Well, yeah, hopefully Sam, she'll realize. Could I, could I count on you to help look after Joan every now and then? Yeah. She needs the people she loves close to her right now. Of course. Hey, good job on being cyberpunk. Yeah, anytime I'd you need to. me. I get along better with her than most adults. <laughs> I just... I thought I could do this alone. I'm here to help in any way I can. Here to help. Thank you. And if you ever need something, know your family. I should really say hi to the other guests. Take care. Yeah, that was a good good game, good story. I liked it a lot, man. I feel like I'm just taking a victory lap right now, just going around, you know, tying up loose ends, talking to everybody. You know. Why can't I go in the house? What the freak? Am I supposed to talk to her? Damn, everybody's out here to talk to. Hey, Walter. Bobby. Hey, Muley. Everybody. This one is all you. I never could get a read on her. <laughs> How are you holding up? Fine, I guess. Well, at least that's what most people want me to say when they ask. Come on, Bug. I want to know how you feel. How you really feel. I guess... Better today than yesterday? Maybe? I still miss Dad. But finding out what happened to him... I don't know. Makes me feel a bit better. It'll keep feeling better with time. Even yeah. if it's hard, this you takes have to time. keep one thing in mind. You're not alone. You can't go in the house. Yeah. There for you. Right, right. I got you, Overdrive. What about yeah. you? Are you staying this yeah. time? I'm not sure yet. Oh. I'm staying. But I promised your mom I'd help keep you out of her hair. You did? Uh, because... <laughs> I thought you'd like that. Uh... Of course. I figured you might be happy to have me around every now and then. Yeah. 
I mean, maybe. Every now and then. So, we'll get to hang out again? Like in maybe board games at the coffee shop? Just like old times? Anytime you want. <laughs> That's cool. Alright, I'll go talk to Walter and then hopefully I go back inside and talk to him. You're the best, Mealy. I'm the best, baby. I'm alright. Oh. Listen, I need to find Anna now. I'll see you around, okay? The Let's sooner go. the better. The sooner the better, baby. Alright, uh talk to Walter real quick. I only got to talk to him like once at the beginning of the game. Walter. Samuel, my boy. As I live and breathe. I kept meeting to call, but phones are so impersonal. impersonal. How are you holding up? Uh, just glad Anna's I'm safe. just happy Anna's coming home. Yeah. Things could have been much worse. It always can be. <laughs> it always can be. You went through something terrible, but I'm glad you came out the other end. I've had a brush myself with the Maker here and there, and I would never call them fun. Not fun at all. Life-affirming, though, definitely. Even for those close to you, it leaves a mark. Now, two members of my family of heart are gone. One is wounded. It might be time for me to finally hang up my saddle. The basswood jungle has printed its last pages. What? Are you sure? Consider taking some time to think it through. This doesn't sound like you. My first week in the bullpen, you said to me, the pen is not a sword. But a shield. You take this town's shield away? Using my own words against me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, believe me, I wish there were another way. But I lost my flame, and there's no one to pick up the torch. Except. Except. Him. Or me, or He's whatever. He's gonna offer you to be editor in chief. Yep. He never liked you leaving in the first place, though he is missing the obvious. Anna. She's connected to this place in a way that you aren't. She'd be the right choice. All right. If you're not interested in the position yourself, that is. You. I see no one more up to the task. You've proven time and time again you're the quintessence of a journalist. <laughs> I should have told you a long time ago. And it would be a better choice. Uh, yeah, I'll be honored. It would be an honor. Yeah. The jungle hasn't gotten an inch bigger than when you left. And with the way the whole industry is going, it might not last much longer. Walter, you've made the sale. Cash in. Well, you've made the sale. Great. <laughs> Great. I'm surprised you said yes. I'm surprised you offered. What with my history. Because you use ink and paper to point out hypocrisy and right wrongs? You are half as brave, which is why every community needs a Samuel in it. Yeah, everybody we needs have much to discuss, but you're not here for an old fuddy-duddy. If I can give you a small piece of advice, a good life is one where you keep your friends close to your heart. There you go. GG, sir. Alright, hopefully now I can go talk to Anna. Since I talked to everybody else, everybody else is good. I got the editor-in-chief job. And you make sure to push yourself. There we Get go. Some fresh air. Don't let these doctors keep you cooped up for too long now. Oh, Sam, you're finally here. I was looking for you. Now, I know you've been through hell and back. I know that. If there's anything the Basswood Police Department can do for you, or even just little old me, you give me a holler, all right? For now, well, I got some good I'm news for you for all. once. We found Declan's fingerprints on Dennis's gun. And since your testimony and Anna's corroborate Dickie's statement, no charges are going to be filed against you or Anna. It's clear self-defense. Still yeah. hard to believe a man I trusted was running a drug ring. Here. She's worried about her re-election chances as sheriff. She's playing cleanup for the whole police force right now. Before you answer, just remember, it's always nice to have a police chief as a friend. Uh, you have a lot to answer for. Uh, I'll be easy on her. No one saw it coming. 
Uh, what's up, Zach? One, two, three, four. Serious. Thanks for coming by, Cliff. Looking oh, back. I said you have to pay for this game. I think it was like, I think it was thirty or forty. Rot that grows deep under the floorboards. Something like that. I didn't see it either. Thirty or forty. What happened isn't on you. Thanks, officer. Yeah, just Google it, Best. man. Twin I'm, Mirror on PS4 I've or PS5. i too long for you to call me anything else. Well, I'd love to stay, but I'm afraid duty calls. Look yeah, they're probably like soon. thirty or forty or something like that. Maybe thirty. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Especially for like a one evening game, you know, you could just sit down and get it done in like four or five hours. Where's Anna? I thought she was out. Oh, there she is. I was like, I thought she came out here. Here we go, baby. This should be the the gusto, the grand crescendo. So. So, I so. wasn't sure you'd show up at all. Yeah, I meant to get here before you, but I had to stop by the cemetery on the way. I finally paid Nick a visit. Still doesn't feel like he's gone, right? I was still thinking he'd come greet me when I opened the door, you know? Give her the photo. Don't give her the photo. Yeah, I'll give her the photo. He's not coming back anymore. But we have to remember him for all those little moments we shared with him. Oh, wow. I almost forgot about that one. Walter took it, right? Around the time you first worked for the jungle? I won't forget he's not coming back, but... I am thankful I met him. And you. You feeling okay? Is it crazy to say it feels like the longest day of my life is finally over? Ah, uh, that's a little crazy. I feel the same way. You and me both. Yeah, I'm gonna say you same and me both. Here. It didn't feel like it would end, but at least I had you with me. <laughs> Lucky for you, or you would have been the one getting shot. That's Sorry. true. Sorry. <laughs> Oh. What about you? How are you compacting everything? I don't even know. Freaking out internally. I'm doing all right. Yeah, I'm doing all right. I have the past properly compacted in my mind, Vice. I'm okay. Oh, okay. Like, really okay. Hopefully yeah. you can teach me that trick so I can get to be okay, too. <laughs> at least it's over. Yeah, Whatever least it's was over. on Nick's laptop is gone forever. But so are the bad guys. The scales are balanced. Why would it be gone forever? It seems like you'd be able to just get it from the cop's body. Uh, it might have been more... Uh... Nick was a good journalist. There might have been some things on there. Okay, like... Want to tell me what you're doing here? Talk about the little details that don't add up and don't really matter? You better not be taking my happy ending away from us. No, no, I don't want to take the happy ending away. It's just that... Yeah. Okay, so I talked to Walter. He's about to retire. Wait, what? And he offered me the position of editor-in-chief. I took it. I told him yes. You did not. I did. And then he went on about fatherly advice and left. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, asking you sounds like Walter, but what bizarro world had you saying yes? One in which I grew up. So, does that mean you're staying? Yeah. That's the plan. I can't really head the local paper if I'm not a <laughs> That's true. I'd like that. Long you cussing. Yeah, it's just the end of, of it. So that's why it's so long. You know, so, you need business you know, cards. It's just the end. Um, no one uses business cards anymore. It's the 21st century, Higgs. What's old is new again. And think yeah, about I think Walter this is the end right here. <laughs> well, business cards it is then. Well, have fun. Catch you later. All right, Glenn. Have a good one, sir. Nice. Thanks for stopping by, Glenn. Have a good one, man. Big ups to New Zealand, man. No place like home. Gold trophy. That's it, man. That was the end. Uh, good, good game, man. That was fun. Hell yeah.
Yeah, thank you guys for coming out, man. Everybody out there in the in the stream and the chat, you guys have been awesome today. I had a really good time running through this game and and making cool choices and you guys helping me and stuff. It was it was a lot of fun, man. Definitely, I've had this game for I think a month and a half, and I finally got to stream it. So yeah, it felt good, man. Really, really fun. Thank you. Yeah, catch you later, Glenn. Yeah, it was good, man. I thought it was a good story. Good ending. All that good stuff. It was a good, good, good game. Oh, uh, Yeah, thanks, Smitty. What up? What up to the Smitty? Yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably play, like, the Walking, Walking Dead game uh, on the weekend. I want to try and play through, like, the whole series of the Walking Dead, like, all, all four seasons. And then, like, all the DLC and all that stuff, too. So, yeah, you know, I'll be doing uh, Walking Dead stuff. And, yeah, definitely, man. Playing some different games. It was some fun. So, yeah, definitely, guys, stay tuned for that. Uh, I'll probably take a little break and then come back and maybe play some GTA and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, you guys are awesome today. So, I can't, you know, I feel like I'm on top of the world right now, man. I got a happy ending. And it was a good game. Good stuff. like it. GG's, man. I told you, man, I'm here every day, all day. Don't thank me. Thank you for making the best content I've ever seen. Oh, thanks, Overdrive. Heck yeah, man. Well, big ups to you guys, man. I think I'm going to go take a little break now. Maybe get a little bit of lunch and uh, a little bit of a smoke break in. Uh, but I'll be back and uh, with some GTA, man. Thank you guys for coming by and, and enjoying, man. So, uh, GG's, guys. Oh, there you go. Boogie boogie, baby. Boogie boogie.